Oh, I, I, I asked you, are you okay with me going live? Is that something you Oh, I, I heard okay you. With? I didn't hear Weekend. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I he just was asking you something. if you're okay with him going live. <laughs> I am okay what? with this. Huh. <laughs> and so the next EFIP begins. Oh, no. And so it begins. I'm Who so knows so what we're going go. to deal with today? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's one watching for right now. That's pretty disappointing. Hello, oh Hello, whoever you are. We got Thanks a guest. I'll, I'll, I'll go with Roger John. Came on. Roger came on in. Mm -hmm. Got hello, hey -o. hey Ewoks. What up, my, my Apex Ewoks? All right, yeah, good. Oh my nice friendly chat. Good. Thirty seconds. In. Yeah, uh, we 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 just you know mostly the normal time, just a little bit out, like an hour. That's fine. It's like sixty minutes plus seven. It's, it's all right. How is how are you how are you all? And see that could be directed to the cast or chat. Who knows? Mm. And none of you answered. Pretty good. All right. <laughs> I was just I just drank something. I'm sorry. Oh, you're dragging something. I don't have a dragon. How dare you? That'd be pretty cool if you did though. Speaking of dragons, cool. you've been streaming Dark Souls 3 Cheetah Mode, where you just play random shit all the time, huh? How about that? Cheetah Mode? Cinder's mod. That's a very popular mod. It's very Ooh. nice. You know why it exists, right? Because they didn't make a Dark Souls 4. <laughs> yeah. People are like, I want more. You don't make Eldrake, I'll make Cinder's mod. There you go. <laughs> I think they they shall be sated for a few days once Demon Souls arrives. Yeah. Do we know if that's coming on PC or is that is that what what's uh not at not at the moment. Oh god. Well, I mean, well, we're all gonna get a PS5, times. right? We're all gonna do that, aren't we all? Uh, no. Dark Souls Five co-op run. Dark Souls Five. Dark Souls that takes place in the, the dark continent. The fifth dimension. <laughs> the dark dimension. Like the band. Wait, there's a band called the Fifth Dimension. Oh my goodness gracious, Mahler. Cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. <laughs> I, 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 I've never heard of that. I'm going to Google it right now. Fifth Dimension. You're right. It looks like they're a band. They, they did Aquarius Let the Sun Shine In. That sounds pretty gay. <laughs> I think my favorite is Sweet... <laughs> Sweet Eye Blindness is my favorite song of theirs. Bubble Rock Promo. Well, yeah, see, you learn oh, something new every day. That's right. right. And now I'm that you've learned stupid. that thing, what now, now? What? now what happens? Yeah, I don't know. Just all over. Wow. Uh, I, I'd be curious to see if they were a sixth dimension uh, uh, for a band. Maybe a seventh. What happened to the... Was there a band for the fourth dimension? Did they just skip it? No, I just skipped that one. Damn. Well, as some people do say, the fourth dimension is time. That's what a lot of people say, right? Sure. Well, yeah. you're an astrophysicist, Weekend Warrior. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's accurate and in line with the current methodology. Oh. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hooray. That was simultaneously in depth and vague. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The kind of like. That we're told all the time that we are. Yeah. I suppose... Hooray. <laughs> yes, we should probably acknowledge it. Um, Ian Holm has passed away, unfortunately. Uh, mm -hmm. Bilbo Baggins himself. We Press F, my dudes. Absolutely. Um, he, was it eighty five? He he was he, his his age. Eighty eight, I think. Eighty eight, yeah. Well, I think. Could, pretty pretty, he's pretty good gone age. To the Bray Haven. Yeah, it's a good it's a good age to go. I think. Yeah, anything past like eighty, and it's like, damn, you're in you're in a higher percentile at that point. Some people just 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 pop off at around you know one. They don't even make it that long. So. Yeah. Yeah, eighty eight, my dudes, eighty eight. Yeah, he's one of the original, like, fucking EFAP memes. He was a meme before EFAP got started up because it came from a different stream. And we, it it can't get passed over. Um, it was good shit. And he, of course, uh, as, an, as an actor, did fucking shit tons of really awesome roles. I always found it weird that he, uh, he was Bilbo and he was in Alien as Ash. I, I didn't, when I was a kid, I didn't really connect. They were, like, they were too different for me. I was like, these are not yeah. the same person. <laughs> like, hmm. Which goes to show what a good actor he was. Very, uh, very, very good. Mm -hmm. We are saddened by the loss of Bilbo, which a lot, like my generation, a lot of us, that's 
he is he's Bilbo. That's that kind of what people first see him as. That's what they think of. Think of yep. old Bilbo. I th yeah, I think it's probably his most iconic role. I wonder if uh, his IMDb puts that as his most known, because I imagine it has to be. Oh, he was in Ratatouille. I didn't even realize that. Oh, really? He was Skinner. Yeah. Oh. oh. Uh, yeah, his two mo top most known are uh, Lord of the Rings, and it's just like, yeah, makes sense. He also lent his voice for Alien Isolation. I didn't even know that. Mm. Oh, oh my goodness yeah. gracious. Very That's cool. Pretty, um, pretty based. But yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty, pretty strong legacy. Cool dude, sad face, and uh, I'm sure one of the the many over the next many years of just just super old awesome actors fucking expiring because the human body sucks. We need to get a new one of those. That's the second saddest thing that happened this week. Oh, you are you referring to the Last of Us? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I was referring to the fact we had to watch Ghostbusters. Oh gosh! So oh many... god! <laughs> but the death of yeah, a think... beloved actor yeah. is yeah, you know, it's up there. But yeah, I mean, it ain't I Ghostbusters. Think... I think that's third. The Last of Us Two is third. I was gonna yeah. say we should probably. I don't, I don't know what we could even comment on with that. But people are gonna be like, "Talk about Last of Us Two. It's out. Apparently, it's shit." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is all I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been playing it. Also, it's it's kind of shit. <laughs> um... Uh, from what I have gathered, even though I'm trying to avoid any kind of spoilers, is that everyone hates how it ends. There's many parts of yeah. it that is annoying everybody. But there are some bits that are like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's like that, 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 that little scene there. That was alright. That little moment. Uh, I, yeah, I haven't I think really seen much discussion about the gameplay. It's almost exclusively about the story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I tell you about the gameplay, though? Um, it's like, try and stay vague, I guess, because I do plan to play it. Uh, so. oh, no, it's just the, ge the general loop is that you walk around, you press triangle or square, depending on what the game wants you to do. Okay. And then there's some banter, and then you find the, and then there's some gameplay. And that's it. That's basic. that's every gameplay quote-unquote section. And there's going to be a cutscene. It's kind of boring. Oh, no. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before we even start up the stream, there there are memes. Uh, <laughs> lots of memes. Yeah. yeah. Meme, the memes can tell a story. This you, you see so much of them, and you're just like, "Yep, I'm gathering what's uh, what's happening in there." Um, but but it got loads of ten out of tens from different gaming Juno selections, so it must have been pretty good, right? That's how that's yeah, always yeah. works. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Game yeah. because yeah, because game journals. I mean, reliable. They do this professionally. Why guys. would? How could they be wrong? Exactly. But yeah. Oh, um... and on, on an unrelated note, there's an accessibility option in the game that lets you, when you're prone, you're invisible. That, that's an interesting thing that I want to point out in the game. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's. <laughs> there... No, no. Seriously, there's combat accessibility. That's an option in the game, and when you turn it on, you could have when you're prone, you're invisible. Ooh. And dodge works faster, some, some shit like that. Enemies won't flank you. It's, it's like the difficulty options are already very good. Like the damage you take, how aggressive the enemies are. You can already customize that. But then there's still some like... It's basically a cheat mode <laughs> for the game. It's like... What, what the fuck is... Invisible. is it... Yeah. Like, I, I'm, not even, I'm not even memeing here. Is, is it for journalists? I... <laughs> I... I, 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 I Maybe. I think that's why they liked it. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is finally I'm kind of it. Yes. It's a mode for me. <laughs> <laughs> finally. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people are saying yes. Like I don't I just have to <laughs> alright. Sounds hilarious. Uh so as soon as TFA part three is done, which we're getting closer and closer, but no promises on when. I'm gonna play Last of Never. Us. Part 1, I guess that's the difference between these two games, right? It's not Last of Us 1 and 2, it's Last of Us Part 1 and 2, so... Gotta make sure you get the, the, the name right. Um, and as soon as I finish Part 2, uh, I'll, I'll happily... Possibly even have a whole EFAP about uh, the game with, um, with, with suitable guests, because, my god, it does sound like it's gonna be a fun ride, this, this, this video game. <sighs> 
So, um, what else? What else is there? Oh yeah, of course. As you just mentioned, we watched uh, we watched a movie last night, didn't we? No. Yes, we, we did. Well, we watched something. <laughs> it was a movie. <laughs> so you can vaguely call it a movie, I guess, by definition. I mean, I it's guess it's a biohazard. It's the, it, it's the definition. <laughs> I we, the video, uh, uh, a video came out from a creator that people wanted us to cover because it sounded, it sounded in, incendiary in a way. Like it's like, oh, this movie that everyone knows is terrible is actually good now, and it's like, oh, well, this could be interesting. <laughs> and I checked out just the few, a few minutes, um, because I was curious, and it said like, before you, you know, do your little judgy, go, go watch the, the actual like extended version, the better version of the film, and I was like, oh shit, okay. Well, yeah, it's it's what people always say. If you're gonna watch the Lord of the Rings, you have to watch the extended edition. And what do people say whenever Ghostbusters get brought gets brought up? You have to watch the extended editions. Yeah, if we've learned anything, <laughs> you don't want to be out of there faster. An extended <laughs> version accentuates the power of the original, right? So Lord of the Rings, it just oh, you get you get the greatness just boosted. Now Ghostbusters wasn't wasn't the greatest film in the first place, and then you watch the extended version, you're like, oh. <laughs> oh damn so uh our conclusion was that the film itself it was what do you what do you guys think? like what's the word for it? like like not fantastic right not a masterpiece we'll, we'll put it that way i mean like, it was yeah. really bad it was kind of it's it's fascinatingly bad too yeah there was uh it was all um <clears throat> recorded it'll get a you'll get an efap movies for it in the coming years uh whenever it <laughs> gets out timeline wise but there was some some jokes in that film that were, were leaving us like how did this get written like who why i need i need to know the process it's staggering like this can't be possible there's no way yeah it was it was interestingly bad is a good way to phrase it because it seemed it's the kind of movie that you watch and you're like man that I can absolutely believe that shit lost like 80 million dollars mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um but it it wasn't like shockingly bad. It was more curiously bad, if that makes any sense. I mean, it wasn't well, I too wasn't shocked because I knew it's gonna. Yeah, be I was bad. gonna say a lot of it I'd seen <laughs> uh, when I first saw the film, but there was still some new stuff in there and stuff I'd forgotten. And it's just wow. They murdered Bill Murray in it. Do you remember yeah. that? <laughs> they did. Yeah, that was a. Good... And they said that he wasn't fit to be a Ghostbuster. That that was a good line, wasn't it? But like, oh wow. Yeah, they, they that was the <laughs> fucking line. They, they they said that shit. It's like, oh, wow. They did indeed. Um, He's, like that's it's just comes off as malicious. Yeah. And at the end, remember guys, the ending. <laughs> <laughs> there was well, there was like seven endings. They had like loads of <laughs> extra jokes, and every time it was just like, oh, oh. But they, yeah, it, had but it was just like, it scheme. wasn't. It was extra in the sense that it it really was just the rest of the shitty film, but longer. Yeah. yeah. If they had outtakes, I wouldn't have been able to distinguish the outtakes from the rest of the film. Well, see, that makes sense, because as uh, as Paul Feig and team, when when making the film, they, they, they heavily focused on, on the idea of improv. You can make a movie from improv, right? If you just have a skeleton of a script and you let them run away with it, you know... It, it's only you get good stuff, right? Well, it can work with talented people. Uh, they they're really talented, right, guys? No. <laughs> Damn! Um, wow, Mel, have you made a film? I don't think so. Metal well, is on maybe fire. Maybe I should make one just to make it better. Okay, well. <laughs> it, it's been Mel has decided, right, guys? It's over. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Metal's mad today, like, goddamn. I know the... It's a huge risk to, I guess, direct in that style, if you could, can call it that. The whole, um, like, just let people do whatever and then string a film together out of it. You don't I mean, stand yeah. to gain too much, except just making a good, funny movie, but you stand to ruin the entire film. Yeah. Yeah. And it ruined the entire film. It was really bad. Naturally. We kind of, yeah. Um... I don't know how else to, to sort of, you know, explain any more than just saying, yeah, we, we, we went through the whole thing. Uh, the plot was something. Um, half, <laughs> half of the film was pointless. Like, they just wasted time uh, doing nothing. And dan there was so much dancing. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's one of, the, one of the noises one could make to express. The 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 second act wouldn't end. The, they just kept not uh, progressing. The, the, and then then our villain who is is people are mean to him in general, and so he's like, I'm gonna destroy the world. He's like, okay, or use ghosts. <laughs> I don't know. The, the, when they when they all go into the big hole at the end, the, the, yeah. uh, she saves her, the hair turns white. It's all very just question marks everywhere. But you guys probably haven't heard a lot of the arguments for why the film is very good, have you? I never heard. I haven't heard any that. arguments. You wouldn't would think. You, <laughs> you wouldn't think a rational person would, would make that why sort would of. I don't think anybody it? cared about that movie. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Why? Well, that that leads me to say, welcome to EFAP episode ninety one. Is Ghost <laughs> Ghostbusters is actually a good film? Twenty sixteen. I'm gonna gonna clarify that shit every time. Because yeah. do you guys know that when, when they've announced? Because that new one's coming out that pretends this one doesn't exist, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Leslie Jones is like upset about that. I think as well as possibly yeah, but her other. film was really bad. Well, this is the thing. I think they were like, "Wow, way to you know pretend we don't exist." And it's like, "Yeah, but you were awful. Like, you can't just say, oh, that's mean.' It's like, no, it was right." That film was like created in a laboratory to be as horrible as it was. Mm -hmm. Like the whole film is a comedy, and it's meant to be a comedy, and your brain recognizes it recognizes it as a comedy, but none of it was funny. They didn't even fuck up and do something funny. Oh, and for anyone who's like, wait, so was the extended or non-extended better? I have no idea. Um, I think the extended is probably worse because there was more of it. More, yeah, I suppose so. Um, I mm. think we might have found the movie where more scenes legitimately make it worse. Yeah, like you just want it to be over, so... No. You want to leave, yeah, and do other things. And God forbid if you were trapped in a theater. Oh. <laughs> Oh, people would have gone to theater. Yeah, Critical Drinker said he saw it in the cinema. What's that about? Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's the kind of film that makes you pray for a shooting. Everybody, judge. <laughs> <laughs> I can see like rags in the someone... theater looking at another guy who might be carrying, and he like winks at him like, "Come on, <laughs> come, come on. on now! Now's the time." Even be a water pistol would be fine. <laughs> um, water pistol full of whatever acid was in the film that you could step on. Oh, oh right, that scene made me angry. Yeah, so they ruined a... what could have. There was a potential, like, I think there were two jokes in that movie that they I get sort tangled of was up. like, you know what? If this was, so yeah, done yeah. Well, well, I mean, there's no reason why, because who knows what this video will actually cover. So we'll treat this as usual. Like we'll talk a bit bits of the film while also responding to whatever this video comes up with, but. So, Chris Hemsworth is in this film. For for those who haven't seen it, he's, like, absurdly stupid. Like, that's the joke. He's just really stupid. He works for them. Like, like actual people aren't this stupid. No, I don't think there's any, it's possible to be as stupid as he, he, like, he puts the phone in a fish tank, and he's like, that's where it should be. And it's like, okay, that's <laughs> no, the no, joke. No, 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 there, there was a phone in the fish tank, and he tries to grab it through the glass, but he can't because there's glass there. It's really funny, guys. Oh. Um, He's got no brain, none, like no yeah, stem, yeah. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so the the joke that that we thought kind of works is that they they they're operating their ghost busting business out of a is it a Chinese restaurant, right? Like yeah, taking Chinese over. restaurant. Yeah. And we're we're like two thirds into the movie, and he turns up, and he he like begins the joke of, I don't think the the Chinese restaurant's taking off, as if he's convinced. The, yeah, that was doing... the joke. Yeah, that was the one where I was like, man, this actually could be like a funny joke if this was in a, a better written movie because, you know, he's a dumb character. Him acting as if this whole time he thought they were trying to be a Chinese restaurant and they were really shit at it. That's a funny <laughs> idea. Some, that idea is there. really funny. But they fuck it up well, by not giving it time to breathe, having a... it be bad, poorly delivered. And mixing it with another terrible joke? The second joke is the scene opens, and they're all sitting around a table, and and one of them accidentally knocks over a bottle onto the floor that's just, it's a glass <laughs> thing filled with acid, and it just smashes and spread across the floor, and you're like, okay. And and one of the, one of the characters is like, oh no, my acid. It's like, okay. And then nobody... <laughs> 
Nobody cleans <laughs> it up. And then, so that's just set up, right? And then he walks in and does the thing that we just said. But then, as they're trying to explain to him, like, that's not the case, he goes to, like, develop the joke, but he stands in the acid, and then they're like, oh no, you're standing in the acid. Now you need baking soda. And then he just sits down and pours baking soda over his feet and, and the floor. Hooray. Like, pull, pull, pull stop. The, 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 <laughs> it's just like, oh. Uh, oh. What part of that was the funny bit? <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> It's so funny, yeah, he's like, so stupid, he stood in acid. You're like, okay. Like, what Rag said, it's so fucking infuriating, because, like, what scientist would leave that shit out at the edge of the goddamn table? It's, it's like... It's like, a lot of the humor is that. It's them just, like, doing random things, and nothing comes of it. There's no consequences to anything that happens in this film. Like, I yep. guess it's okay for us to get into spoiler territory. Oh. If you don't, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How dare you but, imply something spoilerful? <laughs> when they get killed, uh, or when, um, sorry, I wish, uh, <laughs> when Bill Murray gets killed, there are just no consequences for that happening. Uh, oh, right, yeah. So, the, the, so the, they've, they've quote unquote captured a ghost, but not many people, well, nobody really believes them. And Bill Murray, our our skeptic character, comes in there like, nah, you, you've not done it, and what a coincidence that you've captured a ghost and you can't show me it, huh? How's that? And so, the, when we're watching it, this will probably be the, the edit you eventually see, I, I was like, so, all they need to do is release it and capture it straight away, right? Because they can do that with all their tech, and they prepare yeah, to they do that. they have all this stuff, they have all this gear, and you'd think that they would use their gear well with how much fucking time in this film they obsess over the gadgets. And it, and it looks like that's what they set up to do, and then our secondary protagonist, I guess, convinces uh, the main one to not do it. She's like, this is not a good idea, let's not do it. And it's like, okay. And then she just does it anyway, and it's like, oh wow, that's probably not a smart thing to do. Like, tricking your team into being like, lol, I'm not going to, but I am. Boom, dragon ghost appears, and it knocks Bill Murray out the window and he dies. Yeah. <laughs> and it flies okay. away, and then the police show up. And they're like, he died, and then they're like, nah, a ghost did it. And that's it. <laughs> and and so you're thinking to yourselves, like, wait, so how do they get away with that? It's like, they don't explain that. <laughs> yeah, they just... And, and there's no, like, emotional consequences to it either. Like, we just killed this guy. Our incompetence, our fuck-up, got this guy killed. Well, I think we, we, we were all... A vested interest in convincing. We th killed this old man. Like, we were all sitting there like, oh my god, they killed a guy, and like, how are they going to deal with this? Well, I think if the director was sitting with us watching it, he'd be like, why aren't you not laughing? What, what's this? Why aren't you it's not laughing? An old man was funny. just killed by a ghost. <laughs> it's a joke, guys. It's a comedy movie. He fell out of the window, so... It was yeah. so... <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Please laugh. <laughs> Please laugh. And, yeah, so it's... It's painful. And, and, and today, we got a real gift with, um... A channel called Renegade Cut has has released a video. It's um, and it's surprising because even it looks like his audience aren't aren't liking it a lot. He's got an eighty percent ratio. <laughs> he's uh, he's and he's called it's called Ghostbusters twenty sixteen is good actually. So how exciting to be discovering the truth of this movie. That's gonna be a hard sell. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. But uh, you know, we're always willing to to give it a shot, right, everybody? Sure. Yeah, I think that I could be convinced that Ghostbusters I think that I'm just gonna get a cup because I feel like I need drinks with us again. So I'll be back in a second. I probably will too. But I I like to say that reasonably, all of the positions that I hold are you know they're based on information that I have at the moment. They they could change over time. I don't make any. You know, proclamations about absolute truth. Like, I always admit, like, you know, maybe you could change my mind on something if you really, really convince me. But Ghostbusters being bad is... I don't know if you could convince me that it's good. I think this is one of those facts of the universe kind of things. I feel like if, if we were to meet God in some way, shape, or form, if he was to come down, this would be one of the things he'd be like, so this is one of our foundations. Ghostbusters 2016 is a bad film. Yeah, I was like, okay, we got, like, gravity, time, space, Ghostbusters is bad. Now, obviously, in the Old Testament, when he told them that, people were very confused, but, oh, uh, they know now. 
Okay, I think I'm prepared for the worst. So, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> His fucking thumbnails like the unbearable emptiness of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, the gay that, nightmare. That's another one of his videos, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the unbearable emptiness. <laughs> anyway, I heard Friggy told me that film is okay. It is okay, mm. you know? So, unbearable emptiness, ridiculous. <laughs> generations is good. Um, Interesting. Is everybody? Oh my god! Eighties and nineties action movies, queer theory. <laughs> oh, this oh man! Uh, of course he likes Ghostbusters because if you're you're not if you're on that side, you're not allowed to make fun of Ghostbusters. Also, queer theory is like a fucking meme them. for us because of uh... queer theory in eighties and nineties action movies. <laughs> I'm oh, sure that's, that's the, what they that's were the... thinking about when they were making Commando and. Oh, definitely. That. I'm I'm sure the video makes a very good point, and you're just being bigoted. Yeah, of course, of course. Those Am thumbnails. I being a dick? Is that oh. some queer theory? <laughs> Those thumbnails <laughs> just convinced me to just pour a drink right away. I'm not waiting. <laughs> Fuck this. So, <laughs> Freddy Krueger, the gay nightmare? <laughs> yeah, to... see, that's why I'm pouring right now. It's like, give me... These people have some interesting heroes. I, f I feel like Freddy is kind of a nightmare for most people, not just the gays. <laughs> the gays are the nightmare, and Freddy Krueger is like the, the super gay nightmare version. Freddy Krueger was Freddy created Kruger by the government the to stop the gays. We all know that the gays are inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've learned a lot today already. Um, I agree. Yeah. Alright, here we go. It's going to be exciting. Here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Ghostbusters is good, actually. No. Oh, no, it's really shit. Like, it's sh like, this film is shockingly bad. I can't actually describe how terrible it is. So today, before um, EFAP started, went out to the grandparents' place out in the country. Dad went with me. He's got a tractor out there, and he did maintenance on that and drove it around. I learned how to drive a tractor today. We uh, it was very, very great. It did shooting and all that, you know, southern stuff for a bunch of redneck hick hillbillies. <laughs> yeah. And I was telling him on the way to and from about this film, about what, how what? fascinatingly terrible it is. It's difficult to kind of explain how bad Ghostbusters is. Yeah, it's kind of like an experience, right? Like, a lot with yeah, a lot of bad stuff, experience. you can see where they went wrong with this. It's like, what did you expect? Where was the going right? I don't understand. Like, all, what test audience did they show this to? Who liked it? That, oh, I don't oh, think the test be... audiences even liked it. I thought they just said, well, shit, we've got this movie and it's done, so like, I guess we're just going to put it out into the wild and hope for the best. It was probably just like a, a positive vibe in, in, the, in, the, in the test screening, just in general, before they started, and at the end of it, they were like, well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got to go. And he's like, yeah, but what do you think? He's like, i I got to go. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Light and shit, like... <sighs> All the Ghostbusters movies, in fact. The 1984 Even classic, two? of course. The underrated sequel, Don't At Me. But specifically, the 2016 Ghostbusters. But specifically. Specifically, okay. Okay, specifically. It sounds yeah. like he could be a villain in Ghostbusters 2016. Well, he's doing the thing. With, I'm guessing he doesn't breathe through his nose at all. I want to know. Oh, no, his just, nose is just uh, blocked. Yeah. They, there ain't been air you... through there in a long time. I want to know how he justifies all this shit. <laughs> like this bad special effect. Look at this. Look at this blue, ugly shit. <laughs> you can't, well, the weird thing about it is the, 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 the there's clearly a whammon there, like when they filmed it, but they've just put CGI goo all over it. Possibly like <laughs> 10 layers of goo. <laughs> Desperately trying to make it not look like a human. Yeah. Even more specifically, the extended cut of the 2016 <sighs> Ghostbusters. Not the chopped to bits theatrical cut. Paul Feig made oh, yeah, the chopped to bits. <laughs> How dare they ruin? They ruined the artistic vision of Paul Feig, guys. Release the Feig cut. I mean, I, <laughs> well, it <they> did. <laughs> so they did. The thing is, it's like, what is it? Sixteen minutes was added. Like, really, the whole film was fucking destroyed by that. All right. <laughs> well, some ordinary gamers looking rough. Oh no! <laughs> so this film was our the file that we used when we purchased it 
was two hours and 14 minutes rounded up uh-huh that's a long uh yeah well that's a, that's it long. was chopped to fucking bits rags okay yeah. uh, oh. that was its true form this monster it that was... people have seen no it was almost I as would long as I was I was gonna say uh, it's almost as long as the king of Staten Island. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the extended two version that we watched seems cut up. It seems like just a bunch of scenes thrown together. Well, it was did... hard to. I remember you, Mahler, when we watched it. You mistakenly thought we had gone to like the third act because of how <laughs> strangely structured. This yeah, was, they tricked I me. Was at a lot. I didn't even, I couldn't even hazard to guess where things were. Well, it's because the, 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 they unconventionally are like, let's defeat the villain, and then they kind of do, and then they accidentally don't, and then the third act begins. And you're like, right. Okay. You almost think it's like a, a joke. I, I think we talked about it in the thing. It would be like, it would actually be a pretty funny ending to a film if, if like, the villain was found, and then all the main characters just convinced the villain to kill themselves, and they do. <laughs> it's like, okay. Because that's kind of what happens, but uh, yeah, the, the, I'm pretty sure I don't know if it was a joke, but Paul Feig said like the, the, there could be a cut of Ghostbusters 2016 that's way longer than um, even the extended. So Jesus why? Oof. What could possibly have in there? Well, you know all those scenes with the jokes. There's like fourth and fifth, you know, repeated versions of all the jokes. Don't you don't you want to see that? No. Hmm. You know what? You know what you should do? Just sell the sell the four hour cut to the Department of Defense and use it as a way to torture people. Yeah. Play it on loop twice. We're going to shock your fingers, or you'll make you watch Ghostbusters. <laughs> Just take my whole hand. Don't. Shock me, Daddy, please. Or make an outtake video that no one's going to buy because no one gives a shit. I would. No. I hate you. You've heard of Chinese water torture. How about feminist laughing torture? No. No, no. no. Anything but Even wait, more no specifically, the extended cut of the 2016 Ghostbusters. Not the chopped to bits theatrical cut. Paul Feig made a movie that ran over two hours, and Sony found that unacceptable. Studios and exhibitors they were prefer movies. <laughs> I'm, I like you won't hear this often from me, but yeah. <laughs> I'm with Stony on this one. Paul Feig was like, Sony. it's two I hours applied. and sixteen minutes, and they're like, oh, that's unacceptable. He's like, you want it under two hours? And they're like, no, 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 we just don't want the movie. And he's like, all right, under two hours, fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> he he showed him this, and he said, I got a I got a version that's over two hours, and they're like, no, no, it's <laughs> no, it's you don't. no, don't don't worry, it it it's all good, it's all good, it's fine. <laughs> oh, Sony to be short so that they can squeeze in as many showings per day as possible and maximize profits. Speaking of someone who goes to the movies all the time, I have a hard time understanding this logic. It presumes that tickets to screenings sell out all the time, and if there is no other screening, moviegoers will turn around and go home. Yeah, I seriously fucking doubt they managed to selling out all screens for fucking Ghostbusters 2016. I feel like that's I unlikely. I doubt they managed to <laughs> full capacity Why is he? Screen. Thing. He's trying to trick our brains by showing us a theater with a bunch of people laughing and enjoying themselves while he's talking about Ghostbusters. Look, it's yeah. possible. <laughs> that didn't happen. All right, think of the drugs they could be on, okay? All of the drugs. You they have to be. Like the girl to the left there, she doesn't even know what she's seeing. Look at her. It's just colors. Yeah, yeah, the dude here with the weird earring thing eating popcorn, he, he'll he laugh at anything. Eyebrows here on the right. She's just happy to be out of the house. <laughs> she looks like a chipmunk. <laughs> oh, no. And then, what? who's the person up above her? Um, oh, that's I, don't, I don't know a name for her. Evanescence. Uh, she looks like a witch. Like, she's some, one of those Wiccan <laughs> people. Like Raven. Yeah, she probably casts a few spells. I could see that. <laughs> oh man, I was talking about eyebrows earlier, but look at this fucking unit there in the second row. Look at this guy, man. <laughs> that's insane. He's Damn, beautiful. yeah, that is a jaw. That jaw is cutting into him. Like <laughs> he looks. Oh, I don't even know. He looks like some creature from Event Horizon. Ah, <laughs> oh, Event Horizon. See, Event Horizon is less torturous or nightmarish than Ghostbusters 2016. Explain that. <laughs> I go to movies on opening night, and the theater is almost never sold out unless it's for Star Wars or a Marvel movie. 
Any other movie should probably just be edited to be the best possible version of the movie and not the shortest possible version of the movie. But, but here's the thing, with Ghostbusters, the best possible version of the movie is, is the shortest possible version. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention this weird advice he's giving. It's like, we have no idea why they would have cut it down. There could be all kinds of reasons. It could literally be that someone was like, your jokes are not funny. Limit them. <laughs> he was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Like to add, there is no version that there's the best cut of Ghostbusters 2016. I don't think there is such a thing. Yeah, the shortest one. Well, no, scientists. No, it, it shouldn't it's exist. The <laughs> scientists to They're this day worst, are still discussing how one makes the film better with extending or shortening it, and that's the only conclusion they can come up with. Is like every time you take something away, audiences are happier. So if it was going. just. If the film was hilarious and they just added in like three more super funny scenes, people would have loved it. And Sony probably would have had it be out. But yeah, I think. Yeah. But but with this, it's just more not funny stuff. And it, and it's not like you're adding scenes to build character backstory. I mean, the Lord of the Rings does that with Boromir and Faramir and their relationship mm. with their father, um, stuff like that that really fleshes out and well, adds fairness, to characters. Some of these jokes, Rags, wouldn't have had like seventh iterations without the extended cut. So do you really? Smaller you... by calling them jokes, you're kind of giving them more credit than they actually are. Oh, I'm because just there's they, not really that was in jokes quotations. In this film. I, I just they're that's just... what Paul Feig calls them, and I was just respecting the director's vision. It's some of that, it's like that new, like, like 2000s, or like, kind of how meme culture has made comedy, it's given this, given it this angle of, like, situational banter can be humorous, mm -hmm. like, observational comedy, I guess, because there aren't even really, like, though the one thing we're talking about with a Chinese restaurant, that's sort of a joke. Uh -huh. It's it's based on something that was started, and it's you know, it sort of has a premise and a finish and a punchline. Remember when they farted? Oh yeah, <laughs> that and, was funny, guys. Wasn't and when they got covered in goop, and then they said it got in every crack. There's so many good jokes. Uh. <laughs> Toilet humor. Woo. Hooray. Queef humor. The theatrical cut of Ghostbusters is oh, no. fine. It's do what? <laughs> it's not even loud. fine, though, right? <laughs> okay, fine. if you're gonna take the position that this one improves, it's like you think we started at fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can only didn't. imagine, like conceptually, in my head, I can imagine a uh, there is a Schrodinger's Ghostbusters. A, a version that isn't extended that released in theaters. People were trapped in a dark room watching this film. There's no way it was fine. Imagine this was considered the 5 out of 10 on the scale. Like, this is where it's like, okay, this is a good start. This is a good par. This is what we call okay. Is, is Ghostbusters better? So what, where did we put it on our 1 to 10? Oh, we, I think we said was it was it on par with Batwoman. Yeah, like a 2, two. or two. Oh, okay, two. Yeah. All right. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm very comfortable with this da, being da, a two. Da, 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 da. Well, it's, it's five hour <laughs> two, so it shows the difference in scale there. Yeah, I wanna, this is a But two it's clearly two. missing pieces that the writers and director wanted in. The Please extended tell me which cut ones. I released on Blu-ray and some streaming services completes the film. Aaron and Abby get more character beats and chemistry. Oh, thank goodness. I... <laughs> thank goodness. Oh, this right here? This is their chemistry? This? That's le legitimately one of the last scenes in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I guess he's saying this is the big payoff for their... Because if you remember the beginning, they, they do have a bit of tension, you know, as the film yeah, progresses. You know, minutes, they... and then they go hunting it's ghosts time. together. Remember they right danced? No. They danced? Remember that? Yeah, that was like 10 minutes after they had a... Uh, and then she went down the big goopy hole and rescued her from the big ghost. Yeah, that was at the end. Okay, yeah, I'll, that I'll that's see. that was. Didn't you <laughs> didn't you guys have feelings would, about that? I don't even think that this movie has characters. It has bodies moving and speaking, but it doesn't have. There's like no. There's no characters. There's no people in here. Hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I guess the only person who could even be considered close to like a normal person would be Bill Murray's character. Kinda, of. yeah. He's the only person who comes to mind at the moment who I I could see this as a person in real life and not think they were doing like a bit. Do you think they had him 
Uh, he had them kill him so that he, if they ever had a sequel, they couldn't possibly bring him back. Yeah. He's a smart man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is it, wise. He, his agent was like, they'll never get a sequel. And he's like, just in case. Just okay? in case. I want this paycheck. <laughs> I want this paycheck. And I don't want to do it ever again if they involved. <laughs> um, I think but, he had to be a part of it. But yeah, they, uh, he's right. They got the, the, a moment, um, I guess. I can't remember if it was in the theatrical. I guess it wasn't. Uh, thank goodness. Because cause, cause it was a very compelling story. Chat, for if, if you didn't know, a uh, girl on the left is trying to get a job uh, get as a super teacher person at a university or whatever. I don't really He's care. Trying to get um, tenure. And then mm -hmm. secondary person releases a book to make some money that they made when they were younger, and it's embarrassing cause it's about ghosts. And so she's like, wow, you ruined my career by doing this. And at the same time, she's like, lol, we're going to go see about a ghost. Do you want to come with? And she's like, yeah, okay, I guess. And then they find a ghost. <laughs> And then she, she makes a video going like, oh my god, ghosts are real, and then Charles Dance sees it on the internet, and he's like, lol, you're fired. <laughs> um, and then yeah, the, she, she's yeah, like, yeah. wow, I kind of hate you now. And then the rest of the film, they're fine, really, and then this happens at the end, where they're like, lol, we're friends. We're friends, hey. It's like they they forgot, all of a sudden, they're like, oh, wait, oh, wait, shit, we have to do something relating to character. Do you remember when they danced? there's Oof. nothing done, this whole film, in terms of character and interaction. Like nothing. Clearly, the end of the film that concludes their shared arc about becoming friends again. Arc. <laughs> That's the way he described <laughs> it. The shared yeah. arc about becoming. He couldn't even make it flowery. He could be like the exploration yeah. of the uh, connection under pressure. they relationship. They were basically career back to being. They were back to being friends within like two minutes. Yeah. Of, of meeting each yeah. other again. She goes they to, only to their that... weird room. It's like, oh, they, you're bad. And he's like, no, my wontons. And yeah, that's, that's like, the only scene. That's oh, more of a character arc, head. the wontons. You want to go, goes? Yeah, I guess. And then they're friends already. And they're it's, friends. Then they see the ghost in the mansion, and they're like, all right, we're friends. And we're starting the Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah. They have to that dance. was it. There was only one scene in, in one movie. room that one time where they were, like, at odds. And then the film forgot. Poor <clears throat> Charles Dance. Now he got paid. Kevin, he's he, fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, more screen to... time, and he's one of the best parts of either cut. So that's a good thing. Uh, uh, he's no. not. <laughs> um, he is. Uh, if we were to rank just... elements, I guess he ranks higher than a lot of things, but he, they, they all uh, yeah. rank extremely low. <laughs> yeah. If we, yeah, or if we're on yeah. the Ghostbuster scale, then <laughs> yeah, he would be high up. But that's on the Ghostbusters scale. Yes. What a waste of potential. Of he, he, was, he was the person who came the closest to making something that was a joke. Mm -hmm. He almost made one that one time. So, yeah, good job, Chris. Uh, clap. Yeah, and I'm being serious. Like yeah. he all, there, there was almost a joke here that one time. Well, he has that natural charisma, the Hollywood charisma. That's the only reason. Well, a lot of... Passable in this. From what I understand, Ragnarok had a lot of improv in it. Um, and I guess the people making that film were just, you know, funny. Uh, because... Well, you can do improv, but you have to... Do... You need to have to have someone there who's like, yeah, no, that's that's not good. I, mean, I think again. a lot of people would sell that the 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 trick is to have like a really strong skeleton to begin with, just opportunities to play with certain bits and bobs rather than whole scenes yeah. where it's like, I don't know, guys, just do something. Here, fart in the microphone and say oh. queef or something. If you came out of my fire, fruit. Right <laughs> <laughs> You're like, all right. The strangely missing dance sequence from the theatrical cut is restored in the extended cut. Basically, the extended cut... <laughs> oh, thank I, I, goodness. It goes <laughs> fucking atrocious. That's why it was cut. It just... It, it was... It tra he's trying to stop the Ghostbusters, and for some reason he can't just possess them and make them dance like he did with everyone else. I don't understand. <laughs> Or possess them and shoot them with the people he already possessed that have guns. I don't know, like... <laughs> Yeah. Like a lot wait, of this. That, that, that fucker on screen right now. How did he ever get out of this room? <laughs> oh, I, tried, I, tried to I never even questioned that. Face, I just assumed but... he was like possessed or something. I guess he actually got out of there. Because the whole fucking staircase collapsed. He's hanging there. It's like, oh, I'm gonna die. And next he's like, here's the keys. I'm not going in there anymore. It's like, okay. <laughs> 
I guess those ghosts so, are not as dangerous as you think. Yeah, that could that could come under the whole. <laughs> assuming there were more scenes to explain this shit, like the editing in this movie is garbage. I don't think they knew that you you are, you require certain things to know how everything connects. Things just sort of jump around. And you're like, oh, this isn't this is this now. That's actually something that happens in Batwoman a lot. The editing in that is garbage as well. That is the complete mm -hmm. and finished version of the movie in the same way that the ultimate cut of Batman v Superman. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Appealing to you BVS. Compare. You cannot compare these two because <laughs> the extended cut of Batman v Superman actually covers some plot holes and shit. So it is. Yeah, I've heard the it. The extended is... cut is slightly better than the original cut, but like with Ghostbusters, it's just extended garbage. Doesn't clear up anything. It's just the same old shit, but but longer. But like he said, the character arc. It, you're not appreciating the character. <laughs> <arc>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you don't want to be appealing to this though. Let, let's if you're like, oh, please look, we're just like this other thing that people really don't like. <laughs> and you're like oh, okay. Man is the complete I'm unfinished here. version. What he said. That? He, he I've said that misogynist yet. He said much not like. Yet. You said to appreciate Ghostbusters extended cut, think of it in the same way you do about Batman vs. Superman's extended cut. Mm. They're bad? Where the, f the film is not liked, that the extended cut is still not liked by a lot of people. It's just like, uh, why why appeal to this? Appeal to something? You should have just gone yeah, with Lord of the Rings if you really wanted to prop up Ghostbusters. Then again, that Name might have been film. Name a film that the normal version people don't like, but the extended version they do like. There's, um, the multiple cuts of Blade Runner have sets of fans for all of them, so that's probably one that could but kind every, of apply. But every version has, like, good. Right? Well, I, I, if you suggest, like, you are, if you're asking if there's any other situation like Ghostbusters, but the extended one is the one people are like, actually, this was very good. Batman vs. Superman is probably the closest I even think of. Cause, cause oh, if Kingdom of Heaven, that's of... one, yeah. All and right. Alien 3 is possible, that's true. Is there, like, um... So by adding adding about 10 or so minutes of extended cut footage to the main thing, it goes from being a bad movie to a good movie. I suppose, theoretically, you could, if you chop out the right pieces of any movie that's pretty good and you get 16 minutes to do so, you could probably damage it quite a bit. Yeah, I think in theory that's absolutely, absolutely possible. I'm trying to think of examples because I don't... I, I can't actually think of any. So maybe there are some... That's where that is the case. Where the amazing it goes from bulk, not yeah. just a, an, a good movie to a better movie, but a bad movie to a good movie. Um, yeah, I don't know if Kingdom of Heaven was considered bad before the extended, and then Alien Three is like a. I don't, I don't think so. Um, I someone saying Kingdom of Heaven had like an hour or so more of extra stuff because that's a. The extended whole lot was very long. Before. Yeah. Compared to the original, <laughs> from what I remember. Uh, um, but I maybe there is some I can't actually think of any. Um, and we're not again. We're not just talking about like editing as a thing. We're talking about a bad movie that becomes good with the extended cut. You know, especially when we're talking about a Ghostbusters uh, kind of scenario where it's just uh, like sixteen minutes or so of extra footage. Well, a reference to Daredevil. Scenes. 2003. That's that's something we could do for EFAP movies. Oh yeah, we could do that. The only thing I remember about that movie is the the crime scene. Daredevil leaves uh, his logo in oil on the floor for no reason, and then the the guy throws his lighter on it, and it all lights up, and it reflects in his glasses. And I remember being baffled as a kid. I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why any of this?" <laughs> movie or how the Blade Runner theatrical cut is not even considered the... Please just don't invoke Blade Runner when talking about Ghostbusters 2016. That's just... Yeah, no and also I don't ever... Maybe they are, but I never recall the normal version of Blade Runner being considered bad. Just not as good. Yeah. I can't remember. Is, is the theatrical one the one with the nar narration? The narration is fucking frustrating for a lot of people. At least I found it frustrating real uh, version of the movie anymore yeah. certainly not the version that's available if you have only seen the theatrical version of good oh right uh, i still can't this, get over that yeah, with that chair so he just he, he runs <laughs> what through what was he throwing it at that 
He Under runs through chair? a bunch of rooms. He picks up a chair and throws it at nothing, and it it, yeah. gr it gets grabbed and thrown <laughs> back. It's the most like, what the hell's I, happening? Like, he <laughs> was supposed to throw it out the window. The window. But he did. He wanted to try to get out the window. That never would have made it to the window. You wouldn't have cleared <laughs> the chair. That's such a weird scene. Ghostbusters 2016, and you're basing your opinion of Ghostbusters on that. Or you haven't seen either version, and you're basing your opinion on Ghostbusters on takedown videos. Yeah, you only need to do that, honestly. Yeah. Guys, guys in chat, if you haven't seen these movies, the takedown videos are more than enough. These, these movies oh, are absolutely. garbage. I had only seen the takedown videos, and I promise you, they, they don't go far enough. <laughs> like the the actual movie is wor is is so much worse. Yeah, they were they were kind. That's how, that's how they were it. watching the movie yes. is the worst thing that you can do. <laughs> if like, ever it twice, if ever you were gonna watch Ghostbusters twenty sixteen, instead just watch Plinkett's review. That's probably all you need. Um, if not a few other people's coverage, I guess. Because <laughs> it's gonna make sure you, you have reference a Plinkett or some people in here. I would love it if he did that. The, oh yeah, he, I'm sure he hates him because he's probably got also, the biggest video shitting on this movie. By the way, also you said you, you should on it. base your opinion on the original cut. That there was no other cut before. On what else should I base my opinion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if they cut out all the parts that were supposed to make it good, That's then it's, just it's still a shitty movie. Yeah, you yeah. you think you really, so at that point you have to be critical of the fact that there's like so they're just really shitty editors. That I guess he agrees with that. Because they decided to cut out what he believes is what made the film strong, so it's like, oh, damn. Red oh, shit. Red Letter, so Plinkett's Ghostbusters review has 4.3 million views. Yep. Their half in the bag on it has 3.7 million <laughs> views. <laughs> Holy well, as far fuck. as I know, they're, they're pretty big Ghostbusters fans, and they were like, oh. oh, no, what are they doing? Well, they had a review of the original Ghostbusters, and yeah. that I, has over that has a million points. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Mike's favorite film is Ghostbusters, I think. I, I can't remember, but uh, uh, he, he fucking adores that film. So he, he was obviously not hugely happy with this. It's on YouTube. I urge you to watch the extended cut before continuing. So if you're gonna watch one of them, don't watch the extended cut. <laughs> Just... Watch the original. Just watch the original. It go it's over faster, okay, guys? Like, you can, <laughs> uh, you can escape a little quicker. Wait, look at this shot. Do you remember when there was all smoke in front of the cars? <laughs> is this before yeah. that happens or after? I don't know. And look at the police department. Why is it so fucking small? <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. It looks like a model. It looks like, like a little, little model. Incredibly looks... strange shot. Where he's You're... just standing there, and all the cops and police are standing in this one massive group. <laughs> the NYPD and all building of the vehicles looks... are there, and there's like a line where nothing happens from that point on. It's like yeah. an extra set from a play that isn't happening at the moment. The NYPD is like a Dunkin' Donuts. Fire... Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was trying to get my head around, like, what does it look like? It looks like a little coffee shop or some shit. <laughs> and that fire truck looks like, like a tonk, like a little tonka truck. <laughs> like it was, it was placed on top of, of the seed as well. Yeah, because it sticks out so much out of everything. Oh, weekend had a disconnect. Apparently. Oh no! I'm back. I'm back. Oh, okay, good. cool, cool. Yeah. We, we were just discussing how good this movie is. Oh, it's the best movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's on Amazon Prime. O obviously. It's the one that runs two <laughs> hours and 13 minutes. Oh. Not the show. Oh, remember the ghost oh. axe? <laughs> yeah, this oh, is the ghost axe that they throw, and it, like, misses them, but then it hits another ghost and kills the other ghost with the they ghost axe? Ghosts. Can we just talk about this? They kill ghosts? Yeah, so it just... we, wanted, <laughs> we, we, were, we were blown away by the, this this portion of the movie. Because ghosts just get blown up, like they, yeah. like they're as if they're like pinatas. They just shredded. shoot them they and they explode. Shredder. They have a ghost grenade. Yeah, they throw a they grenade throw at the ghost. <laughs> it's like, it's actually just a normal like, grenade, really. And they use their streams to like pick up ghosts and throw them <laughs> in directions all willy nilly, like it's not. It's such a bizarre scene. You don't really understand because they establish as well that all of the ghost killing, like like equipment can affect the, like, it, it blows up vehicles, it can burn concrete, so it, like, it's very dangerous. 
She throws a grenade at the feet of her friend and it blows up. The ghost gets fucked up, but the girl is like, oh, good, thank God. It's like, yeah, while, wait, the, what? while the girl is being held by a ghost, like grappled by a ghost, she throws a grenade at them and yeah. it kills the ghost, but it doesn't hurt her at all. So Even it's though it's basically confusing. like a Here's plasma the grenade it from Halo. Early, there was an earlier scene where they did this, like, oh, this only hurts ghosts, but then... She throws it, and the fucking alleyway just explodes, and everything goes. Yeah, up they they plane. made sure to tell us that, but what we saw was not that at all. Do you remember when it hit the motorbike and it fucking it destroyed <laughs> the motorbike? Yeah, did like a million backflips. It was crazy. But now I guess they just fixed it. Now we're just assuming that they fixed like, yo, this actually only hurts ghosts now. Like you're you're fine. We're all Gucci. Tube, I urge you to watch the extended Don't. cut before it's continuing. Trap. It's a trap. That's on Prime. Mm -hmm. It's the one that runs two hours and thirteen minutes, oh. not the short one. If if you would have if this if this was like a still of the, just oh. this film running with the words two hours and thirteen minutes in front of it, do you think it was an insult from a from a video making fun of it? I was like, actually, can yeah. you believe there's two hours and thirteen minutes of this? I got that impression just now. Like, if out of context, this does sound like he's making fun of it. Like, you feel that two hours and thirteen minutes, which, by the way, you do. Uh, that film you, yeah. keeps going. It just keeps going. But luckily, the film is fascinatingly bad. Mm -hmm. You're kind of, you're kind of hooked in this weird way. Um, yeah, it's, if you if you're with you fucking in. with five other friends and alcohol, it it it's easier. <laughs> Let's oh, put it that yeah. way. Oh yeah, I say that with that context. I I couldn't have made it through this alone. I would have. It's the first EFAP oh. movies with like six people watching a movie at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Okay, glad we're all caught up. Ghostbusters is good, actually. No, you said that before. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> that was the part where you tell us why. Good, actually. Ghostbusters it's is... It's terrible. See, I would... If he was at a call, I would be like, I want to hear you sniff. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Breathe through that nose. And he goes, eh. <laughs> like, I knew you couldn't do it. Nothing. <laughs> What? what is this movie about? Wait, That's a good so question, are you, actually. Are you telling me that yeah. Ghostbusters has some sort of theme? Oh, you, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Is, there's, that, is that it? There's gonna be a theme, yeah. But I mean, what would you but, guys guess? I mean, what is the movie uh, about? I'd be like, uh, um, it's about family. <laughs> and that's what's so powerful about it. <laughs> if if I was gonna be as generous as possible with this movie and say what was what was it about? Um, <laughs> what is what is the through line exactly? I don't know. I mean, it's it comes across as a corporate cash in movie for a franchise more than any. It it's it's it, it straddles the line of being almost like an earnest parody of something else. Well, yeah, but that thing doesn't exist in our world, so it's just a bad movie. It ticks a lot like of the space... same boxes that TFA does in relation to A New Hope, uh, except Ghostbusters is a comedy, so there's different results, I would say. Like, there's so many scenes in the 2016 one that are in the original, but they've just been made hollow, and they're, like, they're fucked up. Because we actually watched uh, the original after it, and holy shit, like... It just just confirmation chat because I knew all of you weren't sure about this. The original's better than the 2016 one, okay? <laughs> it, yeah, just yeah, good. I'm glad. Yeah. Just just making sure. Of it. But there's so yeah, many. I think... page. There's so many scenes and payoffs that are repeated in the 2016 one that don't have like the build up or the 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 the, the, sus, the, the everything every word that could ever apply to 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 Im imply some form of creation behind it. It's not there. Also, yeah, I've, I've shocked of... many people in chat. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll take it. I kind of agree with Red Eggs that it's kind of a, a parody of the original. It's like, because like, if like, think about the ending. And basically, to defeat the ghost, they had to kill the old Ghostbusters logo. That's, I mean, come on. That's you can't deny don't, that it's some kind of jack by shooting it in your balls. Yeah, that's. <laughs> had... So the they take. Bill Murray turn him into a skeptic character who doesn't believe in ghost. They kill him, and they say he was never cut out to be a real Ghostbuster. He's never cut out to be a Ghostbuster. 
Um, the logo like, is created because some random dude in in a like subway just throws it on a wall. Uh, yeah. And then that very same logo comes alive and tries to kill them, and they shoot it in the nuts, and then send it down a big green hole. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can't yeah, help but be like, "Damn!" <laughs> you, you, you just about family. <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, the Terminator Genesis scene uh, where the the John Connor Terminator picks up the Arnold Schwarzenegger one and says, "You're a relic from a deleted timeline." It makes you think, oh, like, right, yeah. fuck you, movie. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> like, go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Like, you can, go ahead and make your stupid new vision. Just stop shitting on the old one. Fuck it hell. It's, what, it's, it's, it's almost like an unspoken rule in Hollywood. If you're going to make sequels, you have to take a dump all over the old stuff people like. In case, you can't just do something good In on case they think that yours is worse, you have to shit on the old one so that they don't believe it. They're just like, no, yours is definitely mm -hmm. better. Yeah, and you have to question who are they marketing this to? Like the dipshits who actually who they know eat it up, or or are the people in charge just that I, kind of dipshit? <laughs> I think that what they were doing was they got caught up in the whole um, Hollywood uh, Twitter sort of circle, and mm -hmm. so they marketed and tried to get this film to a demographic of people that just didn't really actually exist in the real world, but they <laughs> thought that it was a big part of the world because of the bubble that they exist in. I mean, yeah. Paul Feig is the biggest fan of this film, I'd say. He's, it might be the, I guess, I, I was going to say only, but I guess it has two. Well, I'm sure the, the four main cast members like this film. I'm sure they thought <laughs> this was good. Maybe some, I, three of them, two. <laughs> One. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know. I think we all know Chris Hemsworth know. would have seen it like in a screening and been like, "Well, you know." <laughs> oh well. I'm rich. <laughs> uh, I would love it if like he was sitting next to either Paul Feigl, just someone like a crew member was like, "It was funnier when we were filming it." <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, guy. Yeah, I'm curious. What is this movie about? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Ghostbusters begins with Dr. Erin Gilbert being given the big, like a big presentation. She's no, up it for doesn't. tenure. Everything... It begins with the, the dude giving the tour. No, that's not. That doesn't count as the beginning. That's the prologue, Rags. God. Oh, well, I guess if, you're, if your opening scene is stupid and terrible and unfunny, and you just pretend it doesn't exist and move on to... Well, he's... This is a dumb scene, too. They're all dumb. Just by <laughs> default, they're dumb unless we stayed otherwise. Just go through this saying that. Wow. Well, what you've um, misunderstood is he's talking about what the film is about. It's not about ghosts, okay? So he doesn't need to include that opening scene. Oh, I guess it is about ghosts. Why didn't we say that? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's the obvious <laughs> answer. You've you, you got to say something more meaningful than that. Like, it's about family, as, as we get said. It's, that's the correct yeah. answer. In her whole life has been leading up to this moment when uh, she is outed Maybe. as the co-author of a Maybe. book about ghosts that she wrote when she was young. She finds the co-author, her former best friend, Dr. Abigail Yates, who has never given... Fucking hell, I didn't even know that was her name. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know any I of was, these characters' names. I was about to say, I didn't know that was her surname, and I was like, nope, I didn't even know those were either of her names. I just, she's <laughs> Melissa McCarthy, I don't know. I think the only person whose name I know is Leslie Jones's name was Patty because she literally wore a necklace that said Patty for the entire <laughs> ah. film. So oh, I I go. think that's I think that's her name. I assume it. Or she just really likes the word Patty or she eats lots of patties. <laughs> I don't know. Both. Up on the prospect of busting a ghost, presumably under the hypothesis that busting will make her feel good. Abby works with Dr. Uh, Julian Holtzman, the best character. Oh, no, she is. Uh, she's not. A, she's the most annoying character in the entire movie. I might go to say. Yeah, she's pretty fucking annoying. Uh, she does. First off, calling her character is always already being very generous. Well, she's. It's just. She's, it's she's just the quirky Harley Quinn yeah. female character. It's just. Ooh, I'm. I'm. I'm weird. 
and random. She reacts holes. to stuff in ways you wouldn't expect her to because you don't know what to expect. Isn't that yeah, great? She's weird. She's and Pringles while the ghost is there. <laughs> 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 Give me the Pringles. Just jealous because that was really funny. Because I don't eat carbs right now. That's why oh. I'm jealous. I want the Prongles. <laughs> <laughs> One Someone day. said in chat, anyone named Abby now is probably going to be hated. And like, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> oh, that's just, them's the breaks. Rip to all my A words. Oh, Major Lee's in chat, <laughs> assuming that is his actual account. Hello, sir. Major Lee, if that's really you, I want you to tell us what you think of Ghostbusters 2016. And be honest, I can't okay? Wait to get, yeah, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about Ghostbusters 2016. And now we wait. Yeah, hello. And and now we wait. Bring Major Lee on. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I can't. You he get to look it. at women. Yeah, that's the real Major Lee. You loved it. There you go. There you go. So now now chat, you know it's a shitty film. <laughs> that's so that is so mean. He he has very good insights and takes on on Star Wars and and Ghostbust, so uh, I'm I'm glad we got we got that take. Okay, now back to the best character in the whole film. Aaron tries to get Abby to oh. stop selling the book and agrees to investigate a haunted house as part of this deal. And then a ghost throws up real Was good all over Aaron. Or ghost did she surreal. just tag along? Ghost surreal! Ghost surreal! Ghost surreal! I believe in ghosts. The Ghostbusters meet Patricia Tolan, an expert on the city, hire a secretary named Kevin, the second best character. So when about, he said... What about the part when, when she got fired? Like, that happened here already. When he said, what is this film about, I didn't think he'd actually just do a synopsis, like I thought. Yeah, and remember what he said, guys? He said, watch the movie first and come back to me. And now <laughs> I'll tell you what the movie is about. Yeah, it's like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> if you don't actually yeah. expect people to do it, then don't. <laughs> then, like, ex like, act as if they did? Maybe this is all just set up. don't actually expect him to do it, don't tell him to do it. He's about to reveal the intertwining subtexts uh, that we didn't pick up. Character ...and discover that some nerd named Rowan is trying to destroy the barrier between our world and the ghost world he because he's a weirdo and everyone picks on, on him and subway. girls don't like him. <laughs> Wait, girls, girls don't, like, don't him. like him? No, no one likes him. No one I thought, yeah, I thought that the like thing him. was that nobody likes him. Why are you it's trying to turn this into a fucking gender thing, you asshole? He's an incel. Oh, that, He's an incel. That's it. That's it. That's it, guys. It's about incels and feminine <laughs> empowerment. But I can see it. Yeah, it's probably the first something like that. At the end of this scene, we hear him talk to someone on Walkie Talking. It's called Freak Show a Nerd by a man. Yes. He's called, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's called like a weirdo. No, ignore that. By that, a man that, on the radio. Yeah. That goes well, against my narrative. It's, and the way he talks, I, I don't blame the person on the Walkie Talkie. Yeah. yeah no oh yeah, dude. This guy's a fucking freak. The way you talk and act, and the way he looks at yeah, the way he stares at people. Jesus Christ! It's like is I honestly can't even remember a scene where like it's made clear that he's doing this because women don't like him. There's it none. was always just everyone hates him because he's a weird freak. Yeah, he's like, a... women are. He a never part stopped of... to consider maybe if I'm maybe if I don't act like a weird freak, people will be more you know likable to me. I, 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 yeah, like, I, I, why did he make this about, like, <laughs> I don't know, is it, is it well known that incels worship ghosts and stuff? Is this a thing that, <laughs> like, is that, alright. He basically spends all his time on Reddit. Oh, I knew he was gonna say Reddit. Oh. I was just about to say something about Reddit, and he said, Reddit. I was gonna say, I was, I was gonna make fun of him and say, he probably learned about ghosts on Reddit or some shit. <laughs> said it. Learned about oh, ghosts on Reddit. <laughs> Uh, so all that ever does in these sorts of videos is tell you about the author. That's all, that's all it ever does. It's like, yeah. ah, character, you're this thing that's not in the movie whatsoever. You're like, oh, why'd you say that? <laughs> what's, okay. what's going on there, right. buddy? Interesting. Our world and the ghost world because he's a weirdo and everyone picks on him and girls don't like him. He basically spends all his time Every on Reddit. Yeah. It, well, think... girls are part of everyone, so... Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, if shocking. everyone picks on him, then... Yeah, girls probably aren't going to be into him. You think that um he is disliked by many people, mainly girls, and he spends a lot of time on Reddit? Do you think, think that's what's going on? Do you think that's Renegade Cut? I don't know. 
Uh, I've not watched this channel before, guys, okay? So, so give me a break. I don't know. Or probably will I ever again outside <clears throat> of EFAP. Well, I mean, maybe he'll have other great takes, yeah, that we can cover at EFAP, you're right. The Ghostbusters have a series of encounters. Oh, and just an example of how great the overexposure is. Can you see this character's yeah. face looks, oh, like, deformed Jesus. to a degree? <laughs> Melting. It looks like oh, yeah, her the glasses are broken. Really weird. It's bizarre. It, the colors in like the whole Chinese... movie are, oh. There is a... There, in their Chinese office, their stairwell, which is not actually a stairwell... Because there's a scene where uh, Kevin walks down the stairs, but he's clearly traveling horizontally. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it was very strange. But that whole room is like a green screen, and it's very strange. There's a lot of odd color choices in this movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. With him and the ghosts that he's letting through the barrier, the Ghostbusters win. Who are you going to call? Aaron and Abby have great chemistry throughout the film. No, they don't. No. Get, substantiate that claim, please. Where? <laughs> Show me scenes. Together, guys. Isn't that chemistry? Like When they talk to friend? each other. Chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The scene he's showing. They're, that's why they try to be funny and fail. Like they they're do the whole chemistry, movie. It's like what really happened, which is two random actresses who are not funny doing unfunny things in the same room with each other. Yeah, they just kind of... That's chemistry. They just squawk jokes at each other, and that's it. They Did just you just say banter. squawk jokes at each other? <laughs> Did <you> say <laughs> delivery? But yeah, no, I agree. That's where we're at. The atoms are moving. Chemistry. Yeah. They are initially antagonistic, slowly becoming closer and renewing their slowly? childhood. Slowly? No, don't they don't slowly I didn't... become closer. They are, slowly. they are buddies. I didn't get that at else, all. Except for that room. Yeah. Also, wait, hang on. This is before they get slimed, right? Why is this slime all yeah. over? Wait, what? There isn't. On the wait, right, on the, on the left, in her trousers. That's... Oh. No, I that's that's just, no, I think that's, that's just how her clothes work. Uh... <laughs> that's just her strange, weird... Oh my god, she's got a ruby rose jacket. Oh. Well, no, it needs to be like ten <laughs> sizes bigger for it to be a ruby rose jacket. Uh, that looks pretty big. Yeah, well, I mean, The yeah. arms look really, really big, but it's short on the waist. Bum, 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 and then she's bum, got bum, that bum, weird bum, bum. specky Jackson Pollock thing underneath it. Well, so quirky. But Bond occasionally squabbling, but eventually Aaron jumps into a pit to the ghost you world. Just got to the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, she jumps into a pit to the ghost Children world. Eventually, <laughs> what? Because she over eventually she falls into a green pit. Whatever. I was, I was about to say, how, like, this is how you explained it for funnies. Five minutes uh, ago. Eventually, Luke saves his father, and I, I'd just be like, "Oh, are you making fun of the film?" And he's like, "No." He's like, "Oh, well, <sighs> you're not doing the best job of convincing us why it's remember, good." Remember how he said this movie's two hours thirteen minutes? Yeah, you skipped like two hours in between those scenes. <laughs> well, two it, hours. I was gonna say at oh, least shit. at least that's why we were having trouble with it, right? Because it's like we're we're having difficulty figuring out what exactly their arc is. He's just summarized it in three scenes. They kind of annoyed yeah. at each other. They work together. They save one another. You're like, okay. Well. And the first two things he mentions happen in like, and up generous here, 10 minutes. I yeah. don't think there's a single actual argument or breakup of any kind during this film at all between the characters. Even when they have the quote-unquote argument, they just don't really talk about it because she gets her one tons. Like, there's only two ones. Shut the fuck up. It was really <laughs> funny. You didn't get it. It's... Yeah, it didn't because... <laughs> hey, Abby. Jesus. And it's just beautiful. Stupid idiot. The humor is where the... Oh, guys it's beautiful. He said it was beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> he said this scene was beautiful. It was just, so, it was I don't know about beautiful. you, but I think that... Leslie Jones here kind of looks like a weird, <laughs> like a Mr. Burns. She looks Mr. like Mr. Burns. <laughs> oh my god, I can, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> when you get a smiling Mr. Burns image. <laughs> <That's so evil>. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, yes, the children. Excellent. Oh, Excellent. No. Yes. oh my god. There's so many results for smiling Mr. Boone. Have the ghost yeah. work in my <laughs> nuclear factory for the Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> it's funny though, Jesus Christ. <laughs>
Ah, oh, Mr. Beans. Mr. Beans. Somehow <laughs> less cartoonish than most of the characters in 2016 Ghostbusters, if not all. <clears throat> it's like a person who hasn't smiled before smiling. <laughs> Thanks for audiences. If you love rapid fire jokes on jokes on jokes mixed with intentional cringe awkwardness. Intentional, intentional. cringe. <laughs> oh. Intentional. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, like your video here is intentional cringe. cringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie would love this movie. Yeah, it's pure self-aware cringe. <laughs> it knows it's terrible, guys. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, no. This movie thinks it is hot shit. Yeah. Ooh. Stirred around with some old school physical comedy, all of which is safe for the consumption of children, then this is the movie for yeah. you, or at least yeah. for your children. And if not, you probably <laughs> hated this. If, if, if at it's least not for, for you, for it's your for children. your children. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give my uh, your dumbass children. That's helpful. Wait, wait. Look at look at that shot though. Look at that Kate McKinnon expression. It's like. <laughs> <what the fuck? laughs> Like, it's like fucking fuck? freakazoid. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Yeah, that's a that's quite a face. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. It's like bra. Oh. It's like it's like a bra expression. Like bra. Come on, bro. bro come on, bro. Bra. Bra. Come on. Bruh. Can't convince you that something that did not make you laugh is actually funny because humor does not work that way. Well, no, no, it doesn't, but you could at least try to explain why the construction is either clever or amusing to you, instead of just going, well, subjective, fuck. Wait. Yeah, I could make a better case for this film's jokes than you can, I promise you. Like, it made me upset that there was, like, there could have been, like, two jokes in this two-hour film, and I was upset when they weren't allowed to be, they weren't allowed to blossom and grow into jokes. Yeah. I just... Yeah, like, like there, you can still talk about the construction of jokes. You can, you don't just go like, I would explain the joke, but that means it, it like, it, I don't it's know. It's all subjective, so it doesn't, if you didn't like it, then it's still a joke, because it's all subjective, so ha, I don't have to do anything, because ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, like, it's so all, when, when, comedy. when we say like, oh, they're listening to a recording, and then there's a fart sound, and they all look at each other like, what? Like, that's a, we know that's a joke. It's very clear. But... It's mostly understood by a lot of people that um, random fart noise is like bottom bar. Like I'll I'll throw that in my random reviews for, for what, at the end of like another joke. It'll just be a fart sound. Like it's because it's just like the whole point is how shit it is. It's kind of funny, mm. but that was like their whole set piece was for the fart sound. They built that shit up. Yeah, like, sound, yeah. there's, like, a whole mm. prep for it. There's a machine that they listen to the recording, and then and then she's, like, disappointed. And, and you can tell, it's like, oh, the audience is supposed to go, hee, 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 farts. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, that, okay. And he's sitting there like, well, your kids will like it. Like, oh. Yeah, but kids are yeah. dumb. The kids just love pussy farts. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> they know. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna legitimately confuse young people who hear the description of that and go like, from the front, but I don't, like, what? I don't it's a know. vaginal thought, just... honey. It makes sense. You know that Explain. sound from under the table your mama makes sometimes <laughs> at dinner? That's, uh, you'll understand when you're older. Oh, imagine a kid, like, repeated the joke, like, hey, mom, it, would it be funnier if it came out of my back on my front? <laughs> the mom's like, ew. What? Ew. Why? What? You're, you're grounded. You're aborted. It's like when a it's like when a kid doesn't know when when a kid doesn't know that like the word fuck is a really bad word you can't say in public, but the kid only heard it one time and it's a new word for them and they don't know and so they just say it out loud like fuck and they have no idea what they've done. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that. Pussy fart. No, Billy. <laughs> no, no, Billy. No. Stop it. <laughs> something does not make you start laughing at it. But I will try to explain why so many other people did enjoy Ghostbusters and also why so you many, and me. Where? The I like that he's already accepted oh, the, the premise that anyone lost, enjoying like, this. Million dollars. Anyone enjoying this requires an explanation. I like that he's accepted that as a premise. Yeah. I have okay. to explain how it is that some people have managed to enjoy this and not kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> 
adults <laughs> in the room were not really the target audience. Ever. Oh, excuse number one. It oh, wasn't really for you. Go. You uh, didn't like it. You weren't the target audience. You, it's that simple. It's, it's not for you. Simple. Not for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen, for anything kids, you guys oh, enjoy that? is for you. Anything you don't isn't Never. for you. You sit there. Like watching along with Dora the Explorer, enjoying it, and you're like, it's not for you, slaps it out of your head. Like, stop it. <laughs> you're still not supposed to enjoy. Oh, I hate it's this like, argument. This, this, like, this is based on an already existing franchise, and you watch this, like, oh, it's terrible. Like, yeah, it wasn't for you. Yeah, but I like all the other movies. I, why wasn't that one for me? <laughs> we can usually identify the difference between something being good and for us, or something being bad and for us, something being bad and not for us, something being good and not for us. Like, if, if I watched. Some like we've talked about before, but like super baby kid shows, like it could very well be fine. Like I've I've seen a couple with, with uh, when my nieces come over and stuff, and, and you you know you know the everyone's had it. You see the shit on TV and you're like, yeah, this is uh, this, you know, there's a bunch of colorful things and people walking mm -hmm. around making oogly boogly noises. It's like yeah, it's fine. It's just not for me. That's that's that experience. You don't watch Wally -E and go like, nah, this is for children. I couldn't possibly enjoy this. Name Incredibles, Toy Story, Story, all of these things, now nah, they're for kids. Couldn't possibly enjoy this. There is no movie that you couldn't just dismiss criticism of by saying, oh, if you didn't like it, you just weren't the target audience. <laughs> Imagine no, we did it the, like, other, the reverse way. Defense. Imagine I, I made a huge argument for why I think like Incredibles is really well written, and then he was his response was, yeah, well, it's a kid's film, so you don't really need to say that. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that mean? He's like, it's well, yeah. it's just it's a kid's film. It doesn't need to be well written. It's like, what? Yeah, fuck kids. Yeah, they don't need well written stuff. Fuck them. Fuck them. Don't actually fuck them though. <clears throat> nah, not really. <laughs> don't, don't do that one. That one is bad. Anyway. Is he is thick. 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 Oh, is this going to be the the disgusting now? The disgusting colors. Okay, He's going to explain how those are for children, I guess. Aesthetic, ugly. <laughs> the aesthetic of Ghostbusters is this combination of ethereal and otherworldly. Ethereal and otherworldly. That's that's a word for it. Ethereal and otherworldly. Yeah. You mean like ethereal? <laughs> the definition of the word ethereal. Let me let me have a look at it. ethereal. Yeah. Isn't that what yeah. it means? Let me look it up. Extremely delicate and light in a way that seems to be not of this world. <laughs> okay, so you just yeah. said, yeah, heavenly or spiritual. Like, it's ethereal. Yeah. Also, otherworldly. It he appears to be not of this today. world. Otherworldly, if you will. <laughs> like, all right. I mean, like, I believe it's not real. Like, I don't believe these characters are real. No, but like, the Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters was very believable and grounded. Yeah, but this yeah. is for kids, so shut up. No. On colors. Well. Many of the ghosts are not fully CG, but instead are actors with visual effects added onto them. Much wow. Yeah. No. Like, already That's this still frame, you're like, uh, Amazing. so much better, because in the new one they just added goop upon goop upon goop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, and smoke <laughs> and goop and just... look it's glowy and blue ethereal glowy it's for children and shut up the original, <laughs> the original the original has so much detail and so much like you know so much thought put into how the ghost should look mm -hmm. and, it, and in the 2016 version it's just like yeah let's just get some fucking apple employee <laughs> Let, let's have a bunch of balloons <laughs> for some reason <laughs> evil ghost <laughs> balloons you're like okay Oh, all right then. It's like the librarian ghost from the original Ghostbusters, played by Ruth Hale Oliver. The scene with Gertrude okay. Aldrich, played by Bess Rouse, has a great. <laughs> That's compared to the first one. <laughs> yeah. See, it, look at the just look at this shot, right? It's look so at this over the top. That we're staring at right now. <clears throat> when this hap this happens very like the first time they go to investigate a ghost, bam! It's just. Yeah. Boom, She's just right like, here. hey. It was like, oh. It just, it just <laughs> happens, and you're like, oh, okay, all right then. I guess here we are. Guess ghosts all in right. To direct where she glides in peacefully. Abby says she's beautiful, <laughs> and then she suddenly spews ectoplasm all over Aaron. A Is Ghostbusters. Like, this faggot will clap at anything, <laughs> won't he? <laughs> Uh, he, he he sounded like he was having fun. He was like, 
she glides in peacefully, and then she spews lots of goo on Aaron. Uh, and the fact yeah. that he knows their names too, like, <laughs> it's like, oh, he he likes it. Sounded kind of jolly when he said that. To these characters. Oh, cool. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He he doesn't doesn't well, whatever. And he's like, there was goo, a mainstay of Ghostbusters. It's like, oh, that. That's a that's a that's a plus that's a plus Don't in the plus they, column, yeah, guys. It's a mainstay of retirement homes too. So what? But the, isn't it like in the original <laughs> Ghostbusters, if I, if I recall correctly, they travel through the people and they get like really cold and like kind of paralyzed or some shit. Um, I think like so. get, I can't like, I can't uh, quite remember, but the the goo factor was uh, cranked to eleven in in the twenty sixteen one because goo is funny, oh, yeah. as you all know. Goo, but they funny. Did, they also just vomit on it. Like, mm -hmm. Vomiting goo, no, that's funny. Yeah. Cut it all cracks. <laughs> Tradition. The further along into the film, the more we see inhuman ghosts, giant monsters, and slimers, and other various class 5 vapors. The neon glow of the... F he says that like that's just... That's like, that's like a fact. <laughs> okay. We see otherworldly ghosts, including class 5 vapors. You're like, what? <laughs> Like, you need to convince me that this shitty movie is actually not shitty. And you have a lot of work to do. Yeah, this, so far this feels kind of rambly. Like, I don't, I don't know mm. if he really knew what he was getting into when he made this. <laughs> He's like, you do understand yeah. you have to make arguments, right? Yeah, so far, longer means better, and it wasn't made for you, you fuck. And then that's it. The Brie Larson <laughs> argument. So, so we got to like, tell me why it wasn't made for me. Tell no. me what it is about me not being... What is what is the target audience? Tell me that. Well, so kid, be... kids like fart jokes, you don't. And it's because you're not a kid, therefore it's not made for you. Correct. This Correct. movie's... The, the movie with queef jokes is the one made for kids. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Well, hang on, yeah, because that's not even the only one. When she says the, who, the goo got in every crack, it's like, is that a kid's joke? <laughs> I don't know if if, we, if we're gonna be you know I I don't I'm just saying it's probably like a all right film exists even outside scenes with the ghosts as the movie contains a consistent aesthetic when the Ghostbusters take on the biggest and baddest consistent ghosts aesthetic in... um um I guess it's consistently the... pretty ugly I guess I if you hmm. had like a big Jackson Pollock image and you took little snippets of it. And just kind of pass them out to people. You could say, "Look, it's a it's a consistent aesthetic." Like I guess doesn't mean it's good. Totally does. It all, all it means is that the shit matches the rest of the shit. Oh. <laughs> New York. Why didn't the they just go downtown and film? To CG oh, look at that smoke, man. Mm. I don't think that's how smoke works, by the way. Slowly Pretty sure it spreads real fast. It doesn't sort of. Just stay. I guess it's ghost smoke, so it doesn't work yeah. like normal smoke, so yeah. fine. Green screen feels seamless. Maybe. Do you just say it feels seamless? <laughs> <laughs> you nuts? <laughs> um. Uh... The C The word CGI is just bouncing around in your head the whole time whenever a ghost is on screen. You're just like, yep, yeah, there it is. The illusion of real and computer generated and the difficulty differentiating between the two explains why some fans remarked difficulty. that they hate... That is uh, so fucking standard. You can do that yeah. on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> this does look like a TikTok filter. Put on the death filter. <laughs> cool. Did the ghost design in the trailer, dubbing it only CG, not realizing that... Okay, wait, hang on. So that's fair. If someone said this is only CG, and then you're like, actually, no, idiot, there's a human under there. I'd be like, it's not a surprise that they couldn't tell. Under there. <laughs> Look at that. Buried <laughs> under the CG. It's so much goo. It's like so when I said how his office was all, like, fucky looking. Because they lit it with CGI or something like that. Right. Like, yeah, no wonder there was something real underneath it, and now it looks like garbage. Actual actors were used for the ghosts. But much like in the original, humanizing the main antagonist makes for a more personal battle as opposed to just slaying a giant. It's not humanized. I'm sorry, how did they humanize the bad guy in this film? He's a caricature. He he's we only ever like find out he's an dick. asshole, that's it. He's like, yeah. uh, people don't like me, I'm gonna destroy maybe, the world. Also, I killed he's myself. Going, like, okay. Maybe it's going he's forward a... that he took uh, Kevin's body, and that's the antagonist at the end. That way, that, that's, that's the argument for how he's humanized, by using Kevin's body? 
That's what I think he's going for. That's not... I think they just wanted to get rid of the original. I think I said this when we were watching it. They just they knew they had Chris Hemsworth. And right. so they were like, fuck this other nerd guy. No one gives a shit about him. We want to get more Chris Hemsworth. Mm -hmm. So they engineered away in the plot for Chris Hemsworth to be evil for a little bit. Yeah, we paid top dollar. It, we need to use it. it. Wouldn't it be funny if the guy who played the villain realized that the movie he's in is bad? So he like, hey, can I, can I, can you kill me off in the script? <laughs> like he says that during filming, like, can you just, well, can you just kill me off? <laughs> it's supposed to be him for the whole thing, and then when he's dead, he's like, oh, what if I possessed Chris Hemsworth? Because that gives yeah, him a yeah. personal stake sort of thing. They're like, yeah, it's a great idea. And he's like, so am I, am I done? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, and he's like, oh. Done it. Yeah, he's done. We haven't. He's done. We haven't seen him since in anything else. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of Leafy. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> come on, like, man. Fucking... Leafy's back. No, I just, I, I just mean like the. He hasn't brought these back, right? The, the transitions. It's no. like, the, why, why so long? Why so serious? The primary antagonist of Ghostbusters is Rowan, a basement dwelling shut in who believes he speaks for the downtrodden. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like we <laughs> should know this, but I didn't even remember his name was Rowan. I any of the names. Like, I thought he speaks for the. I thought he wanted. He speaks he for the spoke downtrodden. For it's his outfit. No, himself people hated him, so he wants to help the ghosts, like, destroy the world. Yeah. Because he, he said the ghosts were people who. The people. The particular ghosts he had released, they, they were all downtrodden like the dragon ghost the dragon ghost was probably picked on by other dragons <laughs> as far as dragon ghosts go he was pretty tight though well when he tried to kill them all i agree it's unfortunate yeah, he was he's unsuccessful kind of badass it yeah it's i wish he succeeded <laughs> <laughs> to that end he plans to rip a hole in reality and it's up to the ghost puppet rowan is the most 2016 antagonist imaginable he is perfect. He is exactly oh, the right. Oh, I hated him. He do, was. Do you think? Like, I'm honest. I, I just. I, do you think he sees himself in Rowan? And he's just like, my yes. guy. <laughs> That's my, my guy. guy. I remember in my review of this, I said he was like a supernatural Elliot Roger, because he was just so dead behind the eyes. If we could release ghosts into the world, there'd be a lot more. Similar. There'd be a name for him, like ghost terrorists, but ghosterists <laughs> or something. <laughs> Foil for the modern world. Someone who mistakenly believes he is part of a marginalized group and has an inverted he understanding of why. I mean, everyone no, hates him. That's, he is, he's literally, he is. Yeah, everybody hates him. Yeah. You can't get more marginalized than that. Everybody hates him and thinks he's weird in this film. Not, uh, understandably so. But he is absolutely <laughs> marginalized. Like, just because he's a white male, I, I guess this guy thinks that, oh, this guy's a white male, so he can't be marginalized, even though works. it's established that everybody hates him. Yeah, yeah, but he's still white, so fuck you. And it's for kids, <laughs> Rex. Get dabbed on. Damn. He is a loser. <laughs> Rowan thinks that people, apropos of nothing, treat him like a creep, and that makes him a victim, whereas Rowan simply is a creep. And wow, I'm glad that's our character. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, a creep and people think that he's weird because of that he's not understanding that that's why he's a villain You're like okay anyway, what happens if he moves that little uh mirror somewhere else is the hand gonna stay there or is it just gonna t turn into a normal mirror again well, I'm, just, I'm just i'm just wondering i don't know that's the one he takes on holidays <laughs> he needs some demons on his holiday <laughs> just smash through a little hammer as an emergency demon hammer <laughs> and wishes to victimize others. Souls who see the world as it truly is, as garbage. Garbage that needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, so this is why we made jokes about him being perfect husband to the girl from Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she has the same motivation. They're mostly dudes. Rowan is played by Neil Casey throughout much so of the film, men, but women? then he is played by Melissa McCarthy once Abby is possessed, and then by Chris Hemsworth when Kevin is possessed. Hemsworth gets to play two roles in the movie, and he shines in both of them. Mm -hmm. Once Rowan um, possesses yeah. Kevin... I think... Well... Yes, how he's... much of this is him just doing what he was directed to do? Whoa. Like, it's weird. You can't... Because he's not a bad mm -hmm. actor. And I don't know how much of this is him in this film, and how much of it is him doing what he's told in this film. 
I, I assume he was messing around a little here and there, you know, bringing a bit of the old Hamworth charm. And let's be clear, Charles Dance was the best actor in this film. Oh. <laughs> by the way, by the way, chat, Charles Dance is in <laughs> Ghostbusters 2016. We hoped he would save it, much like he did in Godzilla temporarily for a scene. Um, yeah. And he did do a decent yeah. job. He basically called the film out for being shit. Charles Dance did at one point. He had a line that was about it, but um, I, yeah. I, I wonder how many times Chris Hemsworth just started a joke impromptu so, and no one got it on the set, and it's like, oh, okay, yes, I just Jay's in chat. Baking he says, soda on the asset. Jay says, "Dude, this is exact Rick and Morty line too. He just hates white dudes who see themselves as victims." Like, yeah, pretty much. I mean. It's it's hard not to hate white people. They do suck, right? Yeah. Just, oh. Hitler was a white yeah, exactly. male. Well, exactly. No, yeah. Exactly. Hate point. Most dinosaurs were probably white, and they, they yeah. killed a lot of people. That man dabbed on so many Jews. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the real fun Dabbing begins. On the the Jews. dance off, the overconfidence. Rowan mocking the Ghostbusters by transforming into this their was logo. Weird, was a nice even touch. for the movie. That's, it felt out of the, the, the Ghostbusters logo animated coming to life. Yeah, that did feel out of place. But uh -huh. it was funny. Yeah, no. The movie mocked Ghostbusters. That wasn't a fucking character. How the fuck did he know about that symbol any goddamn way? They were, they were using it, I guess, as their logo, but I don't even rem really remember uh -huh. much of that. I it's... remember a uh, quirky girl made a picture of it from the wall. That's, yeah. that's all I remember. Uh, yeah, this movie See, I so don't even poorly remember written. the names. Fuck that movie. <laughs> it's a shame there is no sequel forthcoming because the movie. No, 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 it's no, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Can you imagine in 2020 we also get a Ghostbusters 2016 sequel? Fuck that. It's like the only no. Ghostbusters oh 2016 stat on the internet. <laughs> this guy. He's like, please get me that sequel. You're like, no. Nah, we're good. I think there's other things. They got a we'll proton. They got a proton minigun, I just noticed. On the table. Oh, yeah, well, she at the end of the film, she's got a proton, like, ghost nutcracker. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Sequel baiting an encounter with Zool was a great to be continued. That No! It wasn't just... great. Nothing about this was great. Shut up. This film was <laughs> shit. It's, Stop it's, it. it's like the worst Stop kind of it. bait. You just have, remember Zool? You're like, okay. I remember. You. And he's sitting there thinking like, oh my god, what great ideas we can, we can work with. Oh. Fortunately, we'll never be continued. Wait, <laughs> he hasn't explained yet what the movie is about. I was going to say, do you like... remember that part of it? <laughs> well, because that was before, because he said antagonist. That was the section we just watched. The... I completely forgot the section that was what was the movie about. He literally just fucking explained the synopsis, and then yeah. he was like, "There's good chemistry," and then we moved on. If you didn't, didn't yeah, why? The synopsis, he you. didn't even talk about the antagonist. Why even? What was the why? What is this video? This video's title is inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you are not making a convincing point to me, the target audience of this video. No, you know, I would no, imagine kid, kids are the target audience for this video. Come on. <laughs> All right, I could lower myself to that level, as I often do, <laughs> to the kid level. My immature ass. If there is one ass- His voice- by the way, his voice is too dull and boring to use such exciting and upbeat music. It's very- huh. it's very, very strange What do you mean his just... voice is not exciting? What are you talking about? <laughs> now in the next section of my video... <laughs> Okay, part two. <laughs> Ghostbusters is good, actually. <laughs> One aspect of Ghostbusters that is almost universally agreed upon, it's that Holtzman is the best character. No. No. What? what are you talking Lost. about? <laughs> this Lost film wrong. lost so much money Where is people this? hate it. There is nothing universally agreed upon. Yeah. Where is this conversation taking place? Like, the people like, oh yes, she, quirky head. character, she was the best. I thought, didn't Red Light Meteor agree that uh, Leslie Jones' character was the best one? That's what they said, no, right. but yeah. they're all wrong because Charles Dance Patty, was the I best think. character. True. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's just like, the, we're all just like, oh, is that, oh. 
<laughs> All right, I'm glad you've spoken for the everyone. A mad scientist who makes the proton packs, ghost traps, and various other new toys for the Ghostbusters to play with. She's a ball of. I just thought of how the ball they're, of they're talking about they're talking about the gadgets, right? So uh -huh. if you cross the streams, as we all know, it's like into the world or whatever. One of their weapons is a pair of dual pistols that shoot these things. Yeah, but if you remember, they like wrap around them and then she just like throws them. I don't even, we'd have to rewatch the scene. I don't know if they like just, they just dissolve after she does that or something. But it's such a weird scene because nobody's trapping ghosts in that scene. They're all just shooting at them. Mm -hmm. They only trap the one dragon ghost thingy and that's it. Yeah. Weird, all, all, dude. all after is just like, yeah, they just disintegrate, and there's like ghost corpses lying around at the end. It's like, oh, okay. Energy, and she has by far the best action scene in the film as she annihilates the ghosts with her proton pistols. Yeah, she's yeah. the best scene in the film. She annihilates them. It's so yeah. Cool. Okay, so and I, I would kind of be like, is this parody now? Like, I don't know because it's just this scene is awful, and he's like, it's like the best. She annihilates the ghost. She fucks them up so good. <laughs> remind, okay. me if, remind me if I'm wrong, but in the original Ghostbusters, they just always catch the ghosts. They don't just fling them around, <laughs> obviously, but they don't shoot them well, and they disintegrate or anything. There's they, a little bit they, of flinging because they're trying to capture them, right? Well, like, yeah, that's... just they pull it and shit, <laughs> sure. But they don't just do it once and throw them away. away. The only other like, thing I can think of is the fact that they attack Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and burn him with the with the lasery parts. But like that, there's nothing. There's no reason why that doesn't make sense. That he's he's made of yeah. marshmallow. They're burning him with the lasers. It's like yeah. It's just I don't I don't know where the, the the idea came from. It's like oh yeah, just just nuke the ghosts with your dual pistols. Why did she lick the gun? Is pack. that is it is it badass to lick your guns? That's right, you know about guns. Like, yeah. Do you often lick the barrel of your gun? I want people to understand that the barrels of guns get so fucking hot, like, <laughs> you, can, you can't touch them. But pre-firing, pre-firing. Oh, pre-firing? You gotta lick it to make the bullets go out faster, right? <laughs> For you gotta lube it up, you gotta yeah. lube up that tip so the bullets come faster. Mm. Ew. <laughs> but I, I think we can all agree this was the greatest scene. It was so awesome. She was so cool, and it was just so badass. It was so... Isn't it weird that he's done all of this after saying it's for kids? <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. oh. And whips, and like, she's they... just great. Damn, look at it. There's all those ghost just... corpses. <laughs> she's just great. L listen to this. Like, this is lying oh, there. I'm going to roll it back. Listen to this nerdgasm. It's for the this this, this, this whole with. explanation for this. She's a ball of energy, moment. and she has, by far, the best action scene in the film as she annihilates the ghosts with her proton pistols and whips, and she's just great. She's <laughs> just great. <laughs> she's just... Uh, uh, great. <laughs> It's one of the you just want to like ruffle his hair, and be like, oh well. I, judging from the picture, I don't know if you could do that. Like, just ruffle his ha head and just be like, no. Polish his cue ball. Yeah. You oh, you like your little little Ghostbuster film, but you're okay. He's just poor, great. Poor guy. Yeah. Bye, weekend warrior. <laughs> it looks yes, like the weekend defeated him. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Speaking of her toys, all the additions to the Ghostbusters <laughs> arsenal really should be enough to excite diehard ghost heads who have- No! Why? Oh, Why? It was never about the gadgets. Why? It was never about the gadgets. <laughs> what is he- what is he talking about? Like, the, the original the film is just the, 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 the main blaster thing, the proton pack and the blaster and the trap. Like, as if we were sitting like, I need a ghost grenade! <clears throat> I need a ghost bear tra they ghost have a ghost bear Buster trap, bomb, guys. A ghost, ghost bear trap. Swords and a ghost halberd. Ghost, ghost shotgun. Gun. A ghost, ghost shotgun machine. and a bat shotgun. Die hard ghost, dead bats. ghost heads. That's all they wanted was, was just new tech. That was the main thing we were after. Thank goodness we got all of that. Good old That's why people love the film. Launch. It was everything go that this is why people who love the first Ghostbusters hate this one so much. It's weird because they had so many more ghost guns. Yeah, how does he reconcile <laughs> this? Is he gonna be like they must hate women? I'm curious if that's gonna come into this video. Has he he hasn't said that yet, right? That, that that we all hate women. Not yet. No, not yet, not yet. Not really. Uh no, I I you'd think he would though. 
Well, he went with the incel thing. You'd think it would have just been a nice and easy slip in there. Be like, yeah, people don't like this movie yeah. because, you know, women. ...have been waiting their whole lives for new stuff for their collections. As much as the Ghostbusters are the stars of the movie, okay. it's hard to imagine this film without Kevin. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I it's really easy to imagine this without Kevin. Or really any of the characters. What a statement. Like, as much as it's about the Ghostbusters, it'd be really hard to have this movie without Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like I, I mean, right. we, we'd we'd have a whole bunch less of idiot guy jokes, but nothing else really changes because he well, could have no, been anybody in this also scene. Objectify him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We do. So there's lots of scenes where it's just about how Chris Hemsworth is hot. He's dumb, but he's hot, and it's like mm. I I thought we were we were anti this us us One pro of the protagonists he drinks wants a to coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. He, she just wants to like taste his. His his lips is spittle on a cup of coffee. Yeah. <clears throat> like it's really it? weird. It's the kind of stuff you could never reverse the genders and get away with. No, yeah. uh, that would be considered incredibly creepy and weird. Um, but because it's Chris Hemsworth, it's okay. Yeah. It's very very straight. But yeah, he could have been replaced in the finale of this. Well, the third act, I guess, by anybody. So him not or being Kevin doesn't matter. The only, honestly, the only thing that really changes is this just last stupid person jokes, but you can just get someone else who's stupid if you really want those. Yeah, you could have had another secretary, you could have had the guy transform into anybody else. The two people? Kevin was Actually, the three necessary. people who are most important to this plotline are the two main girls and Charles Dance. Without Those three characters are what make everything happen. So, not Kevin. But, okay. He has given a lot of the best lines and gags, like Kevin asking oh. to choose between two headshots of him. See, guys, it's he's hilarious. <laughs> Look, oh, it's face. it's so funny. Well, it's, my my issue is just like, oh, he's he's hot though. That's 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 it. Imagine this was a girl. I feel like I feel like people would be pretty upset. I like Chris Hemsworth though. Yeah, he's a good actor. What is there on the screen? Addition on open Looks like, and like open role reversal or role rehearsal auditions calls? and open casting calls. So I guess it's like a joke that he's an actor. Oh, right, because these like are his headshots. An actor, like, uh, he, you know. He's considering uploading one or the other, I guess. Remember, remember the, the joke is that he says playing the saxophone or listening to the saxophone. Like, all right. See, that's, I, I see. This is like a thing that could work in in another scenario, but it's like no, <laughs> it's, just, it's just not good. It's not funny. These jokes are too goofy to be funny. You know, it's not Monty Python kind of goofy where its absurdity works. It's 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 lol so random stupid kind of thing that that is. There's no, you can't believe any of it. It doesn't go yeah. far enough, it so would be, you can't just embrace it. It would do a little better if you made jokes that, like, we could realistically see a stupid person uh, reaching instead of just, they're absurdly stupid. Yeah. You can't get behind... Like, he's he stupider than Homer Simpson. Stupid. Like, it's amazing. And with a saxophone, the ghost hot dog. Like, the joke here is that he's like, a ghost is holding the hot dog above the house. Yeah, he okay, comes up okay. with a logo for the Ghostbusters that is a hot dog floating over a house because in his mind, it's like the a ghost is holding a hot dog over a house and it's... Cre like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to explain it is bizarre. It's <laughs> dumb. It's like everything in this film is Everything that's wrong dumb. with life. Kind of. Michael Hat. Good. Oh, he referenced Michael Hat as a positive. So, okay, so to explain this joke, I believe he says he he wants to bring his cat to work, and then she's like, I don't have a cat. He's like, I don't have a cat, I have a dog called my cat. Then you have, they're like, your dog is called my cat? And he goes, no, Mike Hat. My dog is called Mike Hat. And then they're like, okay, we can't have a dog because of allergies. And then he says, that's okay, the dog is with my mother. That's the joke. 
They yeah, thought this was so. They spent one hundred and forty-four million dollars <laughs> on this film, and none of the jokes are good. Zero. We didn't laugh once. We laughed at this film for its terribleness, but none of the jokes were actually good. A lot of the, a lot of them, are like you go, you 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 see the pieces, and you're like, "Have I missed anything?" And then the film is like, "No, that's the joke." And you're like, "No, that's all oh, right, right." There it okay. is. And before you think about it, here's another banter bit that has you distracted. Ha ha. Now you don't know what to think. And that's the thing, people being like, improv, and it's like, yeah, that probably is why it's that bad, I guess, that they, they came up with that on set, and then, and then they laughed. You ain't no Colin Mockery, you can't improv. Don't think you can. And you don't have to improv. You could take as many takes as you want, write the script, redraft it, get the perfect cut, you know, the perfect scene. <laughs> Imagine Chris Hemsworth said that, he's like... The, the director's like just improv guys and he's like well we could work from a script how about that <laughs> like, what do you mean script we don't have a script well it's that meme right and he just throws Chris Hemsworth out of the building oh okay <laughs> yeah Ghostbusters <laughs> fans liken him to Janine the secretary from the original liken him to no. Janine nah, nah there's nothing not like her though what? Wow. what traits do they share except they breathe <laughs> <laughs> same character <laughs> Uh, I don't, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. Original <laughs> film, but Kevin far more resembles Lewis Tully, a bumble. No, still. Yeah, no. Lewis Tully wasn't dumb. He was just socially awkward and didn't know yeah. when to shut the fuck up. <sighs> but good natured man who wants to be a Ghostbuster. And Kevin, Kevin's not a real what? person. He's like. Kevin's a caricature. He's ridiculously <laughs> stupid. Be a Ghostbuster in this movie. Wait, We're did Lewis Tully want to be a Ghostbuster? He wanted to well, be a Ghostbuster. Yeah. In the first one. Oh, I, I thought we talked about Kevin. Oh, okay. Oh, the first one. Yeah, because in this one, Kevin doesn't want to be a Ghostbuster until he just randomly shows up wearing a Ghostbuster outfit <laughs> in a motorcycle when he needs to yeah. have that and says, I'm ready one... to be a Ghostbuster. I think there's a scene before oh. that where he says, like, yeah, I'm going to be Ghostbuster now or something. I don't know why it happened, but it did happen. Uh, no, but I mean, like Rick Moranis, like he compared him to yeah. him and saying, "Well, they both wanted to be your Ghostbuster." So wait, they're making a callback to the second Ghostbusters movie, then? Yeah, why wouldn't he show the second one instead of the first one? It's just confusing me. Uh. <laughs> From the original film, but Kevin far more resembles Lewis Tully, a bumbling but good-natured man who wants to be a Ghostbuster and ends no. up controlled by the antagonist. Mm -hmm. Kevin tries so hard, except all the times when he doesn't try at all. Why is what, what? Did, did you hear oh, he sounded hey. Dude, he sounded like he was going red um, in the cheeks when he was saying that. He's like, when he tries the hard, but he does it. He's like, what are you what is going on? Like what <laughs> Why why does he love this movie so much? Why is he so I like he just likes it? Yeah, he's like just, he just really enjoys just this movie. It. He's done a really bad job of explaining why though. <laughs> yeah. I just like it. He's so great. When she kills the ghosts, he's so good. When Kevin makes the joke, <laughs> he's so like good. It just goes back to, oh, I just like it. I don't know why. I try to justify it, but then he does like a really bad job. It's just like, yeah, you, can't like can't you can like, you can like bad things. There's nothing wrong with that. You can do so that. Funny. <laughs> he is not, he's not going to convince anybody. Nobody is going to be convinced that Ghostbusters is good now, and then they rewatch it, and they're like, "Oh, of course, everything has just been recontextualized." It all makes so much sense. I can't believe I didn't see this the whole time. It's hard not to love him, and he is one of the highlights of the film. You said what? that so many times now. <laughs> it's it's funny. He spends more time just stating conclusions than he does supporting them. Yeah. This guy legit has a picture of Chris Hemsworth with a cum stain on it. <laughs> Naturally. Oh. Also, he has strong pocket square game. Respect. What? <laughs> oh. He's got a strong pocket square game. I don't pocket know what that means. Pocket square game. I, I don't know what that means. Joke, and it it fails, means that like, thing he's wearing uh, on his vest. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. Pocket square? Is that what it's called? That can't be what it's yeah. called. That's too juvenile. Well, <laughs> it's for kids, right? Come That's like on. when a child points at and says, Mommy, Mommy, what's that pocket square on that man's chest? <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, oh, little, little Billy. Retard. That's not really what they're called. <laughs> little no one Billy would ever... retard. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> would actually call apparently, that a pocket square. That is, apparently that is what, it, what it's called. 
I'm so sorry, Rex. I can't. I... <laughs> a pocket square. <laughs> did, did the same guy who named the pocket square also name the flashbang grenade? I mean, it's. What are we it... going to call this grenade? I don't know. Flashbang. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's fucking brilliant. This thing makes toast out of bread. What do we call it? Toaster. Oh, toaster. <laughs> that works. I mean, it doesn't have to be a flashy name for everything. Not everything has to be called a Ferrari, now does it? Maybe it should be. Everyone's like, you're called pocket squares, rags. Like, I can accept that they're called that. That's the problem. I can accept he's, that he's upset. The Last Jedi ruined Luke Skywalker. That's what my problem is with it. <laughs> can you at Little least agree that he has... <laughs> square. you at least agree he has strong pocket square game, rags? Pocket square. You little clown boy. I have an issue with this it being called a pocket square. Uh. <laughs> That's stupid. And now, the common complaints about this movie. Wait, wait, wait we're done with wait, the, pr the pluses? We... <laughs> that was, we haven't done anything. what the movie is about. Like... Hey, he read out the synopsis, okay? He did it. <laughs> Come on. I hate this. Common complaints. Come on, here, the incoming Common straw man. Oh, here we this go. This is gonna be great. This is, I, Common I complaints. How come this isn't the longest section? Well, it should be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this part over with. I don't like the editing. Oh, Once again, least of this movie's issues. Uh, <laughs> but, but at least we could agree the editing is garbage. Yeah. Okay. It is Call bad. Out, but, like, cool. And this is a reasonable complaint, but only for the theatrical version. That... No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Oh, the extended uh -huh. version fixed everything, guys. <laughs> if anything, it was just more to be confused about. I would assume it's the same fucking dude who did the editing for the theatrical and the extended. Yeah. Thing, so. But just because the scenes are longer doesn't suddenly make the editing better. What the fuck? Like, chop, non choppy doesn't suddenly mean, oh, it's, well, it's, it's, yeah, it's better now. The scenes put, are like, I yeah, put 16 minutes now. in there, it's more better now. Be edited digitally. Ugh. It does not really exist anymore, except on Hulu, I think. The complete version of the film runs 2 hours and 13 minutes, and if you're basing you said your that already. Yeah, he likes to remind us because he knows that's <laughs> yeah. an actual issue, he just doesn't want to He's say it. like, man, this film is long. Think of the movie on a different version, I strongly recommend seeking this out. Don't. Why didn't they call it something else besides Ghostbusters? Why is this a main complaint you're addressing? Is this main? I mean, I think the issue isn't that it was called Ghostbusters. The issue is that it is Ghostbusters. Yeah, because yeah. yep. it's not like if this was named, you know, Ghost Hunters. It's not like we would be like, this is a fucking. They ripped off so much shit from the Ghostbusters IP, so it's obviously a part of the Ghostbusters IP. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, if this was the sp Spooky Soldiers or. Uh, yeah, I don't care or what its name is, really. I hate it anyway. It's... They would be... They can't, like, legally get away with this. It, I, its name being Ghostbusters is not really... I wish it were called something else, just so you can't mix them up. Like, because I hate that shit. We have to go Ghostbusters 2016, not the original. You know, every fucking time. At least Jurassic yeah, World didn't call itself Jurassic Park 2015 or whatever. When did that come out? Was that 2016? Jurassic Park? Jurassic World. Oh, I think that uh, was 2015. Hmm. Well, yeah, I I don't care that it's. I wish it were. I do. I wish it didn't exist. Not that it, like it being called Ghostbusters is the least of our issues, really. Because it's 2016, and even more today, almost every movie with a big budget is from a pre-existing intellectual property. That's not an excuse. That's an explanation. That's an excuse. Also, <laughs> ain't nothing intellectual about this property anymore. That's, that's like, that's like, why did you steal that that man's money when it fell out of his pocket? You're like, I needed money. You're like, no, that I'm, I get. Everyone likes to have money. That's not my point. Like, you you did something that, that's garbage, and he's like, well, you know what? It sells better. You're like, oh. Okay. I'm glad. What about all the films that do well that aren't a part of a franchise? What do we say then? It's just like, oh, well, they, they were lucky. They were fucking lucky. Studios make fewer movies with bigger budgets, which makes them even more adverse to risk than before. Studios aren't going to make a big budget oh, comedy can we, about... Go can, we, can we look at the background? That, that bothered me yesterday so fucking much. What do you mean the people? Uh, they look really the fake. People, they f they're so fake. fake. Like... <sighs> They're clearly CGI people. 
they, but they, they had the actors. Doors. Wait, how is how is that a how is that a they how green... is that a fucking complaint for the movie? What now? Mm -hmm. The fake people. <laughs> no, that was just me. Yeah, I, oh, that, that, yeah bothered me. No. that bothered me yesterday already. It's I just, yeah, like, it bothered me too. I'm with metal. It's like, weird. Like if you, if it looks that fake, just make ghosty things and close the doors or something. Well, no, they had the actors in the outfits. Yeah, just take a also, photo of them, I guess. Them. They used them earlier. Just, just take continue a photo. to do that. Take a photo. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in the background. Blur it. Or just have them stand there and just say, I know it's you can't hold your arm up for a long time because it's just strenuous, but just be like, okay, we're shooting and action. And then you know, you've got everyone's fingers up and then they could rest in between takes. You could also just use a better file, I guess. And I don't know, maybe make it loop or something. So it... it Something mm. happens. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's oh, so so bad. This movie is so terrible. Budget is from a pre-existing intellectual property. Studios make fewer movies with bigger budgets, which makes them even more adverse to risk than before. Studios aren't going to make a big budget comedy about ghosts and not have it be Ghostbusters. Why not? Maybe. maybe. Why not? <laughs> There's so many things wrong with what he's just said. So. He's like, they're not going to take the risk unless you attach it to an IP. It's like, so maybe have a lower budget. What's wrong with yeah. that? Just have a low why not, budget. Why not make a Joker? Why not make, a, even if you can't make the quality, make it not so grandiose. Like, why the fuck you did this movie need 150 million? million on this. Why? As if, I mean, as look as if... at the budget for the original Ghostbusters. Why do I feel like finding that out is going to be really like disappointing in terms of what we got? The Let's original budget, budget for the 1984 Ghostbusters was 30 million. <laughs> and then Adjust for inflation. <laughs> 30 million. How much money did it make? Uh, I will take a look. Oh, here's a 1984 financial. 300 million. For... Yeah, the, so the production budget was 30 million. Theater counts. Um. Uh, Did you put Ghostbusters in IMDb? The first result is the original. The second result is the trailer for the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Down you go. Yeah, this made. Yeah, it made basically it made just shy of three hundred million dollars. Wow, that is insane. The so it like it it did really well. <laughs> this film did not do really well. Well, you see, Rags, really it still makes sense, though, because nobody would fund it. And, like, you, you come up to someone and you're like, hey, four women are trying to capture ghosts. We need $150 million. You're like, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Ghostbusters, by the way. There's a Ghostbusters IP, so you'll do it. You're like, okay. Okay. This is not a Ghostbusters problem. It's just the 21st century. No. That's not an, That's not <laughs> a, Like, that doesn't do anything for your argument. It's just like, eh, it has to be this way, leave me alone. You're like, okay. Everyone hated it. A lot of people hated How it. How is that? <laughs> yeah. It lost $80 million. <laughs> also, wait, yeah, to, to, <laughs> to echo uh, what I think Jay Logan was about to say, it's like, so these are complaints about the movie. Everyone hated it. You're like, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... This like, sounds... if I was going to complain about this movie, my, my complaint wouldn't be that everyone hated it, I guess? It's it's a weird... It's, it's a like weird a thing. malformed sort of... Uh... It's Wait, it's his complaint. Why did you hate it, guys? Maybe that's what he's trying to do? <laughs> it's I don't his know. complaint. Wait. Yeah, it's... It's just, yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, it's... I think he just wanted to address this, but he couldn't figure out a section to do it. And he was like, I'll just throw it in common complaints. Everyone hated it. It's like, well, that sounds pretty common yeah. then, I guess. <laughs> No, it was critically well received. No. <laughs> How is seventy four percent critically well received compared to like most I, most critic beloved films just skyrocket to a hundred percent these days? If you were to go by the American grading system, like yeah. eighty, like not like ninety to one hundred is an A. And, well, uh, remember, this is Rotten Tomatoes, is so. Yeah. The review has to score. What is it like above a five out of ten? It counts as a like a, on a on like a binary that it's it's a fresh versus a rotten. Isn't that how it works? And then they average that out. 
Like, I think it has to. I think mm. it kind of translates to. It has to get to at least sixty percent. Sixty, yeah, that could be it. So it's only slightly above average. Also, as, as, <laughs> as, as, as Jay's just pointed out, it's like, hey, not everyone hated it. A bunch of critics liked it. You're like, oh. <laughs> Solid <laughs> arguments, my guy. Only th three hundred eighty really? critics versus one hundred twenty thousand. <laughs> <fucking people. laughs> Look at those sample sizes. Yeah, Holy but they're shit. not critics. A <laughs> hundred oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but that, that three hundred and eighty seems a little critics. small, doesn't it? Like holy shit. Why even bother? Ugh. And audience uh. reaction was split down the middle. Audience reaction was not split down the middle. If you talk to like anybody who saw this film, they're like, yeah, it was pretty shit. Yeah, weren't they weren't some rotten tomatoes juicing up uh or like lowering the score like raise no raising the use I mean I wouldn't trust them, no matter what, especially after the Rise of Skywalker shit, where they wouldn't allow it to go below 86, because that's what TFA was at. Mm. Interesting. And people have used that, by the way, in favor of uh, the film. They were like, you say everyone didn't like Rise of Skywalker, but look at the ratings from the public. And it's like, yeah, it, it stayed at 86 when it had like 10 people reviewing it, as it did when it had like 200,000. <laughs> like, interesting. It, Disney has the power to make it so that even if 10 people review something, the score can still be 86% somehow. Makes mm. sense. It's a they wonderful... have that kind of mathematical power. Might be led I to believe By the way, I never noticed her shirt before. They're one of the boys. One of the boys. <laughs> like, I couldn't... I, in another movie, I wouldn't bat an eye at that, but... Uh, I feel like with they clearly have a, a, an agenda here. No so shit. So I'm wondering if that was <laughs> like just this. specifically kind of, yeah. The market. Oh. Do you remember all the shit with, like, the the bad babies in basements hate this movie? That that shit that Sony was coming out with, I'm pretty sure, as well. And Sony were deleting, um... It's all, it's in a, it's in a Red Letter Media video. They checked out, like, like Sony had uh, allowed comments that were, like, super toxic, and they were deleting ones that were constructive. Makes it look voice. Get it because the complaints are always louder than praise, and the internet can form a kind of social. If the if the complaints are always louder than praise, then surely it's a even playing field for everything, right? If if, if the logic there is that <clears throat> hey man, every film is pretty much hated because complaints are always louder. It's like so. What about the films that are loved? Yeah. Well, that's different because they're better. <laughs> You're like okay, <laughs> I don't think you can't make this argument and say it applies. Uh, wholesale, but that'd be like, no, nah, Ghostbusters is the exception, though, because it is actually good. Which is the name of his videos, I'm pretty sure that's his point. Bubble, an echo chamber of opinions among like-minded people. In fairness, if your video is supposed to be a breach of that bubble, you've done nothing. Like, this is yeah. five five people here who thought it was shit, and you, you've barely even made an argument, as far as we can tell. You've just said things about the film, but you haven't done anything to actually convince anybody of anything. Uh, you, there's no examples here. You haven't given us an an example. You've just stated most of it was descriptive. Fact. He's just been like the the villain doesn't isn't liked by anybody. Um, the two main characters have a bit of a rocky relationship that's definitely okay by the end. Uh, he sums up the plot the plot points like like this is what people say that I do. <laughs> just sum up the movie's events and just like well it's impossible for me to have only done that because my videos are longer than the movie so. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Women's. I oh, there, ah. hey, there we go. <laughs> Bingo. Hey. We did it. it might, oh, he was chomping at the bit to get to that. You know. I was it. gonna say he really held off. Good job. Do you think ah. he did that? There's like a there's like a little rumor rule thing that they don't let shit like that enter into their scripts until at least like the three quarter mark, so that they can hopefully grab as many people as they could have before revealing <laughs> yeah. that. It's like, yeah, by the way, I think you hate women. And the viewer is like, uh... Oh, did he say that? I just missed it. I was just looking at something else. That is pretty funny, though. Yeah, no, he's, he, he, people don't like women. It's like, yeah, that was totally it. There was no way this movie could have been good as long as women were in it. That's our position. Yep. No way. Defy this with a response. It Wait, he didn't even... Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Why what? even bring it up, you fool? <laughs> <laughs> On he's, he said he's not going to dignify it with a response. Don't be a bitch. Don't no, be a no, bitch. He's, no, he's like trying to say that he's better than the people who say that oh, the movie's bad because it has women on it. It's, yeah, why he's like he it yeah, he said More he would dignify it with a response. Yeah. He said he would dignify it with a response. I, as an expert in women, 
Yeah. I, I, an enlightened human, respect the women. <laughs> you. I have evolved. Can we, can we go back? I want to hear that again. The females. Yeah, yeah, I'll roll it back. Uh, Echo chamber of opinions among like minded people. Women's. I won't dignify this with a response. It bombed out. Okay, <laughs> but you just did. You just highlighted it, and then you responded. Of this entire film. You didn't have to put it in your video, you retard. Like, why did you even bring it up? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, this is so stupid. Like, this Listen, is okay. what you need to put. Someone, like, someone this should just... be the biggest section if you're trying to defend this, because this is the biggest controversy of this whole film and its production. Yeah. Someone, someone in chess I could help that. <laughs> Common complaints. I'm just going to say... Women. Women's. Uh, with not Zen. even women's, just women. Dot dot dot. Not gonna dignify that with a response. There we go, good. Um, yeah, you don't want to dig dignify a woman with a response. Absolutely. So, so <laughs> this is the thing, a lot of creators like to do it, and it's just something that I, I really tend to want to avoid. So, it's like, think of the best defenses for a lot of the arguments you're making against a movie, and then you try and put it into your video to be like, I have accounted for this too. Instead of going, you're a big dumb doo-doo head, and then you go, no I'm not. Ah, uh, showed him. You're like, what, why? <laughs> Damn. I don't know, why, why even bring it up? And then it's like, I fucking... He establishes to us, he's like, this is a stupid argument, I'm not even gonna acknowledge it. It's like, you put it in the video. <laughs> Think of all the other stupid arguments he didn't put in the video. This is, I guess this is why I'm annoyed. Because there are thousands of stupid arguments. For example, I hate this movie because of the, the, the color of their clothes or something. You'd be like, oh, okay. He didn't put that one in this video. Do you know why? Because the women one is the one where he can essentially virtue signal. He can be like, I don't hate women. And people who do, yeah. they don't, I spit all the on them. Who didn't like this film. They hate women. Unlike me, I love them. Congratulations, you don't <laughs> hate women. Hey, people in chat, how does it feel to see someone in the, f the first time ever that doesn't hate women? Because I know all of you do. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's such an insane, like, cop-out to be to address the women controversy and how this was pushed as the women thing. And Yeah. You know, it, it was the biggest deal about this film and probably why it failed so much, because they put that ahead of quality. And he's just like, oh, I'm not even going to dignify it with a response, because, I mean, you know, we all, it's, this, this is a video that isn't made to change anyone's minds. It's just him screeching that it, that he likes it, and he's upset that no one else did. The anime slayer he's said, really I too have against bomb. bad things. Like, oh, well, nice. Good job. <laughs> um. But yeah, there is actually something to address there, and he's just ignoring it anyway. It's like, this was, of course, the, the whole idea of, like, there's another Ghostbusters film coming out. They're all going to be girls. There's four of them, but they're all apparently supposed to be, like, allegorical of each of the people who came before. And you're like, why? Why is this? Why? And then it's like, wow, do you hate women? And you're like, no, that's not. Okay, well. <laughs> why do you hate women? Why do you hate women? <laughs> At the box office. That's true. And? Is that? No. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. You, you don't understand. It, it's not and... our complaint that it lost eighty million dollars. That's oh not our God. complaint. We like that. Yes, we're we're appreciative of that. We're yeah, we're, thumbs we're up. Totally okay with that. That is not a complaint. <laughs> That's one of those times where you're like humanity. You did a good fucking job. You you, you lost it, it, money. Good job, guys. Hooray! But um. <sighs> Of course, if someone, th this is your standard thing, if someone says, it didn't make money, therefore it must be a bad film. It's like, well, no, no one, no one actually believes this argument. Like, this argument, there's so many ways it can break down, so no, no, that's not. But this make video sure you... was scripted very poorly. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I agree with that. How we're judging movies now, whether or not they made their money back at the theaters? We're uh, well, I mean, it, it proves that people didn't want to spend a lot of money on it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I suppose it's you can speculate as... on what reason that would be. As much as this was marketed, as much as this was pushed, as much as it had promotional material and everybody knew about it, it still lost eighty million dollars. <laughs> like, wow, that's that's crazy. Yeah. Movie fans, not studio executives, that really shouldn't matter to us in terms of whether or not a movie is a quality picture or not. Well, you yeah, certainly yeah. have <laughs> not proven this one is a quality <laughs> picture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also, like, like, I mean, it depends. <laughs> you know? in, like, in theory, I agree with his statement, but yeah, he, he didn't show Well, so, yeah, the, yeah, one of the reasons a film can lose money is like poor marketing can be a, a significant one. 
Um, a film being bad can be a really big reason for why it doesn't make money. This is a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. We all and accept this. this film was not poorly marketed. No, it was everywhere. It was really annoying. Um, and so it's like, how do you guys explain <laughs> how this didn't make money? And I'd be like, oh, it's shit, is my assumption. It's really yeah. bad. It's shit. It got Papa John's, man. It's like I figure the core <laughs> ghost, the core Ghostbusters fandom didn't want this film uh, to begin with. But of the ones that gave it a shot, they would not have been happy, and they would have told their Ghostbusters fr friends that were partially interested to not see it. Similarly, how we're telling all of chat: do not watch this film, and if you have to, watch the shorter one. But if you really just just watch coverage of it, don't don't watch the film. It's, you'll hurt yourself. You'll, don't do it. If we do, that means that any film that was not a success in theaters is also bad. Children of Men, the... See, he spent the longest on this point because it's the <laughs> really? one that's easiest to yeah, disprove. The, yeah. Like, this, yeah. yeah, this isn't a complaint. This is a triumph. And nobody <laughs> is using this argument. He's, he's like, I win. I have defended the movie efficiently now. It is good now. <laughs> You're like, okay. Iron well, Giant, Mulholland Drive, The Shawshank Redemption, Willy Wonka, Are you and the Chuck. Fucking serious? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's naming Shawshank films that we know Redemption. to be. Yeah, this is, go nuts, man. You know yeah, what? Make an go. make an additional counter argument. Point. Do it. Kill this point that I've Citizen only Kane. heard from people defending the Last Jedi. No one would actually keep this point. Uh, if you were to poke them on it and just ask them a few additional questions. The first one be the typical way you disprove this is you go. So Transformers is good then. That's how you usually do it. Because nobody really likes Transformers. That's why that's why that's the go-to. Because there are a lot of movies, like say for example, TLJ made you know a profit of some kind. We we wouldn't reference that because a lot of people love TLJ. A lot of crazies out there. But Transformers, nobody defends Transformers. You, it's really hard to find someone who says Transformers is a miracle film that got all the money it deserved. It's like no, that doesn't really happen. So just go go for that one. Move on. To name a few. Unless we're prepared to start judging movies based He's on- still going on this. <laughs> you skipped the women controversy of this film, which is all people remember about it. Yeah, yeah it's just female That's ghostbusters. the legacy of this movie. The legacy of this movie is how identity politics lost Sony 80 million, and they still haven't learned their fucking lesson yet. Mm. By the way, it's okay to like Transformers, guys. I wasn't saying that. It's fine. <laughs> the, I remember liking the first one of the selection. I don't remember liking any of the other ones, though. On their receipts, this is probably an argument we should abandon. No one's saying it. 30-something fans declare, these aren't my Ghostbusters, with the same... Why? why, why? <laughs> oh, what a fuck. There's no way to make her look good, is there? <laughs> <laughs> So what Dude, I was just, it's you can't do it. What I was gonna be calling the god was just that he's supposed to be addressing complaints about the movies and he keeps doing these weird ones like it didn't make money, everyone didn't like it. Also, um wait, what was the one we just did? Because it was what set me off. Fucking Someone help me out here. What was the one we just covered <laughs> that he's doing now? Um it isn't my Ghostbusters. Right. Yeah, my which... Ghostbusters. Is that even about the movie? Because, I, I don't... Of course it's not your Ghostbusters... Okay. Righteous indignation that someone uses when saying, He's not my president. To those fans... You like, are the uh, exact uh, kind of person. I was gonna say, you would be that person. Exactly! Let this be clear. You are indeed correct, though not for the reason you believe. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. okay. He sounds like a James like, uh, Bond villain. You are indeed correct, Mr. Bond, <laughs> but, but not for the reason the you reason believe. You, you believe. <laughs> you, you fool. You are correct, Mr. Bond, but not for the reason you believe. This I isn't want your Ghostbusters. Billion dollars. <laughs> don't you expect me to laugh? Make you Mr. Bond, I expect you to cry. Movie. <laughs> it's theirs. Oh. No, I don't oh. Care about it's, not <laughs> it's not made for you. <laughs> you did this it one already. <laughs> Like, You're I don't get around a, a robot about dick. what kids like. <laughs> you see, none of your complaints matter because it's for kids. You're like, oh, well, why did you what? even bother kids with this video? Money. That's why this film lost eighty million dollars. Yeah. Also, this is you can find kids dressing up as fucking anything, especially with a, a movie with the marketing <laughs> budget. This ha look, it looks like she's at a press conference. Yeah. Where is this? <laughs> 
head. Look. Was she paid to dress up? I am the CEO of Ghostbusters. I am a you know, Ghostbuster. Somebody's, somebody's parents forcibly dress their kids up this way because they like the shit that the kid Dude, is dressed up as. I guarantee you, if you're like, little girl, which character are you? She'd be like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, <okay>. girl. <laughs> The children Should we run a floppy robot dick? <laughs> in the 1980s, the Ghostbusters were formative so for you. They were your heroes. Okay, no, he's doing the thing. He's doing. They always do this. They're like, see, you when you you enjoyed these films when you were younger. Let them enjoy their films. While they, it's like, no, 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 you don't understand. My dad ad adored the Star Wars movies. When I grew up, I adored the Star Wars movies. If I were to have children, I think they would really fucking love those movies too. It's not about. It's like you don't watch movies from the 70s and go. Hmm. It's just not for me. <laughs> it's just don't work for me. You know, like Why the originals. Why do we still look at this? And as adults, we can say that it's amazing, regardless of who it was made for. Yeah, this isn't even our generation. Like, like he's delivering this as if you know the five of us here are like, oh yeah, yeah. See, I was, I was like a teenager when I saw Ghostbusters when it came it didn't out. Exist like, in no. 1984. I was three. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like the idea this is built for us. I'll be like, uh, I feel like. Wait, you were three in 1984. What? 1980? Wait, I heard 1994. No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. You, I was you exist... to say, how old are you? There you go. He existed <laughs> even old? less. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so sorry, I heard them wrong. <laughs> um, like, oh, my God. Is this, you're an old man. I'm not that old. <laughs> Boomer metal. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and right after that, it just says "cub yum." <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, this is this is a miracle thing about good movies where they just it, they kind of just appeal to everybody of all ages to the, for the most part, as long as they're not too yeah, adult. It's just really cool. Like falling down. When did falling down came out? Come out. Uh, falling down. Maybe? Wasn't meant for you. I've never seen the movie up until last year, and I really liked it. Oh, no. pretty good. Oops. Probably wasn't main for you though, so stop it. No, but I, yeah. I like it. It's so weird how we don't have to use the <laughs> it wasn't made for you argument about good films. <laughs> What's yeah. that about? <laughs> yeah, like, if if a film is good, even if it wasn't made for you, shouldn't you be able to recognize the quality in it? No, because you don't understand. You'd enjoy it if you had the mind of a child, if your brain was melting. <laughs> You'd like it then. <laughs> funny because kids love brain. the original Ghostbusters, so do teenagers, so do young adults, so do adults, so do the fucking elderly. Everyone loves it because it's Someone just says, awesome. Someone said, I say this film sucks because it lost a lot of money. No? I'd be I've, surprised what? if Rags was to make that no. argument. Um, no, we're making fun of that argument. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing I'd say is it can, be, can. it can be indicative of, of, of a lack of enjoyment from the audience, but it's never definitive. Unless you yeah, give, like, if, if a polling. film, if if any film loses eighty million dollars, that is something worth exploring. There's yeah. a reason for that. <laughs> you need to look into why it is that that's the case. I feel like the two most common reasons are it's a shitty film, or it really wasn't marketed that well. And with films that lose money, that are called like like a, a film, I, I like I just read out a film name, and you're and you're like, wait, what film is that? And I'm like, there you go. <laughs> like nobody fucking knows what it is. That's why I lost money. Versus yeah, something and with ghost. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, this is something like Ghostbusters, where it's like, who didn't hear of this film? Like Exactly. That's like... why it's worth discussing here, because it wasn't the marketing. This film, everyone knew about, but it lost $80 million. There are reasons for this. They're worthy of discussing. But he's avoided any meaningful criticism and just skipped to the ones that are, like, the easiest to bat down. I'm going to... I, maybe I shouldn't call him a straw man. There's probably some guy out there who made the argument. He was like, hey, it didn't make money. It must be bad. And he'd be like, all right, you, you go ahead and address that guy. Go, go, go for it. It's worth it. The humor and sensibilities were relative to the time period. This the, hu the humor and sensibilities were relative to the time period. Sensibilities of what? Like the value of human life and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. Does he just mean the style? Because if... if a hundred years from now, people are going to look back at us and say, oh, these people hated comedy. Um. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, some films age extremely well, so this argument just doesn't stand. This is also true of the 2016 Ghostbusters. Tell me how. That may be part of why you don't like it. Oh. It may be huh? part. What the fuck does <laughs> that mean? <laughs> it, it might just be that it's just not for you, okay? 
<laughs> I, I don't feel like it really captures the spirit of a time period when yeah. everybody knew about it, but people didn't go see it and thought it was terrible. Yeah, yeah of those who did see it. <laughs> I think it's hard to reconcile those two things. I didn't say it's I wouldn't say it's impossible, but I think that if this was like culturally iconic for its time, then and, and everyone knew about it. You know, it's not like it snuck under the radar. Yeah. But, oh, maybe 2016 was the year of the queefs and the farts, guys. Ah. Maybe maybe we missed that. Maybe, you know, like... As they're called, 2016ers. They're the people who really love yeah. this film. South Park makes the queefs jokes way earlier. True. <laughs> and, that, and that was funny as fuck. Isn't that, isn't that like they do it in conjunction with like the Amy Schumer jokes where she's like, Mavijan. <laughs> Mavijan. <laughs> It's not really humor for people who grew up in the 80s. It's not really humor for people what? who like humor. It's not humor for anyone. <laughs> people hate this movie. It's not. It's known what for being unfunny. But like, what a strange argument to make. You're like, the reason people don't find Ghostbusters 2016 funny is because they're, they're more into 80s humor. Not the 2016 <laughs> humor. I'd just be like, you do get that there's loads of shit that's funny today that's not what you would call 80s humor. Like, I, I don't even know what a strange way to try and explain away the criticism this film gets. Yeah, it's I laughed my ass off at Ragnarok. Yeah, but that's 80s humor. It's, oh. It's it's such a weird fucking argument. Like, like, humor can't be timeless. Like, after, like, all humor in a certain decade has a shelf life of that decade, and then after that... Does he yeah, know how, we off that shit. Does he know We're how long humans shit. have been farting? Like, it's it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the idea that he's like, this is sophisticated 2016 humor cut to fart. <laughs> okay, we okay. fart jokes. We yeah, really have evolved it. as a species. <laughs> it's humor for the children of people who grew up in the 80s. No, don't include <laughs> no. children. Oh, God. Don't look. I hate kids. At? Kids are shit. But I would, I would never insult kids like that. Pretty cruel. Leave those kids alone. I'm sure they laugh at better Who's things. Who's the guy on the right supposed to be? <laughs> uh, he didn't want to dress up. Soy farmer. <laughs> he's not, he's not yeah. the family. He just photo bombed. Yeah, he's just a randy. <laughs> he's like, hey, man, can I be in the picture too? It's not for children who lived under Ronald Reagan. It's for children who were living under Barack Obama. What does that have wait. to do with anything? <laughs> what are you <laughs> what is happening? What is it? hell does that mean? I feel like he's so, given up at this point. He's just like, I don't know. Children growing up under Ronald Reagan had better <laughs> Ghostbusters movies. Yeah, well, so, wait, wait. us us fans of Reagan were very into Ghostbusters because <laughs> there's a lot of Reagan related jokes. You see. Okay, so also, that's because a word released, you can't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters yeah. 2016. I couldn't stop thinking about Obama when I was watching this <laughs> movie. <laughs> Last time I checked, I didn't have you... a Ronald Reagan in Germany. Well, that's your <laughs> fault. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll recontextualize it for Metal because he's German. Their first Ghostbusters was for children who grew up under Hitler. Uh -huh. And Ghostbusters <laughs> was 2016 time. was made for what? kids who grew up under Merlin. Man, that was an old Ghostbusters movie. He's the only old German leader I know. <laughs> Frederick II. I don't fucking know. It's crusade time. Oh, boy. I'm gonna I'm gonna malform his point into something funnier. The first Ghostbusters movie was meant for people who voted for Reagan. <laughs> it makes sense. Bismarck. <laughs> Bis yeah, Bismarck. <laughs> oh boy. If you grew up in the eighties and nineties watching Ghostbusters movies and cartoons, then those were your Ghostbusters. But Ghost What if we had liked this film? What would you have said then? Like, would you be like, oh, that's and weird. we were the target audience and it was meant for us, and <laughs> we're the children of people who liked Ghostbusters. This fucking Reagan voters like... liked it. How about that? What if you like both Ghostbusters? <gasps> then you're Either wrong. Way. How does it... Wrong. What does it say about his humor? Does he like 80s humor and 2016 humor, I guess? What a, what a diverse humor man. My dad hates 2016 Ghostbusters, and he hasn't even seen it, but Did he, he vote for Reagan? the original <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> And I love the original Ghostbusters and hate the new one. So, how does that work out? How does the math same bloodline? Work that, that's how that works. It makes sense. Mm. Why don't you explain? How hey, video man? How about you explain <laughs> to us the differences in humor and why one would apply to some people and not the other? 
Does it... Like, how about you try to actually <sighs> make an argument and explain your point instead of just declaring it to be the truth? It is very bad. Busters is not just for you anymore. It's for them. You keep saying this. <laughs> like yeah, the like, what you say, oh, shit. Does, it doesn't make more sense the more you say it. No, <laughs> it never makes sense to begin with, but they do this yeah. with other stuff. They're like, sequel trilogy, you realize that it's kids content, it's not for your generation. And you're like, you're talking to me as an adult, saying it's meant <laughs> for children, and that you love it, and the, the deep themes. Like, you never make any sense. <laughs> so he's a child because he likes the new one? I guess so. <laughs> Because this video is very childlike. Do you think that the new Ghostbusters just doesn't have enough of that 80s cynicism about it? What? That's the, the key cynicism. element, no, 80s this movie's cynicism. very cynical. This new one is very cynical. Well, yeah, the villain the is about a guy who wants to destroy the world because everyone's too mean. So, <sighs> a little cynical. And that it's too lighthearted? Well, yeah. Because it's for kids. <laughs> Stop oh, doing this. But it was never ever marketed as a kids movie. Yeah. Who I've never heard anyone say that Ghostbusters 2016 was a kids movie. Why? Why is queefing for kids? I don't know. Well, it's, yeah. Is he, this, this jokes. <laughs> is this he is using movie. the space wizard argument? Oh my god! <laughs> this movie is is a queef wizards. Intended <laughs> <laughs> for, for children. <laughs> It's about science queefs on the children. ghost and blow them away. It's about science <laughs> queefs for woman babies. That's what it's about. Yeah. <laughs> science yeah. queefs for women babies. Fuck me. Oh. oh, we found out what it's about, guys. <laughs> Stop. Like, he just keeps... <laughs> he really thinks that's a good argument that it's for kids. It's like, this doesn't work because there's so many kids' content that is enjoyed by adults. How do you reconcile this? People die. <laughs> I thought you just meant that in general. <laughs> it's like, fucking yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Human by being oh. thrown out of a window. Well, but it's for kids. It's funny though because there's a big dragon. Funny. Yeah. You just don't get the humor. You don't get acid humor. <laughs> acid humor. Do you think the new Ghostbusters looks too much like Scooby Doo? Yeah, it kind of mm -hmm. does because it's for kids. Stop, Stop saying this. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> It's Wait, does he re <laughs> Oh my god. So, like, I oh. I can't even really remember the Scooby-Doo live-action movie that much. I never saw it. Why can't, <laughs> why can't something just be good? Kids or not? Kids are dumb. They'll watch anything. Like, this is true. Everything that- all the, all the intelligently written shit that I saw when I was a kid. Nah, nah. Nah, that was really for adults. That wasn't for me. I just happened to watch them at this fucking time. It's only these kind of people who use the sentence, it's, it was made, like, if you're trying to defend something, generally saying, well, it's meant for kids, isn't, like, a great defense? Like, and if, if an adult watches it, and they hate it, and they can't see the quality in it, that doesn't mean it's good. That probably means it's bad, because kids are fucking stupid. <laughs> Like, it appeals to stupid many people, basically. Like, <laughs> underdeveloped brains can laugh at this. Like, good job. Also, you, you do a great job defending your movie. There's, there's <clears throat> a lot in the Scooby-Doo movies that was, uh, let's say, hidden, ad hidden adult material uh, that people enjoyed. Good old James Gunn sneaking some stuff in there. Um, I think so. Hang on, let me... Uh... See, there's implications that are being made by some people po posting screenshots from the film. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you watch the Scooby-Doo oh. cartoon, you're like, Velma, oh. huh? And then you're like, oh my. <laughs> oh Hello, my. Velma. Uh, I gotta look to see if there's this pictures of this actress naked. Velma actress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone's... Yeah, she's hot. Isn't she the one that... Linda like, Cardellini? She was. She's been in loads of stuff. She was actually Viggo Mortensen's wife in Green Book. That's the latest thing I think I've seen her in. But yeah, isn't isn't her portrayal of Velma the one that like kicked off Velma being hot as a thing? Like, or or is that? Am I messing up the timeline? I can't remember. Damn. <laughs> Good chat. <laughs> like, oh bye. <laughs> The weird world we live in. We just became objectivists. 
We've ejectified no. somebody. Damn it. How are we? Hot. Linda Cardellini hot. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's... It's why this movie yeah. won Best Picture at the Nick... <clears throat> oh, it... The, oh, wow, the Kids' Choice Awards 2017. Wow. That doesn't mean shit. Yeah, I don't... I don't... <laughs> No, no, this is an appeal to authority fallacy that you're making here, and I don't accept the Kids' Choice Awards for Nickelodeon to be the determinant say in what is and isn't quality. His point is that it's not meant for you, okay? And this proves it, because it won Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Awards 2017. If anything, this is a damning indictment. Him as an adult defending this movie for kids, right? Okay. This is what I mean. It's a really weird video. Because he spent a lot of it just saying it's not meant for adults, it's meant for children. You're like, but, but you keep telling so us how much you like it. It's so dumb. I, I think you... this might. This is the. This is a point you would make in a parody video. You're like, oh yeah, well if it isn't good, how come it won Nickelodeon's Kids Choice Awards 2017? <laughs> well, I guess like, that that's would going fit to get perfectly into a parody video. And he's making it as a, like a legitimate defense of the film's quality. <laughs> God. Nickelodeon. So is the Transformers 5 won the Kids' Choice Awards? <laughs> well, yeah. this is the thing. We should check out what won previous years. I'll, all right, I'll look up uh, last year's. Uh, Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards 2019. All right. <clears throat> so, <laughs> presenters were DJ... Khaled and Annie LeBlanc <laughs> and Jaden Bartels. Oh man, I don't, I don't know those. Um, I don't know DJ Khaled. All right, so here are the winners and nominees. Uh, favorite movie, uh, Infinity War one. So yeah, all right, hmm. yeah. Um, favorite movie actor is Noah Centineo from To All the Boys I've Loved Before. It's that guy. Never heard of him. <laughs> um, favorite movie actress was Joey King from The Kissing Booth. Oh, God. So, okay. Um, favorite superhero is Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man. Uh, favorite animated movie is Incredibles 2. Oh. oh, wow. Favorite butt kicker was Chris Pratt from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Okay. <laughs> there are okay. scenes where he beats people up. Yeah, that's true. Um, favorite male voice from an animated movie. So favorite male voice actor. Um, Adam Sandler from Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation. Man. <laughs> All right. I didn't even know that. Um, All right. <laughs> I, 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 I would have picked uh, Benedict Cumberbatch as the Grinch. Yeah, would have been mine. I enjoyed. I enjoyed that the, immensely. And favorite female voice actress was Selena Gomez, also in Hotel Transylvania Three: Summer Vacation. <sighs> um. So, but can you um, are you able to list off just yeah. the the winners of each year for the movies? Let me take a look here. Um, Nickelodeon's Kids Choice Award does have a page. <clears throat> um. Let me look at... Let me see if I can get one here. Special Colored Awards. Wow. Oh, that's a different thing. Um, <laughs> that, just, that, that stood out. I was like, oh. <laughs> it, it doesn't mean what you might have thinking. Um, <laughs> I, gotta, I guess maybe there's a page for winners. Um, awards favorite movie that goes to another thingy okay so favorite movie oh, of course <laughs> 2020 is of course avengers endgame uh -huh. uh 2019 is avengers infinity war 2018 is jumanji welcome to the jungle all right 2017 is ghostbusters uh -huh. it beat out captain america civil war what a Ooh. joke. Well, fuck off. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, it's kids. You just, okay. Yeah, exactly. You know, Mahler's shitting a, a 
frisbee right now. I mean, I feel like <laughs> most people prefer Civil War to Ghostbusters 2016, but, you know, <laughs> it happens. Uh, 2016's winner was The Force Awakens. Oh, God. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, 2015 was The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. Oh, yeah, I remember 2014 that. was The Hunger Games Catching Fire. 2013 was The Hunger Games. Fuck so, no. <laughs> wow, the trio. Uh, 2012, the a Kids' Choice Awards Movie of the Year was Alvin and the Chipmunks, Chipwreck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be one of the Twilight movies. Um, it wasn't even a nominee. The nominees of that year oh. were Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, oh, The Muppet. thank God. What a strange selection of winners. <laughs> Uh, 2011, Karate Kid won. 2010, Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Squeak Wall. Yay. <gasps> the squeak oh, wall. yes. Fuck 2009, me. High School Musical 3. Yes. Year. It lost to The Dark Knight <laughs> and Iron Man. <laughs> no! Oh, you dumb oh, rat my bastards. God. <laughs> So I think we've we've got a strong conclusion here then. The kids are fucking retarded. <laughs> and let's, let's That's my parents need the be belt. Frank. Kids don't actually vote on this. The people yeah. who own the show decide what it's going to be. So if if then we have concluded that kids are fucking retarded and this movie is meant for them, what does it say about the movie? It's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so these because began it's a movie. in 1988. Um, I'm so glad. The, a little interesting. 1988's favorite movie was Beverly Hills Cop 2. What oh. the f- and, Oh, that's good. And 1989's Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Award favorite movie was Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Wow. Had better tastes. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. And better movies. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah like it's Rush Hour 2 in it's 2002. Why this movie won- yeah, man. Best picture at the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards because it's a movie. Yeah, like Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeak Wall, and the kids liked it. <sighs> we, I, I don't care. <laughs> That's not important to the point. It's like, kids will clap at anything. Kids like JJ the Jet Plane. They like just the, the jelly they pouring don't even out have of arms a. They don't have to do anything. It doesn't. Now it's not only a movie for kids. I mean, I liked it too, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that just like why did you... finally so we've why addressed the awkward elephant in the room. That point to just be like, oh, but not really, but it's not really. <laughs> he spent oh, so long geez. establishing that just to be like, it's not really important though, because <laughs> I like it as well. He's like, oh, okay. like, oh shit, I like the movie. Uh, um... Definitely, it had them in mind more than myself. Oh god! Sure, the studio no undoubtedly wanted everyone's dollar at the box office, including older fans curious about their childhood franchise. But and this was died. clearly made and rated <laughs> for families to take their children and buy the toys and other merchandise. Um. Hey, wow! It came well, straight from the heart. Is what you're trying to tell me? I was about to say, what point is it trying to make now that it's corporate slop? Like, why you? Why did you say that? It just it's decides to, to get kids to buy toys. You're like, okay, cool. Yeah, it's kids. Like, kids eat burgers. It's like, yes, they do. Like, yeah, if they a have film, to put warning a labels a film on plastic selling bags toys. so that kids don't kill themselves with them. <laughs> a film selling toys as a result of it being just something everyone loves is one thing, but, like, making the film specifically to sell toys, like, that's when you get the new Star Wars films where they have heaps <laughs> of fucking merchandise on shelves that doesn't move. The original Ghostbusters was crude and adult, but it was also rated PG. It was a hit with children. Are you suggesting it was for kids? (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) Was Schindler's List meant for kids? Is that a good movie? I'm sure it was PG. I don't even know. It's just funny that he had to acknowledge it himself. It's like the original film is absolutely able to be considered marketed towards children as well, but uh, we don't talk about that. A handful of scenes were not really appropriate for them. Proton packs lined the shelves at Toys R Us in the 80s. Cartoons were made. Children bought... Oh, look, here, I think the point okay. he's missing is that if if it's good for everyone, kids will be included in the demographic of everyone. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't... You didn't have to rule out 
you, you didn't have to make a kids movie and rule out adults liking it. You could have a movie that everyone can like. This Absolutely. is regularly done. Pixar does it every time they make a movie, basically. It's, it's just a staggering point. Especially because if you and have... And he's really dwelling on it. If you have the teenagers like, in the family and the adults loving the movie, then it's more than likely that they'll be even more interested in, like, you know, being like, yeah, let's, let's dress up as the Ghostbusters this Halloween instead of not... And Do people even chat is like, pointing out something about the PG thirteen rating? So, um, in chat, uh, someone said PG thirteen wasn't a thing until Red Dawn came out, and uh, it looks like it was. Uh, let's see, Red Dawn was the first PG thirteen movie. Um, I'm a woman. So, <laughs> and I want to say that Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is why it was made, but it wasn't the first to be rated. Yeah. Bought the toys. They wore the costumes on Halloween. They memorized. Yeah. Oh, that was another thing I was gonna say. Do you think there are anybody left that dresses up as the characters of Ghostbusters 2016 on Halloween, like on the planet? Fuck <laughs> no. I don't think there are. I can't I, remember. Even with, I can't remember any kids dressing up as Ghostbusters of any kind. Really, it's even, all just for the most part like just spooky robed things and. Well. They, he showed, like, that they actually had the names of the characters on some of those images. And I'm like, I wonder if that's just promotional stuff? Or this, is, did anyone actually do it? And if they did, do they still? Or are they all just pretending this doesn't fucking exist anymore? Like, even... Even with Murphy's Law, I don't think people are dressing up as the characters from Ghostbusters 2016. Even with that. Fuck no. The lines from the movie and played make believe with their friends and argued a Venkman. And now it's their turn. <laughs> no one's pressing uh, up. Uh, no one's arguing over which you. character they could be. It's Nobody. It's a self absorbed fucking parents dressing their kids up as this dumb shit. I'm yeah, you, like you're, you're the saying ones that you like see it's on Twitter. Yeah, this, it's the people you see on Twitter pretending to like this shit just because no one else likes it. And they dress their kids up for Halloween as those characters, and they it, they help the movie make a little bit more money, and then they then they break out the next like, year. They, like the, the next year they don't give a shit. I like that the dad there is is dressed up as Kevin. It's like, yeah, I want to be the retard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am also incredibly retarded. <laughs> All right. You then. can go out on the internet and find pictures of crap like this and people's stupid family photos. That doesn't mean anything. But no, I can find pictures kids of like Hitler it. youth. What now? I mean, <laughs> Hitler was great because the kids loved him. If... Suck my cock. <laughs> the kids loved him. <laughs> I just like the, the idea that this he's, this whole video really could be just summar summarized as like, people had fun with this movie at some point in some way on, on this planet, so shut up. You're like, okay. You really haven't argued for anything to do with the movie, just how some kids liked it, really. Uh... Part of growing up is passing what you had to the next generation. No, it's just fucking, it, you no can ghost you can Ghostbusters and passing ghost... something great and passing on a fucking dead-born child to someone. Ghostbusters exists still. You can still pass that on to your fucking. It's a movie. It doesn't. It doesn't die. Like <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> Ghostbusters didn't even pass itself to its sequel. No, yeah. people, everybody, it's the same shit with Jurassic Park and Predator and Alien and Aliens, obviously, uh, and Terminators. It's just like, we only remember the original ones. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about all the new attempts. Did what do you think is getting really? passed on? Like, it, it, it's, remember it's when turn. parents would, like, sit their kids down and be like, hey, remember this hey, shit? What you know? But what you know about this shit, youngster? What you know about this old shit? <laughs> and then, then you would prop. Then there was a 50-50 chance that you ending up. Now they don't do that anymore. It's just like, oh, we need new shit because that old shit is just it's outdated. I just it's like, like an iPhone. You just got to replace it. <laughs> I like the idea that he thinks that like the demographic this was meant for when they'd become grandparents, they'll be like. Let's let's all have a watch of Ghostbusters 2016. Excellent. Film. I remember when I was eight years old and I heard my first queef joke. <laughs> oh, oh, honey. 
It brings back memories! We all know what happened. They, people forget these ones. They go back to the original again until a sequel is made yeah. that is really good. And guess what? 99% yeah. of the time, it's not. <laughs> because the no, motivation we're... isn't to create, it's to recreate. No, In the shittiest way gonna possible. Be, there's gonna be a Criterion Collection of Ghostbusters 2016, you guys. It's, it's gonna be down the line. It's, it's that important of a film. Criterion Collection, Ghostbusters 2016, <laughs> Extended Edition. Yeah, it's, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, Paul thing to. is like, you gonna preserve my movie there? And they're like, no. <laughs> Look at you. We're, we're, not, we're not burying it because we're gonna put it in a time capsule. <laughs> we're burying it because it fucking horrible. We want it to just, just degrade in the dirt. We're, we are placing it in a volcano. He's like, oh. We don't, want it, to, <laughs> we don't want it to pollute the air. We'll let the maggots watch that shit. <laughs> and recognizing that the world is not marketing some things to you anymore. Yeah, you keep making this point. It doesn't change anything. Yeah. You <laughs> skip the whole women controversy, which was probably responsible for this movie's t total failure. It was, the, it was the foundation for this movie's failure, I would say. And you just skipped over it like it wasn't even worth your time. As if anything couldn't be worth your time. Well, it's because And you're talking about this and kids... If you were pitched two two sequels to Ghostbusters, one was it's the same thing but they're all girls, or the other one was it's like many years on, and their family members who've par partially grown up are living in a a post Ghostbusters world where they're trying to understand that whole history, and uh, ghosts rise up again and different things have to happen. I'd just be like, well, one of those sounds like a movie, the other one sounds like you, you really just I don't even know. Good. What about Ghostbusters, but they're old midgets? <laughs> Ghostbusters, but they're old dinosaurs. I would watch that in a fucking heartbeat. I mean, it sounds more like an actual skit rather than a, a story. Well, well it ghost, sounds funny as a concept. That's what, that's what I'm getting at, though. Like, this didn't sound but like they had an idea. They were just like, concept. it's women, though. And you're like, all right. All right, so it, it's not a comedy. Oof. Jay Longbow's right there. She's not for women. <laughs> She's not for women. <laughs> <laughs> she that does one not woman. mean you can't enjoy media for youngsters. That does not mean you can't collect the. So what was we the point? What were you trying to say? You spent all this time being like it's not meant for you, and then you move on to say, yeah. but it doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. It's like what's why... with this fucking lol JK at the very end? Yeah, what's like, the why? point? Why did you spend so much time? Ugh. I feel like you could make a really good supercut the amount of times he's fucking said the whole it's not meant for you, it's meant for kids thing. Yeah, You're pretty effective. Boys, that lot. does not mean watching media for children is itself childish. But there is this a difference childish. between watching media for youngsters and claiming that media as your own. What? I don't want this shit. We're not claiming this shit. No, yeah, <laughs> you're right. You can have it. <laughs> you, you and your whatever you are, you can keep this. You can have my share. You can have my Ghostbusters 2016. Any ownership you think I had, you can have it. <laughs> why you can do with it whatever you want. Why would you think we're claiming it? We're not. Why? What I is that? I'm just going to roll him back this. and listen to that point again, because I'm kind of not sure how to even respond to this. can't collect the toys. That does not mean watching media for children is itself childish. But there is a difference between watching media for youngsters and claiming that media as your own. But I think what? it's what? gatekeeping, the concept of gatekeeping. <laughs> like, <laughs> since, uh, I think it's like the women issue and the kids issue. And it's like, what he's trying to say is that they made this new thing for young women and children of the new generation. And even though it's not your Ghostbusters, you can't decide that it's yours. You don't own it. You have to pass that on to the next generation. Nobody, I think that's what he's nobody, trying to say. Nobody made that point. <laughs> yeah. Nobody. No, but yeah, but I think that was he. That's his conclusion, and he didn't even set it up. So I'm just. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we're just like okay. Uh, Holding on to Ghostbusters as if it were still mostly language. yours like, is insisting on not passing down your toys to your children. No, see? this isn't a zero sum economy. Why is it's not like if I take Ghostbusters for myself, another person therefore cannot have it. it makes no yeah, sense a, at all. It's a movie. Yeah. I it's can't take it away from some kid over there who's enjoying it. I can't go, it's my yeah. go away. It's my movie. 
It's like taking Ghostbusters from a baby. I don't see why we ca like handing it down. I can hand down Ghostbusters, the original <laughs> film, to anyone I want. And I, uh, that's a good thing to do, by the way. Not uh, hand down this shit. <sighs> I would never hand this shit down to my spawn. Well, if you want to, you know, like the whole some naughty kids get coal at Christmas. Like, well, they're getting something. <laughs> we can find something yeah, worse than coal. coal. Can keep you warm. Yeah. You can cook food with it. Can you cook food it's with useful. Ghostbusters 2016? <laughs> you light the DVD on fire. You're like, uh, <laughs> either literally, if you have your own children, or figuratively, or if we have someone else's children. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Either if you have your children or someone if else. If you have your own children, is like, is it like they borrowed someone from the Johnsons down the street? Is like, what the fuck? Man, you if you do not, the orphanage. Just don't you're leave. right. This is not your Ghostbusters movie, <sighs> and that's okay. It's time to let the children play. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like a weird creepy I told you. villain. Oh. So why did you why why did you end the video with such a creepy line? It's, it's time to let the children play. Time to let the children play. I'm still waiting why why the movie is good. Is he gonna explain is that? This now? person sounds like a child molester. <laughs> well he's definitely got the creepy voice. Like if if I'm assuming this is his voice for all videos, but it's like, why would you choose such a weird voice? Like, it's probably just his voice. You're like, oh. So he just sort of, he lightly described the film's sort of premise, mm -hmm. and then he talked about. He knocked down like three super easy arguments, film. and then he just and then kept he talking about, about how for kids. kids. A story in three parts. Let the children play. Let them, let, let them play. <laughs> let them play. Let them Give play them with my toy. <laughs> 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 oh my god. You're right. This is not your Ghostbusters movie, and that's okay. It's time to let the children play. <laughs> oh no. It's oh, oh no. Gate. Oh. Let me play with the kids, guys. I, I can oh. handle it. <laughs> oh god. Wait, so Ghostbusters there was is getting. Oh. Huh? Because Why it's did... for kids? <laughs> so is that this argument? It's time to let the children play, okay? Yeah. What part of that do you not understand? It's time to let the children play oh, you with your oh, toys. Dumb. <laughs> I love the proton pack. Why? And the outfit. Uh, I don't uh, give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I, just, like, I legitimately just, I don't give a shit about what children think. Like I, I will if if I am around a child and she's like, "Oh, look, I have a pretty dress," then I'll be like, "Yeah, sure, you look great." I will, I will humor the child. I, I do, I will not. I don't give a shit about what children think. Children are dumb. So if a child comes up to you and says Ghostbusters 2016 is very good, you would disagree with this child. Is that what you're saying? I will sacrifice that child. Okay. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> will you let oh, the well, child play with your toys? Cinema. I'm doing the world a favor. Ghost fighting gear, done. The iconic car, check. And an electric- What do you think this helps? Why do you- Wow, you... commercial pr uh, promotional material. Whoa. Whoa. Trifying amount of the right attitude. Yep. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Uh. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Ghost? Who are you gonna call it? Ghostbusters. Oh my goodness gracious. What an unfortunate <laughs> pair of chompers. Well, they, they'll come in. The new ones will come yeah, in eventually, I'm I mean, sure of it. They just... So, who would these mini-me's call? My mom. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Why did you end the video like that? <laughs> because... Uh... Because it's for kids, guys. Oh. It's for kids, Mom. It's that was kids. the movie. All right. The movie well, good because it's, it's for kids. those 1950s infomercials? They're like, yeah. little Johnny and Sarah love Ghostbusters. And they're all like, Don't you? Around, like, they're like, what? What's happening? Oh, boy. I need a toilet pee pee break. I'll, I'll be right back. Go for it. I have, I have to, I have to, it's 6 a.m. We've still got a video left. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I, I have to tap out here. We do? Cause... We do. Yeah. What's it about? I... It's I woke it's, up at... it's called oh, Rise of Skywalker Plot Holes Explained. 
<laughs> you sure yeah, you don't want to see this right, miracle of a video? Well, I have to sleep, guys. <laughs> I still have you have to, to do. sleep? <laughs> How long can you stay? Nah, like, I have to sleep now because it's like 6 a.m. I have to do stuff at 9, so I have three hours. That's okay. Nap. Oh my god. Yeah. So, so there, you, there you go, guys. I, I want. All right. I, but you'll never I'm... learn about the plot holes. Oh, I, I think I can live with the Rise of Skywalker. It changes plot. everything. Explain. Well... Okay. Before before you escape, why don't you tell everybody about your channel and why they should subscription all? Hey guys, it's me, the Weekend Warrior, and I do videos about video games and movies, and I talk about them. And the length depends on whether or not it could be a long man, it could be a short man, it depends on the energy I put in there. And but recently, I made a video about Star Wars the first two movies and they're really bad and i'm making the next one on rise of skywalker hooray so please watch out for it i'm also playing the last of us 2 and i'm gonna review that shit because it's so why bad are you, why are you reviewing it's it's that. meant for kids rise of skywalker was meant for kids <laughs> yeah the last of us 2 was meant for kids that. yeah of course it's not <laughs> well this was fun guys except for the part where he explained <laughs> that it's Nothing. good. Well, yeah. I mean, you do, you do, you could see how the film is good now, right? Yeah, because it, it's for kids, so it's good. I'm glad. <laughs> I think, that we've discovered I think, yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, um, thanks, guys. Thanks, it... Mr. Renegade Cut. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> uh, link is in the chat and the description. It's been fun, sir. Thank you for joining us, and uh, thank hey, you for suffering. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you around, I guess. Okay. See you uh, later. Signing out. Love you guys. Bye. Thanks for hanging Bye. out. Well then. And then there were one because I have to go P two. <laughs> I guess I'm alone. <gasps> well, wait. No, I'm still alone. Still alone. Hey, there we go. Hey, what up? It's the resident EFAP cuck. I was I was alone for a moment there. Everyone's gone to pee. Oh, cool. I love peeing. I know, but I can't do it because I'm the host, and if the host pees, it's all over. Because of your gas mask? Oh, you're, you're gonna pee all over. <laughs> Ew, stop it. I can't pee because of the gas mask? <laughs> yeah. What? It's a full body gas mask. <laughs> full body gas mask. It just, it'll just, if the more I pee, the more it fills. And I'm just like, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> you eventually see it pass up my eyes, and you're like, oh, jeez. He's gone now. We're yeah. not going to see him again. He is, he's at peace. I'm like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, how's Snakes on a Plane doing as a, as a um, movie? It's... It, well, people like <laughs> seem to get the impression I don't like that movie. That movie is a wild fucking ride. I recommend watching it. Just you know, funny, you in the frame of mind. When you highlighted that they cooked on snake like mode in the microwave, I was like, oh... Do they do... like The, the literal thought in my head when you put that in the video was... So they have a lot of jokes like that where they're clearly aware that you you just said like this is like the only joke where they have this and I was like oh <laughs> yeah that's the full film I want to see by the way um I'm gonna do it now go watch that video thank you um uh, this is the only reason I can want EFAP is to promote that's that's it oh dude I, 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 I know you hate all of this it's just suck off my own videos yes. I actually hate everyone yeah. here so um yeah go check out Jay's uh what is it called uh, uh, snails, snails on, on a, a plane is a fever dream. That's the one. Um, it's a it's a film that if you hadn't already seen, to experience it through Jay's video is the best way, probably. I prefer wombats on a skateboard. I feel like that's easier to control. <laughs> Dude, Renegade Cutler. Uh, yeah. So you you did you did you see that? That was a good video. It was Renegade Cut is like. Man. Yo. Man. Yeah, More like great. Renegade cut it out. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> nice one, dude. All of his videos about uh, uh, just like feigning moral outrage. Actually, no, not feigning. I, I genuinely believe he is morally outraged about the most trivially, trivial shit. I mean, like, the one we just covered was pretty pathetic. Like, he didn't like even really make any arguments. Squares? You, you're <laughs> mad about Ghostbusters, but children like it, so shut up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, except it's you're not made for children, except for that happiness. it is. I, I I am definitely left. I'm just I expected more. There I said it. I expected more. 
I feel like yeah, I could have made a better video defending. I've just I've just put it into words now. I was like I was thinking the whole, the same thing. Like I was trying to figure out why it was that it's like it's like yeah he's he's treating saying I don't saying I think that Ghostbusters 2016 should have been a better film. He's his argument is against is you're robbing children of happiness. I bet you hate the <laughs> smiles of children. First off, don't threaten me with a good time. Second off, terrible argument. I mean, robbing children's years. smiles. Yeah, there's money in that. I'll agree with That's that. That's how I sure. stay youthful. I'm sell like children. Witch. You sell witch. them on the black market in the underworld. No, uh, I make them into a potion and I drink it so I could stay youthful forever. Damn. Yeah. You have to send me the send me the guide on that. I I've been trying. Witch. I just keep the, all that ends up if they die, and I'm like, what the fuck? Annoying. If I don't know? if I don't crush up the the smiles of children into my brew, then I I'm, I turn all warty and old. So, is Rick and Morty videos worse? I'm going to respond to it. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh, we we will only respond to that if I decide to put rags through all of Rick and Morty, which is a possibility because it's much quicker than Buffy. <laughs> um, his Rick and Morty video is is terrible. It's yeah. it's the, phenomenally bad. What if we counter wow. it by saying it's meant for children? It after what I just saw. What if we tell him it's just for children though? <laughs> Rick and Morty is just for children. Yeah. I will, I will, we won't know. And how many queef jokes does Rick and Morty have? There's probably a couple there's somewhere. There's probably a few, right? yeah. So it, cl it cl classifies, definitely. Uh, I know that at one point they call the president Commander and Queef. There you go. That, that's at least one. So it's for kids, we can conclude that now. Um, yeah, that's, that's the measure of whether or not media is for kids, <laughs> is if it has at least one Queef joke in it. So the second video for today, this is, this is, this is interesting because you've, you've covered Screen oh, right, Crush well, before, I'm right? Ahead. I'm going into battle. Jay, Screen Crush? <laughs> give give everyone a primer on Screen what? Crush. Screen Crush? They're great. They made a whole video about why Joker is actually secretly a part of the DCEU, and one of their pieces of evidence was that, um, as like one of three pieces of evidence of like similar caliber, right? Mm -hmm. Was that, um, okay, so you've seen the scene in, uh, you've seen, you've seen Batman vs. Superman, of course. Unfortunately. No. So in that, you have the scene of, of Bruce's parents getting killed, right? Naturally. And, uh, sure. and you have a similar scene of Bruce's parents getting killed in, in Joker, right? And you, as a person with a brain, would assume that because those are explicitly different scenes where Bruce's parents get killed under different circumstances by different people and different events happen, that those two scenes can't both exist in the same universe, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Because they're explicitly different and they depict the same event, happen, you know, Oh, yeah, the, any the event that isn't Bruce Wayne. contradictory. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they're, they're contradictory events and can't happen in the same universe. Uh -huh. Well, Screen Crush argues that actually they are exactly <gasps> the same uh, occurrence because, right, in both scenes, if you look in the background, there is a poster for the film Excalibur. Well, that's then. a movie I need to rewatch. Is that with Sean Connery? Uh, that's with, um, fuck, that's with, uh, this second, the 1981, that one had, let me double check. Which is the, which is the King of, Arthur uh, movie with? Thomas Mallory's, uh, Lamort Arthur, uh, The Death of Arthur, uh, which was the, f so let's see, uh, starring, uh, Helen Mirren. Hmm. Nigel Terry, Nicholas Clay. It's still funny Terry, to me. Really Lindy, Nigel. No Liam offense. Neeson and Nigel Patrick Stewart were in that. That's right. It had Liam Neeson and Patrick Stewart. Neat. And that was 1981, Liam Neeson and Patrick Stewart. Oh, is it First Night is what I was thinking of. Le Mort d'Arthur. First Night. Yeah, he plays King Arthur in First Night. Well then, anyway, uh, so Renegade, not Renegade Cut, Screen Crush, uh, did a video where they apparently explain the plot holes in Rise of Skywalker. They answer your Ooh. questions, and, uh, they have some of their own theories, too, so exciting stuff. Gonna see Whoa. what the caliber of these explanations are. Um, who knows All what right, to expect? Nine, the Rise of Skywalker oh was supposed to cap off the Skywalker saga, but it's still oh left hand with a lot of unanswered... Wow, Someone Jay, wait, Echo. Hmm? Echo. I'm trying to combine oh, the word God. Echo and Jay. Oh my God. Jacko. Hang on. I'll just turn on push to talk. Good. This doesn't, this doesn't happen oh, to God. anything else. 
this this doesn't happen with voices. My my headphones are on. This is a this is a like a software bug. Mm -hmm. It has. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like your opinion. Mm-hmm. All right. Episode nine, the rise of Skywalker, was supposed to cap off the Skywalker Why would you saga, start the video with like half a second of you talking at a desk? <laughs> it's it's when very you, jarring. When you played this. Yeah, I know. When you when you played this at first, I thought the film the the, the video had skipped to some other point in time yeah. in the video. <laughs> A lot very of strange questions. editing we asked for your questions on our community page and i'm here to try to explain them for you what is that name tag look at that yes. uh, is that like a blockbuster thing they're going well for? no it's clearly been cut out with the scissors look at it it's awful it's like yeah, a it's a little shit. picture of a, of a videotape with his name printed on it and then he's cut around it put it in like a little bit of uh clear plastic like a film thing and then just glued it to his shit i guess Oof. Well, I guess his his whole thing is give us give us plot holes and we'll tell you how they're not plot holes. All right, I'm excited. How so? How many of these are actually going to be plot holes, and how many of these are just going to be defending points that no one makes or or that are stupid? I suppose there's only one way to find out. This is Screen Crush. I feel like this should have been how it opened. Big spoilers for Rise of Skywalker yeah. are ahead. So let's oh, start no. off with the big one. How did Palpatine return? We covered this in a separate video, but it boils down to this. He learned from Darth Plagueis how to keep his spirit alive. Darth Plagueis couldn't do that. He was killed and he didn't keep his spirit alive. <laughs> That's not what happened. He was perfecting the technique. He was well. Darth he was Plagueis, something that Darth Plagueis couldn't do explicitly, and that's why. Yeah, like that's, that's the whole point of that scene: is Darth Plagueis could not keep himself alive. Could he? I don't understand. It's like he could save others from death, but not himself. This is how Palpatine okay. learned to save himself no, from could. death. He was lying. Palpatine was what? lying. As he says in Revenge of the Sith. He had such a knowledge of the dark side. As if we don't already know this As scene. As he says in Revenge of the Sith, what quote is he about to play that supports his argument? <laughs> Here we go. And which one is he going to he leave could out? Even keep the ones he cared about. I guess he cares about himself, so that's applicable. There you go, boom. Yeah, that is true. From dying. Then he had people. You, you cut off the part where he said he couldn't save himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, you're a slimy asshole, Screen Crush. Why would you do that? How dare you're it. being slimy dishonest. Asshole. What a bad start. ...around for a contingency plan to clone him new bodies. All right, so then why did he clone Snoke and operate through him? We could have just cloned <laughs> himself. Oh, it's like, such a disaster. You have to ask these questions. It's like from a bizarro universe of Star Wars. <laughs> Why did Palpatine have to clone Snoke and use them as a puppet to control the... It's also funny to think about it from perspective of like, um, let's use this explanation that makes no fucking sense. And if we agree with it, now it makes something else make no sense. <laughs> like, great. Well, great. I don't think Snoke's clone body was actually force sensitive. He was merely using Palpatine's force energy. What? Uh, what? what? Oh, was what? he? What? Let's see what? Now. what? No. <laughs> How does that work? He me and the asshole sideways. I should have known. What do we even say to that? He was just using Palpatine's force. He wasn't using it himself. <laughs> so what if? So if Snoke? <laughs> okay. So the that mean... he shoots from his fingertips. Um. Yeah, that's Palpatine. So what if, it, right? His rope with his hand poking out. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens if Palpatine dies before Snoke? Does Snoke lose all of his force powers? Snoke falls and he's over. He's just an old ugly dude now. He's just an old yeah. ugly dude. He's like, Aww. That happens halfway through a fight, and he's like, "Oh, wah, wah. yeah. How come I can't use all my force powers, Palpatine? Damn you, you pesky bastard." Creating a body that could actually contain that much dark side energy takes magic and not science. That's why he needed to steal Rey and Kylo's life force to be resurrected. All right, so he why- He was Clint resurrected before. What do you mean? Yeah, he's this, clearly he alive. Was like he was controlling Snoke. You've just established this. He's also got against his initial <laughs> point now. Get his force power back. 
okay, these seem very arbitrary dis definitions in terms of what we're bringing back and what we're not. He's like, he was able to bring himself back because he learned it from Darth Plagueis. Also, he needed the diet and the force to suck the energy out in order to be de resurrected. You're like, wait, <laughs> hang on, <laughs> I'm lost. Snoke with a scarred face. Well, that's to make the illusion more believable. If Luke and what? Leia knew oh, that Rey was a Palpatine, uh, uh. why did they pretend why otherwise? Why is it more believable that he has that Snoke has a scar? <laughs> More arguments for that, but he's like, no. Why does Snoke need a scar? So it's more believable. Moving on. <laughs> What's believable? That he was a Palpatine. That he was a clone, but I thought he wanted to stay hidden. So why understand. would he make it more believable that Snoke was a palpa puppet, a puppetine? Not again. This is insane. This Green is a lot. Crush, of... You're really bad at your job. Yeah. Magic and not science. That's why he needed to steal Ray and Kylo's life force to be resurrected. All okay. right, so why but he did that Snoke and they were still alive? Face? Well, that's to make the illusion more believable. If Luke and Leia knew that Ray was a Palpatine, why did they pretend otherwise? For the same reason that Ben kept the truth from Luke to protect her. Leia didn't. No, no, no. Ben <laughs> kept it so that Luke would be more on board with fucking killing Vader. Pretty clear yeah. that that's his goal there. For some reason, they just. It almost. You know, it's so odd. Luke knew she was a Palpatine the whole time. And then you watch The Last Jedi again, where he's like, Holy shit, you're powerful. This scares me. I'm out. Yeah, it seems mm. like he had no idea, but uh, <laughs> weird. Hmm. I don't know what to think. Oh, yeah, what do you guys think? That seems about right, right? It's not like these films are made by people who seem to hate each other's scripts or anything. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Big thonk right there. Duel of the directors. Big thonk. Want her to know I think that Luke ready. said he went to the island to die because he was too ashamed to admit that he went there to to just fuck the porgs. That's what contributed <laughs> having podcast. many wanks. And then when you she arrived, he was like, "No." So no, they have wide, wide, wide vagina. <laughs> wide <laughs> vaginas. Like that's what they're called, right? Wide vaginas. I don't know, some yeah, people would probably take great pleasure lot. in the fact that the Porg doesn't survive the fucking... Oh, God, no. no but I feel if Luke was that way, he wouldn't He wouldn't be ashamed to admit it. He's like, yeah, I'm just here to fuck Porgs I can't today. go back and tell Leia what I've been doing to the <laughs> <laughs> We never wanted her to know. I've seen this raw strength only once before. <laughs> Those Porgs <laughs> saw that raw strength once <laughs> 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 Oh, no. And then Solo. It didn't scare me enough then. That He was not it referring to now. Palpatine there. No. No, he has no he idea she's not. a Palpatine because the film didn't know she was a Palpatine. If you remember, the film is like, lol, <laughs> you're no one. Yeah, they made that shit up. After. He's suggesting that he's talking about Palpatine and he's going, no, that didn't scare me. That was fine. I didn't care about that. Yeah. You know, when, when lightning shot from his fingertips, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Happens. It didn't scare me enough then, you know, I really didn't do anything about it. I was just like, oh. Even though it's actually because J.J. Abrams just retconned a decision that Ryan Johnson- Oh. Whoa. Oh, okay then. Well, Shut up. Oh, all right. Made Last Jedi. Anyways, moving on. How did Luke okay. and Leia know that she was a Palpatine? Luke was looking for a Jedi hunter that was tracking Rey. He probably knew that the hunter was searching for the family of Palpatine. Why would he be knowing- search... But, hold up. Why would he be looking for the Jedi hunter who was tracking Rey if Rey was- well, he no was looking. One? I forget what does he. What do they even say in Tross that he's looking? He's looking. He's trying to find Exegol, right, Luke? And that's yeah. How... So he has the Exegol trackers, which are now conveniently inside of the book that was in the last film. I don't remember. Everyone's saying F is the stream down. Oh no! It looks normal. Refresh. It's right back. Now. Never mind. Damn it, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop effing, reload! Can you tell them to reload? <laughs> reload! Yeah, Just like the simulations. To the dead end on Jakku, so he would have figured it out as soon as Ray said this. Where are you from? Nowhere. <laughs> no one's from nowhere. Jakku. Wait, so because she's from Jakku and someone on Jakku might be someone that a bounty hunter person's looking for, he knew that she was Palpatine's granddaughter? Good thing yes, they weren't on moving person. on. All oh, right. All right, that is pretty much nowhere. As for oh, Leia, okay. she would have also that last known bit. the Emperor had a missing granddaughter and would have pieced it together when a crazy, Force-sensitive 20-something from Jakku showed up on her doorstep. Uh, but the whole uh, point, I thought everyone could have the Force, so it could be anyone still. Also, <laughs> fuck Chewbacca, I guess. 
See, that's why. This random yeah, person that's, 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 that's why Leia ignored Chewie. She was like, "Oh my God, Palpatine's granddaughter hugs." Oh yeah, I gotta hug her. So how did the ancient Sith dagger know where to find a relic inside a piece of rubble on a raging sea? Well, the dagger would have been forged after the Death Star was. Yeah, I know. Oh, why? But it's not silly. Yeah. Now. Here's the... You but have to explain me. like twelve things. Yeah, address about the this stupid dagger parts of that. The idea that the, it's like so it was like was the knife made before the fo the 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 wreckage was formed around it, or was the knife made afterwards? Like probably afterward. Yeah, yeah, probably <laughs> afterwards. That's not really the stupid part. It's just a destroyed, issue, and maybe yeah. the sea wasn't raging before the wreckage landed. The wreckage would have been so large there was no way that's the like, waves can move it. Like, and the water just tries to get around. Yeah, that's like okay. Well, if Pal Palpatine, you know, how was he alive in uh, in Rise of Skywalker? Well, he existed before then. So, uh, you know, <laughs> you, when people when people say that Palpatine didn't exist before the Rise of Skywalker, they're wrong, which is why it makes sense that he's alive now. I just like, it's almost like, this is what I subscribed to Screen Crush for, <laughs> in-depth explanation. <laughs> How did the Death I am exactly the subscribed to Screen Crush for this. It actually didn't land on Endor's forest moon, just another of its moons. They're very it's clear about got vaporized. this movie. Was well, no, he, so he's just said it landed on a different moon, okay, it's fine. In the novel, whatever, dictionary-tism, um, it says it traveled through, like, a, a hyperspace, uh, like, hole. It just, it just bumped into one, and then it moved to that other place, because it's really fucking far away. It couldn't have just crashed there. What? The piece of the Death Star, like, went through a hyperspace tunnel. A wizard did it. <laughs> that's ba that's basically both of those answers are pretty much equal. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. yeah. It was Palpatine's plan all along. Everything is proceeding as I suppose. <laughs> what? <laughs> you did not see this. You fuck off. I love the idea that we have another three films that are all about Palpatine trying to take over again, and I'm like, it all makes sense. Look, and I play a clip where he goes, everything is good. <laughs> that's <what> I expected. <laughs> Jesus. ...plan on losing the Galactic Civil War. He was surprised when Vader threw him down the shaft, but he did have a plan in place <laughs> called the Contingency in case he was betrayed. We covered this more in our Palpatine Explained video, but the Contingency was just what you saw in the movie. Oh, what is these... this fucking shit in the film? I know, right? These poor people who have to just piece all this bullshit together. <laughs> <laughs> it does make Actually, sense if you think about it. Yeah. ...the unknown regions Wait, and build a secret fleet. The Star all right then, universe. so where did all these giant ships come from? Yes. Who built them? Who yeah. were cool. operating them? Yeah. The Emperor's had 30 years to put his plan into place, so that would have been plenty of time to build the ships. No! You no! Know, no! Are you That's fucking no. mad? There's like thousands of them, I what do you mean? <laughs> There's plenty of time to build them. Yeah, it's a bunch of them. gremlin hobbits, like how could they possibly build all of those? No! <laughs> Why does he say that? Like, we all agree. <laughs> I'm like, no! They have to be Where did you It's what? plenty of time, guys. Landing? It's plenty of time. They, they, have to, they have to research technology to make mini Death Star lasers. <laughs> <laughs> and out, make not only know how to make them, but actually make them, and make enough of them, and put them on all of the Star Destroyers that you have also made. I'm not From convinced where? they could From build what one. Materials? Using what force? How has this remained a secret? I have so many questions. And, and in all the time, they didn't bother to put some fucking doors on their fucking planet. Just have to crush through the fucking planet to go, go up, or try to go up. Hey, man. Of all the places they could have chosen, they went That's with Exegol insane. because it's super secret, okay? Makes sense. Plenty of time, you fucking... Yeah, you gotta try and tell me that the, the stupid Hobbit gremlins built it in that environment as well. Get zapped by lightning <laughs> constantly. In the underground caves of Exegol, ready to burst through the ground. So stupid. ...these people are. The unknown regions are a big part of the galaxy that no one's really explored before except for the Sith. So we don't know what was out Shit. there or anything about the people who lived there. It's likely the Sith conquered the region before they went endangered a thousand years ago. So there would have been some deep-seated lore. But those are probably do that, so everybody would know about this place. What is he even like, trying to say right now? Like, back to Normandy. Is he, like, suggesting that there was possibly a whole bunch of Sith out there that built these and then they were gone by the time the movie happens? Or something, I don't know, what, what is what is the point well, I thought here? the Jedi defeated the Sith in this big war, no. so they'd know where Exegol is. No, other ones, distant ones, ones that went into the outer zones ranks. Gosh. It's for I kids, okay? Secret or planet. Why did Leia die? Well, the on-screen reason is she had to purge Palpatine's influence from her son. 
This took all her remaining strength. Is that I didn't? Oh. You can do that. Okay. Why didn't you do that earlier? <laughs> they don't say that. That's not in the film. Yeah, he, he says the on-screen reason. It's like, what do you mean on-screen reason? <laughs> I, I, she purged palpatism from bed. Like, wow. All right. I, you couldn't have done this like five years ago. <laughs> Maybe when when he first so went I evil. All his... you done that sooner, Carrie. Yeah, maybe you weren't busy. Why, why didn't stuff. Luke do it? Because but, she's a remember, better Jedi than Luke. That's why in the flashback she beats Luke. Because fuck the old male characters. She died to cleanse his soul. Luke died just to go, lol, you thought I was real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but, oh, but Leia, who's the more powerful Jedi, as we all know, she cleansed Kylo Ren of the influence of Palpatine. Thank goodness. Because she decided that now is the time to do this. After he got fucking stabbed. <laughs> she died. No, no, no. no. He got Next stabbed time. because she did it. No, I thought she died. Okay. Well, she so... did it, then he got All right, died. Right, but, okay, let's go. Okay, so... They're f so Ray and Kylo are fighting in their stupid fucking water fight. And so sweesh, then sweesh. she died. She picks that time. <laughs> she picks that time. To die, to to cleanse him of Palpatine, just so that he could get stabbed by Ray a second <laughs> later. Hey, look, she did it because he was about to kill Ray. That's why, even though she started to do all of it before that had happened, it makes sense. Oh my god, a very good film. Next up was Han Solo a Force Ghost? No, they're pretty clear in the movie that he's a memory. Here's they're another. That doesn't. <laughs> I, I like that as well. It's like he's a memory. It's like him showing up, you know, as he did. He's a memory. It is. It is kind of, I'm just like, what do you? That's not how memories work. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> memories. That's not what happens. Big one. Like what if, was Finn if going I to steal tell twenty Ray? bucks from my friend Bob, I will summon a memory of Bob to forgive me <laughs> for stealing twenty bucks from him. So it's all good. We're cool. And then the next time you talk to Bob, he's like, dude, you stole 20 bucks from me. He's like, no, no, you forgave nope, me. You forgave I checked me. my memories, Bob. I know my memories, I Bob. I okay? memory of it. Imagine, <laughs> imagine like you just, you're, you're, you're going about your day, like you're in the store or something, and you turn around and you see someone that you knew who was deceased. And then you go, what the fuck? And they go, oh, it's chill. I'm a memory. And you go, oh, okay, yeah, that, I'm a human person. You understand that, so how okay, memory I'm just a memory. It's fine. And, and let's be frank, too. We're already stretching memory because he can't remember Han Solo forgiving him. Yeah. When Han Solo... Didn't like, do didn't... that? <laughs> Han Solo in that scene is like, wow, you fucking killed me. <laughs> what Are the you hell? Are kidding me? You're a bit of a cunt. And then falls off. <laughs> well, it's got to be one of two things, right? Either that he has feelings for her. Got a family? Got a boyfriend? Cute boyfriend? Or that he's force sensitive, which is also another question. Is Finn Blood force hole. sensitive? I think so. He t well, he says I the mean, whole feelings I mean, thing. Really sensitive. There's what no the question about that. Is. They use that as the plot get out of jail free card. He gets he gets feely bads when, when Ray dies. Yes, he has <laughs> force -tism. Talks about having Can feelings see and through that visor through the movie, if she pulled it down. I don't think it's supposed to be. It's a piece of helmet, Rags, idiot. Oh. <laughs> What's it doing? It's protecting her upper forehead. <laughs> you know that armor in Star Wars doesn't work. Unless you're a guard. magic Mandalorian or a prison guard robot. <laughs> Metallic sweat bad, yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> when Rey dies. Why does Palpatine send Kylo to kill Rey instead of capture her? Because he wanted Rey to overwhelm Kylo, kill him, and use the Wayfinder to track down Palpatine. Kylo Ren was just- No, no but you said earlier that he needed to suck the life force out, yeah, out of the, the dyad, dyad to yeah. resurrect himself. You Bullshit. can't have it both ways. Pick, your, pick one of the shitty things. You can't have both shitty things. <laughs> I totally planned for you to kill her so that she would kill you and that I would suck the life out of both of you. <laughs> it's all going as I planned. Film, I told you through Snoke that you had to kill her, except I need her alive in this one for the dyad thing. But I'm picturing you laid all out in front of Palpatine. He's like, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> 
at least he understands the relative power levels between the two of them. Uh, of course, of course, Ray's gonna kill Kylo. Yeah, he was like Every watching the fight Palpatine in the water world. Responds. And as soon as Kylo wins it, he was just like, "What? <laughs> How did you beat her? It doesn't make any fucking sense." Well, she's been training now, so you know, obviously that makes it easier. Yeah, that's I don't true. Know, Palpatine has foreseen many things. It's actually her power training makes her worse. <laughs> <laughs> she should have known. She should have known. Just a pawn to get Ray to turn to the dark side. Here's another one that I've been getting a lot. Ooh. When did Palpatine have a kid? Look, there's plot holes. Not that's a not, plot not, hole. What, what, it's not why? a plot hole. What? It's just weird guy, to think about. This guy had sex? What? <laughs> this guy fucks. Well, maybe this guy doesn't ever. Maybe this guy hasn't had sex, so he thinks that other people doing it is a plot hole. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the cinema, like, what the fuck? He had sex? That's how do you? How? Like, I it was just a story. That makes no sense. It is pretty funny Real. that he's highlighting this as a plot hole. Uh. And then there's just stuff you don't see happen because it's boring. Palpatine no, no, because it's boring. Boring. Not be boring, okay? Calm the don't fuck down. Show it, yeah. Palpy getting his creamy sheave on. boring and a plot hole. Don't describe that as boring. How fucking dare you? <laughs> He'd be screaming, I am set. Unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> no, When no. did Palpatine have a game? Yes, yes, oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you are more likely to use force choke or force lightning in bed? Force choke. <laughs> A li you know, low low power force lightning. Yeah, that could that could do some stuff. Yeah. Couldn't oh, you boy. squeeze or pussy around your cock to make it tighter? Leave it to Rags to come with that crazy shit. <laughs> Rags, Listen, Rags is like crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's just out of nowhere. Uh, it's really just force. Out of pushing. nowhere, we were just talking about Yo. creamy Sheev getting his groove on. <laughs> Don't call him creepy. Goddamn. Use a Jedi mind trick. So also, I guess Sith uh. mind tricks. I, I will call you daddy. I will call you daddy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, she was calling me call daddy. Me daddy. Kid, look, there's plot holes, and then there's just stuff you don't see happen because it's boring. Palpatine did, his wife when he was a senator, and it didn't work out. That's his own private business. But the real problem what? is... How did you establish this? this? Wait, what is happening there's right now? What? Palpatine out there? I need... Hang on, I need to roll it back. I don't even know what point he's there's making. another one that I've been getting a lot. When did Palpatine have a kid? Look, there's plot holes, and then there's just stuff you don't see happen because it's boring. Palpatine took a boring. wife when he was a senator. <laughs> when did that happen? I'm sorry that you think <laughs> making babies is a boring endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> You've ascended my... as a critic in your fucking Dude, it's, polo. It's, it's the fucking wife. It's the fucking wife. It's the it's the people we covered before where they described sex as human intercourse. Remember <laughs> this cold, <laughs> sterile fucking approach. Say, Come on, give Palpatine some privacy here, okay? <laughs> they, they are engaging in human intercourse, a boring affair. <laughs> well, all right. I love that he just casually is like, he took a wife, they split up after having a kid. It's not something you need to get involved with. You're like, oh. And it didn't work out. That's his own private business. But the real see, problem is. His own private business, private business is you can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> guys, you can't learn important information uh, about the villains of the film. That's their private business. It's Respect it the privacy like, of the Galactic that's Emperor. Be, that's please. between Palpy and yeah. his, his, his whammons, okay? He, he had a kid that like he didn't care about or know about because he was like, oh, he fucked someone, then didn't talk to them again, and then oh, they're preggers. Like that's that's the explicit like implication of, of just a kid turning up from Palpatine who who was as far as we know no single throughout this whole thing, right? <laughs> like that's, that's just what you private doing. business. His relationship status is set to it's complicated, so don't <laughs> ask. All right, he needs some space. As far no, as we well, he's know, got, he, he owns. He's the king of space, so he's got plenty of it, I guess. 
You know how in his, in his new body all of his fingers were fucked up? Oh. Think, yeah. Do you think that, then, you... Uh, that applies to his, his man business too? I think it does. It might. Let's just say it's the bad kind of bony. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you make a gagging noise to that? No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the tip of a penis. It's it. <laughs> yeah, it's like the underside where it kind of me. Oh yeah. Oh no. What? <laughs> you can really that feel. Oh, my goodness. That feel when you have white hair coming out of your penis. <laughs> And then when your penis says goo. In case in case you Rax is drawing is very lopsided. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of my bicycle drink. <laughs> you're just you're just sitting here and all, some guy like goes to the one not next to you, the one the one about next to the one next to you because you know he's not weird. You, get, you hear an you hear an unzipping sound. And then you hear just a quiet, good. <laughs> Dude, imagine Renegade Cut found out we were responding to him. He booted up the stream and he saw this. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What? What, what is happening? <sighs> no penis. Not now. Shut up. Who were the other people in the Sith arena at the end of the movie? These are the ghosts of Sith Lords past. Palpatine oh, says all okay. Sith live in him, and this is but an the way he crushed them. Wait, is he talking about the Gremlin people? <laughs> they're ghosts. They're, they're ghosts of past they're Sith. They're exactly ghosts. They were like operating machinery. They were, yeah, the little Gremlins. And they get crushed mean? by boulders. <laughs> so yeah, but the the, the Star Destroyers, the thousand Star Destroyers, them being fully crewed makes perfect sense. But what we need to explain. <laughs> It's the few people who are in the Colosseum. It's desperately important that we get it out Those there. Were were, well, that's the thing, it though. Make sense for we people just, in the if you just say they're indigenous gremlins that live on this planet, you're like, okay, but instead he's like, no, they're Sith ghosts. You're like, wait, wait, <laughs> this <laughs> causes more issues. It changes everything. So, and, and ghosts, as we know, can influence the world, so should, shouldn't there be, like, a Sith well, ghost clearly, Jedi? Clearly, the ghosts, clearly they could sorry, influence sorry, the will because they were actually figured out how to be a force ghost. They were the making Snoke. All the Sith can do it. They were making Snoke, so of course they could influence the will. Yeah, they, they may as how could they be ghosts? They they they're physical beings walking around. Like I don't know. Jedi ghosts weren't helping. It's very simple because they were fighting the Sith ghosts the whole time. Whenever they weren't on screen, uh, when we weren't looking, but that's why we shall go to Jedi Valhalla. Yeah. And fight for eternity against the Sith. After you die, you just get sent to Star Wars level two. And you just fight. <laughs> Constantly. You get, to, you, you, you get to go onto the Star Destroyers on Exegol, and you don't know where up is. It's actually pretty bad level design. Mm -hmm. Externalization of that. It's like the ghost cave at the end of Return of the King. How is <laughs> what? Cave? No! What? <laughs> Fuck off! Makes sense at all. It's like Dude, the ghost cave. This Return is a parody at this point. I love this shit. The audacity of this man. <laughs> it's like the Lord of the Rings. Moving on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Luke's lightsaber fixed after it was destroyed in Last Jedi. Well, they fixed it because J.J. Abrams didn't care about the symbolism of it being broken to begin. with. Wow! Okay. Oh, it's symbolism. He didn't care about the symbolism. About, man. What, what if he they cared about the last Jedi when you know, oh, they destroyed the lightsaber? What if he cared about the symbolism of bringing pieces back together? Doesn't. Yeah, Did, does this symbol. monkey think that the last Jedi was good? That was actually my argument in um in my stupid April Fool's video that I said it's supposed to symbolize like teaming back up, using your resources to become strong again or something. You could totally do that. With. So they found the new kyber crystal and they fused it back together. Why didn't Palpatine possess? Ra that oh, wasn't that an explanation. Pet, that's just that's you just being like. Pet cannon. <laughs> I don't. I like, like, like how did they? How did they fix questions. it? He's like, they fixed it. You're like, oh. 
But I asked how, and he's like, they fixed it by finding materials they needed to fix it. And you're like, yeah, but how? I fixed it. Just with a new one, then. But how? <laughs> yeah, I know. You're like, you just like, oh, you found a new crystal and they, they built it and they fixed it. It's like, no, they basically just built a new one. Like, where right, did they find the parts if they were parts? But how? Yeah, how did they do it? <laughs> Killed him. Break me down with all of your hatred, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete. Because she didn't strike him down in anger, she. Oh, fuck off. What? <laughs> that wasn't the point. <laughs> like if Luke was just like he's like I won't uh, uh, he, when he throws the lightsaber he goes and picks it back up he's like wait if I just do it in a happy way he's like la 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 slice 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 la 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 slice dice we he used his own force lightning against him and as we've seen before this injures Palpatine <clears throat> how but Mace was clearly doing that in anger he was fucking annoyed that he was using lightning on him <laughs> stop it you motherfucker. <laughs> when Palpatine healed, why didn't he become young Chancellor Palpatine that we've seen in the prequels? Yeah. Because he didn't drain all of their life force. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How have you established that if he sucked out all of their life force, what if what if he kept going and became like a baby? <laughs> <laughs> For Palpatine. Do it! Do it! <laughs> I am the Phoenix. I said it. Have you heard the tale of Dark Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> what a retarded <laughs> fucking so counterpoint. Not even the Jedi would tell you. I was- like, I thought that he was gonna say before. something like, that was his true form, or something like that, like, we, it, it is proven by episode 3. But no, he's like, well yeah, obviously he didn't suck all of their life out, and now you're just like, why didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, he wanted yeah, to be an 80-year-old wrinkly man. He didn't want to be a fit, <laughs> strapping 30-year-old. What a so, weird fucking yeah, counter-argument. Dude, wouldn't it have been cool yeah. if he, like, he became, like, not even just Ian McDermott, like, young Ian McDermott, and, what, and we got, like, a, a cool new, like, young Palpatine. He became, like, Arnold a Schwarzenegger. Movie, a good movie that can exist, because Palpatine's in it, and he, sh he shouldn't be, but, you know. Keep them alive to screw with them some more. He kept them alive, alive. to screw with them some more. What a great idea. <laughs> that, he, apparently he's satisfied with that answer, so... How did Ben travel from Endor's moon to Exegol? All the shuttles on the Death Star would have been damaged and Imperial TIE Fighters... No, because the expanded lore, which came out, I guess, after this video, said that he got a modified TIE Fighter from the Death Star that had hyperdrive on it. So get fucked. Oh yeah, whatever, well, this one does oh, have cool. hyperdrive. Whatever explanation, there, whatever explanation he's about to come up with is not the truth, according to Disney. ...and have hyperdrives. Well, he was still Supreme Leader, so I assume he called for a shuttle. Okay, then, if Ben was still Supreme Leader, With why not what? just call off the attack at the end? Well, for two reasons. One, Palpatine was in charge by that point. We even saw that... <laughs> so then how did he get the TIE Fighter, you fuck? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, hold up. If General Pride got a message from Supreme Leader Kylo Ren... I want to say Kyle Ben. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, everyone would have been like... But the Supreme Leader clearly just told us to... Is there something between you two? And that would have been... Something. Also, he how does he communicate with him? He doesn't have a ship or anything. He had a little communicator. His little, his little device in his pocket. Space phone? Yeah. Okay. Ex-Imperial kneeling. Oh, Richard E. Cross. Two, Ben yeah. knew that the real fight was against Palpatine. You take out the king, you win the game. Why okay, didn't Anakin... Okay, that's not how the world works. <laughs> Depends on how many fucking kings there are yeah. or how many, how many times they like, resurrect oh, themselves. Oh, Palpatine's dead. Yeah, but there's still a thousand planet-destroying space lasers in the atmosphere. <laughs> Those don't disappear. ...show up in the film since he was the chosen one. Well, guys, apparently... He wasn't the chosen one. Oh, okay. Good, please, good please, please don't. Hey. Please don't I entertain that, is an that explanation. idea. I mean, he wasn't the chosen one. Fuck apparently, off. he wasn't the chosen one. Is basically the explanation. Apparently, Anakin wasn't really the chosen one this whole time. <sighs> yeah, as 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 chat saying, boo, wrong, boo. incorrect. <laughs> Rose, popcorn, I and tomatoes. Really shit. Why didn't Anakin show up in the film since he was the chosen one? Well, guys, apparently he wasn't the chosen one. You underestimate my power. And he does show up okay. as a voiceover. Now let's talk about the healing. Oh, uh, a... oh all right. 
Okay, then. All right, then. Good. There's a voiceover, you guys. His okay. voiceover is so cringy as well, because he says, Re bring balance to the force like I did. It's like, what do you mean like you did? You <laughs> did. We still don't know what, we still can't agree on what balance of the force means, <laughs> and it's been 20 years. I don't even know it's what that is. The force doesn't fall over, you know? Uh, Keep it nice and stable, nice and sturdy, nice and upright, erect. Keep the force erect. Keep it erect. <laughs> Keep the force nice erect. It. Erect. People want to know why no Jedi ever bothered to heal someone before. Yeah. The answer is they probably didn't know about it. Oh. Oh. The Jedi yeah, have been around for like 10,000 years or something silly. There's yeah, no they didn't way have the they books. wouldn't have been like, oh, I wonder if we could use the Force to heal people. They didn't have the books, even though Luke had those books before they ended up on Octu. So, yeah. uh, those are the sacred mm. Jedi texts. Yeah, well, mm, uh, yeah, mm. that's why Luke didn't heal Vader, or they weren't strong enough to pull it off. That's why Obi Wan didn't heal Qui. Fuck off! What do you yeah, know? That's bullshit. Just making that shit up now. Yeah, just making shit. Come up. Come on, that's just making shit up. How can Force ghosts catch lightsabers and call down lightning, but they can't go after the bad guys? My guess is they're not strong enough as ghosts to do any damage against. What? Damage? It, it, it doesn't have to be. You know what a lightning lead. strike it does to people? <laughs> You can't build, you can't like do anything against a person? <laughs> but you can summon lightning! <laughs> how, that's lightning. how Palpatine keeps dying is from lightning. What? That's like his <laughs> number one weakness. <laughs> <to> shock him. <laughs> strong enough, or did you say they're not strong enough off at two? Let's, let's roll it back, because cause I'm. Uh... Uh, it's, it's so stupid. I got Jen. How can Force Ghosts catch lightsabers and call down lightning, but they can't go after the bad guys? My guess is they're not strong enough as ghosts to do any damage against somebody like Palpatine. You... <laughs> oh no. It's, it's just stupid. The only way they could have been useful is to directly attack Palpatine. Yeah. I they could have done. I love the idea that he's the like, why didn't you help me, Force Ghost? They're like, we're not sure Force Lightning would actually kill him because he's pretty strong. It's like, why didn't you try? It's like, eh. Well, whatever, your lightsaber doesn't get weaker if you use it as a ghost. You can still to fucking... use a deadly weapon to kill someone, yeah. even though they, yeah. they they just they can't. It doesn't. Palpatine like annoy him he, in a fight. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah, I guess. Lightsaber. When you get like super fundamental on the logic here, it's like you can pick up and move lightsabers and activate them, yes? Like, yes. So yeah. you can walk a lightsaber just into him, yes. You think you can't hurt him, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, moving it's on. Like, like Star meme where he's having this shit explained to him, you know the one. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't someone pull a holdo maneuver into the command star crew? Yeah. Well, pulling a holdo maneuver like we saw in Last Jedi is a suicide mission, and nobody so? wants to die. And for bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> nobody wants to die. Fuck Plot all secured. The film did a better no job one than would you did. No one sacrifice themselves to win a war. Fuck yourself. It's insane. Nobody wants to really die. Really therefore, like, we won't knock out an entire fleet for one. Fucking sacrifice C-3PO. Finn was there, who explicitly demonstrated that he had that motivation in the previous film. But wait, no, to be fair, he was uneducated about this, not yeah, about yeah. destroying things. It's um, about saving things. Um, I still don't understand why you couldn't... Well, no, because he's wrong anyway, because in TLJ, there are several people who go down with their ships, right? Remember the, this several this mm. scenes where the guy's like, the good luck resistance as he blows up because he had to stay for some reason he had to stay in his ship while everyone else evacuated as if he no, couldn't find anyone to do that so is Holdo. she's amazing and brilliant and smart <sighs> except Nobody fuck wants... that black guy yeah for most of the battle there weren't any capital ships around that could actually attempt it okay uh you don't need a capital, need a capital ship. ship you just need a ship you just need hyperdrive i don't think he understands the, the the logic this physics involved in this it doesn't matter how big your fucking spaceship is you've got a if you got a peanut going the speed of like light times ten hundred thousand million billion through the planet Earth, um, that shit's going through the core. It's probably gonna, it's probably just gonna blow it all up. Actually, <laughs> it's like it's all over. Okay, next one about the ending. How did Ray know where the Lars homestead was? She probably asked someone. I mean, she could have. <laughs> How come that thing isn't a museum with a thousand <laughs> monuments built around it? This is the Skywalker home where he grew up, the man who saved the galaxy. 
He probably asked like somebody. <laughs> okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. Who did who did she ask? Like everybody thought he was a legend. Nobody thought myth, he was yeah. real. Huh? Well, the myth I'm says that he used to live at this farm. He must have known, surely. Just Chewy, yeah, Chewy showed Chewy. away. <laughs> that that was his use in this trilogy. It happened off screen, but he did something fine. <laughs> she, I just yeah, love that she probably asked somebody, like, <laughs> thank you so much for making this video. We needed this information. <laughs> like, where else could we get it? Went to the most isolated cantina and said, does anybody know where the Lars family used to live? Or Maz Kanata told her. <laughs> Why was there a room with mirrors right next to Palpatine's throne room in the Death Star? So in the movie, they call this a Sith vault. It would make sense that Palpatine would keep a vault close by for his most valuable artifacts. It's not actually filled with mirrors. It has an enchantment on it to protect whatever is inside. Fuck off. Shows well, didn't, didn't fucking enchantment. work very well, did it? It's not actually mirrors, it's a magic enchantment. A mirror would be a simple, <laughs> natural explanation. We can't have that. I just, I love the idea that what? The security system, the security system makes you imagine an evil version of yourself trying to kill you. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> You're not just like a wall. Unusual, but you know, well, it doesn't even good. work. It, all it does is push you out of the room. You have to address that Palpatine owns a mirror. This is a plot hole. Yeah. The explanation is very simple. <laughs> There was an enchantment on his vault, right? <laughs> that clears everything up. I mean, that is, it was an enchantment. I've improved the film with these words. <sighs> these explanations definitely do not raise even more questions. <laughs> Many more questions. People what they're most afraid of. Magic in Ray's case, it was the Darkness vault. Insider. And why was the first Wayfinder in some box in the forest? Because these guys were running from the First Order and bringing their box with them. They were probably <laughs> 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 These guys were running for the first order. They took. <laughs> they were running away with their box. <laughs> What the hell no, are these explanations? Take... If he just read the stupid dictionary thing, all of them have uh -huh. a, this is Mustafar apparently, and it's Vader's stupid wayfinder. That's why it's here. What is this explanation? <laughs> In the middle of the forest of Mustafar. Yeah, I know it's Rap. really fucking weird, but his one's even weirder. It's like these people are running from the first order and they're keeping their box with them. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> It was a concrete box set into the ground, wasn't it? Like, yeah, that's where they keep yeah, it when no, they're not you can running. Carry those around with you. Yeah, they just yeah. carry the concrete. These were strong people. Wow, that must have. Wow, <laughs> that's what, they're very they're ripped. Going to Mustafa. Like yeah, oh, gonna find the wayfinder from the Sith. Why did nobody strip the Jedi hunter ship for parts when it was in the desert for decades? Yeah. Because the Pisanans are a superstitious people. What? Oh, yeah. that's uh. it. <laughs> You can't just this. No, they do it in the it's, film. They do it. They take the fucking it. ship. Yeah. They take the whole yeah. ship. <laughs> I I love this this deleted scene where they're like, Luke, why didn't you search the ship? It's like, no, oh, you see the the Pisanans, yeah, they're very superstitious. They wouldn't let us. And why did no one else strip it in the between times? Well, it's you're hilarious to think that all it all it took for Luke to give up his mission is someone saying no. Don't do that. Uh, also, I fucking me love... why no one stripped it for parts in the between times after that, like, you know, in, in the whole time it was there. It's a major plot hole as well, by the way, because if, if they had searched the ship, they'd find Dio, and if they plugged him into a fucking, like, USB, they'd find all of the information on Exegol, and that's what they were looking for, and they just didn't do that. And he's like, oh, because of superstition. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. Like all of them, all of them were superstitious. And well, about what? Every about time Luke and Lando ships? approached the ship, all of the Pisanans would start shaking and sweating. Like, mm -hmm, don't do it. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, oh, you know what? It's fine. We're just gonna go home. It's fine. And they sense the evil presence of the ship. Also, they, they wouldn't the go near evil. the sand pits. This is a good one. <laughs> don't go to that ship. It's wouldn't evil. Go near the sand pits. It seems to be a really obvious, hard to miss thing. What? It's fucking staggering, honestly. Remember, Ray sensed shit as well with the Force. I guess Luke's just not that attuned with the Force. Yeah, Red he's five, shit. Luke's if Leia was there, was missing she could a have wing done it. in Last Jedi because Luke used it as a door. So how did the X-wing fly away? Well, it wasn't the whole wing. He used a piece of the wing for a door. Ray is a scrapper. She probably found a piece of the destroyed Tie Fighter oh, and used that. Oh yeah, no. yeah. It's, it's look at it. <laughs> look at that Tie Fighter. What do you mean? Look at it. This she is really awful. Like, 
Oh, oh he's so desperate. Gracious. You know, it makes sense. Ray probably used a part that's from a completely different ship to just fix <laughs> an obliterated, <laughs> conflagrated ship part attached to the waterlogged one. It totally makes sense. After repairs. How can Ray suddenly use Force Lightning? Well, she didn't know she could. It shows that <laughs> that's the same answer the question. That's the answer for every power Ray ever had. She didn't know she could. I didn't God. know I could randomly heal someone. I didn't know I could heal beasts in the desert. How did you how did you paint this beautiful masterpiece? Oh well, it was very simple. I really didn't know I could do this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that answers the question. I don't know what's wrong. The dark side is strong in her if she chooses to use it. Why couldn't C-3PO translate oh, Sith? Oh, moving on. He says in the movie that the Senate passed a law forbidding the translation. So he No, he can translate it. He simply can't sound the noises. What a strange thing to pass in the Senate. Like, they're arguing over, <laughs> yeah. over, over this law, and they're making a compromise. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The delegates from the, fl the Flim Flam... <laughs> they we're gonna make a, a a a compromise where droids can read it and all the droids right guys go yay <laughs> but they can't tell anybody and they're like ah, it's a, <laughs> you know, i guess we'll take a compromise for now but we will be pursuing full droid telly sithy powers and then someone's like wait one thing to add to the contract if you wipe the droid's memory it can do it <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> But it's why? Like, I feel like this is a really easy workaround, <laughs> sir. <laughs> like, well, you know, it's loopholes. That's it's loopholes like, for why you. Why are we even making this law? I love who explains it as if it makes sense. Law? That's stupid. Either the Senate outlawed this a thousand years ago after the Sith were defeated, or Palpatine outlawed it. Imagine cover... not being allowed to speak German. <laughs> <laughs> why would Why would Palpatine outlaw the reading of Sith? I don't know. He's a Sith. I am a Senate. Well, could they have okay. found another protocol droid? Yes, but they only had 16 hours. <laughs> Wait, what? You look so <laughs> smug when he said that. Like, yeah, I got your argument. I Fuck got you. you. Well, the Senate passed a law a thousand years ago that droids aren't allowed to tell everybody the language That's... that they can read. He's actually highlighted something I didn't even realize. Like, yeah, hey, fucking Babu Frick, do you not have like a spare protocol droid we could just have read it? You're a fucking <laughs> droid smith. <sighs> That's right. This entire movie with them hopping around from planet to planet takes place in just 16 hours. Yeah, not I know, even man, you it's crazy. It. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> is that what he's doing? Is, that, is he trying to make fun of it? I, I would it, actually believe this whole video was parody, that he's just given up. And he's like, none of this actually makes sense, I'm just fucking with you. And finally, why did so many ships show up when nobody answered the call at the end of Last Jedi? They've heard us, but no one's coming. Because this time they had the most smooth-talking swindler in the galaxy. <laughs> no. yeah. Everyone was willing to commit suicide because Lando said they should. <laughs> it's like, hey, yo. Just smooth, <laughs> creamy voice and mega cock. That's what did it. Absolutely. <laughs> Asking them for help. I don't claim you can have a better time with Colt 45 than without it. But why take chances? <laughs> All right, guys, that's I a lot of plot it. holes and questions. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. I like that he's, he's acknowledged that what he said was just more plot holes. That's good. <laughs> Be happy to answer them for you. For Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy. Well, oh boy. that happened. Do you guys yeah. feel the film is better now? I have no more issues. That movie's probably gone up to at least an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah. Genuinely, if that stuff was all explicitly in the film, it would be worse, which is insane. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> God. Well. That's it! Those we, we covered the two videos I intended for us to cover. We did it. Damn, what do we do now? I suppose now now we play the game. Hey, that's a South Park reference and it doubles up. <sighs> but that, yeah, I mean who which video was better? Hello. <laughs> Both worthless videos. The first one didn't make any arguments, the second one's arguments were fucking horrendous. <laughs> I don't know. Someone didn't feign moral outrage. I, no, I keep saying feign outrage. He actually did. 107. Moral outrage over the fact that people are robbing children of their Ghostbusters film by not liking it. But, like, I think this one is better just because it didn't do that. I think the second one was funnier.
I think the second one was funnier, but I think that's mostly because of us. It didn't have much to do with. I feel, the, I, feel like the, the I feel like this one was more like, oh yeah, ask us questions. We gotta try to answer them. With <laughs> we gonna give it a shot. Yeah. We give, give it a shot. But then they have like this thumbnail plot holes explained. Yeah. But there's 107 <laughs> Easter eggs to discover. Like, see that ship that's driving towards Ray in the trailer? That's an Easter egg. <laughs> I didn't notice it. I've just seen the top comment, um, oh, the pinned comment from Renegade Cut on his uh, Ghostbusters 2016 video. And it says, gotta love all these people commenting before watching the video. It well, wouldn't help. What difference would it make? Yeah. Like, why would it matter? He doesn't fucking say anything. I don't understand. It just turns out they're very good at predicting the future of your shitty videos. <laughs> Neat. Uh, so yeah, we're probably gonna jump into super chats. Uh, super wow. Does Map. does anyone want to uh, eject a ibble, eject a thon, a thon uh, while while they? I'll chill. Oh no, I'm gonna leave. <gasps> but I'm still gonna I'm gonna shoot. Like I'm gonna shoot you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot you guys and edit to. Uh, in a in a set in a few minutes. When oh, I'm you, finished with it. Oh, you doing something? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's about creamy sheev, isn't it? <laughs> I would. Yeah. I would hope. Oh, it. Penis. You want? It's it's crude, but. <laughs> oh, it's the sheev penis. <laughs> See this, and for many other reasons, people should subscribe to your chanizzle. Uh. You got hell yeah. You got um. Oh wait, I didn't ask the Christmas versus Halloween question to to Weekend Warrior. Damn. Ooh, that's Jay Longbone. What's better, Christmas or Halloween? Halloween. Yes. Yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck drags. We got Jay Longbone. <laughs> Christmas is better. Yes, we got Jay Longbone. <laughs> Halloween dad versus the Christmas version. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad. You don't have to explain uh, your answer. <laughs> um, You're so, the one who has to live with yourself. For more <laughs> Halloween-related content, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, if it, so, they should subscribe to you because you're going to be coming out with uh, a video that stars uh, Metal Rags and I, and you, of course, doing, yes. uh, doing a readout of a certain Gotham High Dude, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's oh, gonna be yeah, fun yeah. to re-experience that. It was a nightmare. <laughs> but yes, uh, link is in the chat and the description. And uh, I guess are you gonna are you gonna hang around until you finish the edit, or? Well, I'll I'm gonna, like so I'm gonna bow out, but I'm gonna keep yeah, Discord open and throw you guys this picture when I'm finished with it. Oh, it's a picture. Cool. All right. What you're saying is yeah, you're gonna be around. You just don't want to talk to us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I get I it. I have to concentrate you don't on this bad meme. You don't have <laughs> to explain. It's okay. Yeah, you know. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> we get it. Fuck out of my right. sight. <laughs> Fuck you. <gasps> oh man. Oh, oh shit. All right. So let me just let me just figure out what was I was playing Pikmin, the game with the spooky consuming of animals. You ever played Pikmin, Jay? You don't have to answer that no, one. I know that. You don't you've never even heard of it, have you? No. Exactly. I knew it. You've never played any of the good games I played, so you can Name shut seventeen. Up. Oh no, that's uh, a lot. Filling your gas mask with You cut out, so I don't know what I was filling it with, Sorry. and I'm gonna stay that way. There's just a was it Fender thing. Oh, 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 there. It just you, were you gonna say filling it with the Senate? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm gonna say. Unlimited seed. All right. First <laughs> super chat says. First super chat. No, it's uh, one high five. Cool. Hmm. That's correct. Uh. Is it though? Da -da -da. This guy called Sonic a fairly conservative film. Oh, oh. So the Renegade Cut thinks that the Sonic the Hedgehog movie is fairly conservative, huh? Like, politically? I guess so. I haven't has... seen it, so... There's nothing political about that movie. It's just a random Lies. movie. Or are Did these it... the... Is he one of those fucking weirdo <laughs> lefty types who thinks that, like, a happy family is <laughs> right-wing propaganda or something? I mean, it kind of <laughs> is, you know? I'm fucking... I hate happy families. They're the worst. Where is that? Where can I see that happen? Happy families? 
No, the, the people who think that that's propaganda, I want to see these people. Um, I don't know. They're an interesting set where is, of where, okay, where is this? Where can I find it? I'll have to, I, give me a second to think about where I heard this from. Um, because it the specific isn't coming to me, but that that is something that I have legit heard before. Definitely not your definitely not your normal lefty take, but I have I have heard it. I'll see if I can remember exactly where though. Because I think you're right. It is it is weird to hate families, but I mean they do get annoying okay. sometimes. Like the, the first thing you see on um, on the screen is content warning: spooky imagery and sad things. Sad things. <laughs> Wait for what? On for Sonic. <laughs> Wait, what for the what movie? What's spooky in Sonic? Yes, he brings other stuff up. I like the sure. Rags doesn't Sonic question the sad things Masters. part of it. <laughs> like, things. yeah, of course that makes sense. <laughs> he shows Anakin killing the younglings. Oh, what sad it, thing. What, what, what sad stuff does he have to bring up about Sonic? Oh, he's showing footage of a game. That's like a, like a sniper game or something. I don't know. Uh. No, uh, I don't know what the fuck is happening here. Well, either way, uh, I haven't seen the Sonic movie, but I feel like that could be really fun to cover if he's calling it a conservative movie. I think, I'd be curious what the argument is. I, I watched it. I, I'll never watch it again. It was, I don't know, it was right. whatever. Someone Why? said he compares Sonic to Schindler's List. <laughs> right. Does he, does he do that? Well, I don't know. Here's the thing, I I have no idea if that's true or not, and I could believe it if it is the case. Schindler's, there's got to be a comparison there. I mean, wasn't it wasn't it Movie Bob in his book? He compared like the release of Super Mario Land three or something to 9/11. I think. <laughs> what the fuck? I remember someone saying that. Uh, and. Uh, there's few copies of his books available, but my god, they sound they sound like a journey. Why does he have a book? Oh, I mean, why wouldn't he? He's movie pop. <laughs> I don't know the books are from the past. I should write a book. If he can write a book, I can write like seven books. Wow, you think it's easy to write a book? I mean, I can write words. This is movie Bob we're talking about. Wow. Write three right now. Go. Wait, what? If you can write words, write three right now. Uh, uh, three. There you go. Yeah, there you go. should have made your challenge more specific. He's he's outwitted you. <laughs> I dabbed on Jay. Yeah. Be right. Rags, no. Rags did an O O. It's like a it's it's a deformed O <laughs> O. Looks like a looks like a duck with really big. Eyes. It looks, like it's, it looks like it's puckering. It looks like it, those are like massive lips. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the kind of thing you'd see in Steven Universe. Isn't that right, Jim? Yeah, like the kind of thing you would see in Steven Universe. What's that? Hold up, hold up. I, I'm work. Hold up. You meme making rags. What is that? I'm trying what? to make like a. Can you show oh, the? Can you show it Wait, can I show what? These I'm, I'm kind of... Well, just post them in chat. That's way easier, because... Fucking projector <laughs> shit right now. Just... what? That. People... <laughs> they, they, what are you... why? They're just posting brackets and shit. <laughs> Stop deleting the messages. You can never hide from us. <laughs> no, you can, you can have those ones. Those are fine. I think he's successfully hidden, I'm afraid. Uh... I... Definitely took a screenshot. Here, I can make, I can make, uh, uh, I get, uh hmm, I don't know emojis or a, a little bracket thing. Press the emoji button in the corner of the chat window and look at them. There's an oh wo, and there's an ooh woo. What's happening? So anyway, uh, did you hear the actor, the actor for Bilbo it. Baggins? Yes. Italicized uh, W, I guess, is what that is. <laughs> the actor for Bilbo Baggins died. Can we get Fs in the chat? That's we all, we, we done all the Fs in the beginning. We can do more Fs, though. I... 
I oh, won't stop anything. Useless anybody. Pikmin. Wow. Um, oh no, I just told them all to do it. <laughs> Wait, have I just soft locked myself? What does that mean? How do I get them to finish the job if I've just accidentally pulled them all off? Finish what mean? the job. I can't get this bridge open, guys. Oh, you're talking about your stupid Stupid? How dare you? I mean, I never played it, but how dare you? Maybe if I just throw them here, do they know what to do? Oh, thank oh, goodness, I... maybe. Hey guys, um, remember EFAP? Um... It's gonna happen every weekend. Wait, what about EFAP? EFAP Gaming. Wait, did I say it was gonna happen every weekend? Definitely, you absolutely said that. That doesn't I sound could... like me. I think that's I don't a... I believe that. That sounds like communist lies. This gaming. We're gonna have to come up with an Almost. excuse for why Jay can't join us every week. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, this video sounds like bait. Well, what? Well. <laughs> Thinking about it, care. it would kind of make more sense if it were bait. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that kind of explains it. Didn't I pick no, up this before? It's stupid. <gasps> How would he feel you if feel? if you if he heard you say that? That's mean. I mean, like, oh there are certain. Times I don't want to know. Oh my goodness. No. 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 Um, how do I show this? Okay, this. Can I show you what's the palpa penis? The palpa penis. The goddamn tism eyes. Uh, Good. guys, we've. Jay Longbone has completed the masterpiece. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I, you, I, you know that when she posted that, she was like, well, it's done. It's <laughs> actually uh, just saying goo. It's true. <laughs> you know, goo was a big part of today's stream, so it only makes sense. The goo factor was out of the... Uh... No, my brain failed me. Just ignore that. Just as 2016 would clearly have been better if instead of the ghost vomiting on Aaron, it was palpitism. I agree. Um, pal no. Palpa penis. Oh. So oh. not, that's that's what I meant to say. That palpa penis. I shall take the controversial um, position and agree with you, Jay. <gasps> doing a, a goo on, on her. Give her the big goo. Mm. It's for kids, though. Oh yeah. Good old kids goo. Yeah, kids, kids got goo. slimed on Nickelodeon. Oh no. Nickelodeon. <laughs> Which is why it's okay for there to be a bukkake in a children's. Oh no. I think it makes sense, and I think anyone who says it doesn't is unaware that it's for children. What is is Bukaki by definition more than one person? Um, like, not just more than one, like, obviously there has to be a sender and a receiver, but like, is it more I than one Bukaki person? I think Bukaki is one sending? person giving someone else a facial. Yeah, because does it have to be more than one for, for to qualify as Bukaki, or can there just be a lot so. of crumb? I think, one I think, I think it's, it's a giant palpatina. thing is that it's a group endeavor. Bukaki definition. Oh, you did it already. You're doing it already. All right, now I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's important that we discover this. Yeah, it's several, several people. Several. So it becomes Bukaki when a second gentleman joins in ejaculating on the lady. Well, does two count as several? I don't think it does, right? Maybe. It's, it's, I don't know. It could several. be. It's several, definitely. Can we really know the answer to that? Definitively. More than two, but not many. Mm. So, so you can have too many people for a Bukaki. If it qualifies too many people as many Bukaki. people, if it qualifies as many people, it's no longer a Bukaki. Hang on, okay. <laughs> many definition. <laughs> I'm glad we're clear. More than many. A large Lesson. number of. Give me a fucking number. <laughs> <laughs> large. It's a. If the number is large, it's no longer Bukaki. <laughs> but it was like large definition, <laughs> at least seven. Three, not Bukaki. Three Bukaki. <laughs> no, the other way around. Large definition. I'm I'm gonna give go until we give me something that doesn't depend on another word to define. <laughs> <laughs> All words depend on other words to define them, Jay. What do you mean? I'm, I'm fine with settling tentatively on it's a bukkake when there are three guys involved. 
Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's a maximum number as well because it's less than many. It has to be not many, or it's not several anymore. That's explicit in the definition. Explores it. Oh well. Uh, Rip Bilbinius Bagobondus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Outer Wilds is on Steam. We've had a lot of people talk about uh, Outer Wilds. Anyone here played it? What, what is Outer Wilds? All right, I'll take that as a no. Keep having to remind myself that when people say Outer Wilds, they're not just weirdly pronouncing Outer Worlds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. Drink the goo. This is there's been a strong goo theme today. I like it. It binds the EFAP as one. I like Whereas... that at the moment like a like a bunch of new games coming out and I was like, hey, Dark Souls 3 mods, yay! <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like Pikmin. <laughs> Pikmin. <laughs> um Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to PC, also high Rex. Hello! Rips That's Ian what we hear every week. Mm-hmm. Rips it nice. Ian home. Uh, Bilbosaurus Baggin Pterodactyl. <laughs> okay. It's a, it's it's honorable way to refer to him, yes. Honorable. I'm dead, Bilbo Baggins. I, oh, no. <laughs> I guess yeah, that, <laughs> that was one of his quotes. <laughs> oh no. Um, Is that what he said on his deathbed? I'm dead. He did. This is the big true true. Um. That's a lot. Meme fab. Really Diamond on the bed market. was just quit pattern. Diamond on the bed was just quit quilt pattern. What happened in the meme fab that made us question whether or not there was diamonds on a bed? Oh, one of the pictures. One of the pictures had like a diamond on the on the bed. I know it sounds like repetitious, but there was mm. one where I was in bed and there was the grandma one. Oh, we were curious about that, and it was just the pattern. I remember. All right. Well, I've learned a lot today. I did. Uh... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you, the New York Times. <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender imagines a world free of whiteness. <laughs> There's like oh, slavery sorry. and horrors. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't think they... It's not a perfect world. Uh, I guess that's their point. You need them whites. <laughs> Clearly the point in the article. Um, Alright, have I got all the bombs? Let's go on a grand adventure, my precious little bombers. Bombers? Mm. They are Bomber. boombers. Why aren't you all playing the stunning and brave 10 out of 10 masterpiece of storytelling from Naughty Dog? In due time. In because due I time. don't care about the game. Yeah, you do. That was sometimes like... Because uh, I'm all about that base. I don't know if that was what you were going for, but it's what you achieved. Oh, no, I just did random. What base? Like First base? Like, base. Like, oh, D base? Base. What if he's he trying to say I'm all about right, right. that face and you just ruined it? Giant ass. <laughs> ass. Ass. What about anus? Unused. That's part of the ass. Okay, alright, I'm following. Yeah, how many men is too many to achieve Bukaki? What's the that maximum means. number of men for a Bukaki? Isn't it Bukakai? Bukakai. Bukakai. I just blew up all my Pikmin. Fuck. What? What are you? What are you looking at on that computer machine? What, what's this? Bukakai? It's Bukakai, mom. It's, it's a gem. Mom, get out of here. You would understand. Art form. Also, I like that your your mum voice is the same as your like ninety year old man voice. <laughs> <laughs> what well, this you know, boo Um. I had to write a. I'm sorry. What is this? I had to write a comms a comms to thirty k workers about the Cunt. death of a beloved director this last week. I did this oh, while yeah. listening to the scrotum song on repeat. Surreal. <laughs> <laughs> The Scrotum song? The Scrotum was fucking awesome. Oh wait, has Jay not heard the Scrotum song? What? I, I, this, oh my god. I, I, I had a good giggle. It was Are pretty you, good. Can someone link him? The fucking Scrotum song is fantastic. Is this an EFAP meme or is this a... It like, is, it's, it's a, an EFAP video meme and, and you're in it too, so... Oh my god, I wanna... Oh my god. I'm search, excited. Search for cabbage bags. 
Uh, cabbage bags. EFAP, I guess. That should, that should it's make legit. Sure. It's a it's a top. It's an S tier meme. It is a high ranker. I agree with pretty, that statement. Pretty fantastic. One of the best. It is good red indeed. Very good. Also, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna stream a fucked on tomorrow because I want to play more of the Cinders mod. I'm doing it right now actually. <laughs> wow, not even on stream. No, I'm, I, I started a new playthrough. I'm just trying different classes. Um. Rest in peace, Bilbo Baggins. May the dawn bless him with eternal rhino milk, and may he never be spread over too much butter again. F's in chat for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, the apologists for The Last of Us Part Two have already started. Well, hey. Crazy. They make some really bad video essays. Maybe we'll cover them. Maybe. How much fun that will be. Uh, favorite Tarantino film? Hmm. I think we've answered this before, but I am going to try and guess... Tarantino. I think I usually end up picking... It's between Inglorious Bastards, Kill Bill 1, Reservoir Dogs. I think they're my three top ones. Pulp Fiction is, like, close as well. What about everybody else? I can't decide. Uh, I knew really like Empire the movie. Back and, I um, really like his movies. Yeah. Tarantino didn't make those ones, right? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I guess Django Unchained, and Glorious Bastards, and... Mm. Um, I don't know what I'd put as my third, honestly. Well then. Um, I mean, Jay, Metal, I don't know if you want to dance in there or not. That's right, that? I was listening to the Scrosome song. <laughs> <laughs> It's ain't, great. Ain't I love good. it. Yeah, but it is beautiful. I I really like this. Rotoms. It's actually it stuck in my fucking head. No. The guy said he's gonna make more as well, and I was like, oh my god, yes. I'm Please gonna be do. just like around. I'm just gonna be like downstairs tomorrow with my parents, and just like without realizing what I'm doing, I'm just gonna be like, scrotum, scrotum, scrotum. You bitches be jealous of this scrotum. <laughs> what a sack of meat cabbage. <laughs> I mean, it's a legendary song that many need to uh, absorb. Absolutely. It's, it's for kids, though. Oh, yeah. If you don't enjoy it, it was for kids. I like this way of escaping criticism. It's very clever. Sure, let's call it that. Oh, escape, little boy. Oh. So what was the question you were asking me? Oh, uh, what's your favorite Tarantino film? Pulp Fiction, I'm a normie. That's alright, it's a good choice, it's fine. Just, it just I really means like that, you know... I Glorious Bastards. Again, another good choice, it's okay. I, you, you guys, you know what? You're allowed to choose whatever you want. You're free, Liar. independent women. I liked uh... Reservoir Dogs, but it was a little too slow for me. I also <sighs> like, uh, Unchained quite a lot. Wait, which one, Unchained? Django Unchanged. Oh. Unchanged. Django Unchanged. <laughs> unchanged. I, did, I liked it before Django he was Django Unchanged. He's just, it's always just a slave at the end, too. Yeah. No, just keep, just <laughs> keep Django wearing unchanged. his game clothes. <laughs> I mean, he almost was a slave at the end, you remember? Oh my god. Yeah, sorry. Why are the yellow ones following? Go away! Alright, um... And he lived happily I'm not ever even after. The chat is going to be going. Jay has seen films. Oh, I'm also look now. opinions on Seven Samurai. I'm going to bet yes. that Jay hasn't seen it. No, actually, I haven't seen that one. I don't remember if I've seen it. <laughs> I've, I've seen, seen both Magnificent Seven. Seven, and I've seen Thirteen Assassins, but I have not seen Seven Samurai. Dang it! I've seen it, but I saw it when I was super young, so I don't remember a lot of it. Maybe we should rewatch it sometime. Sure. Give me that. Give me that. Forty-seven fumbus. Ronin. That counts clearly. Oh, that's isn't that Keanu Revs? He yeah, was in that one. It's a really weird film. Is that the yeah, one I think I saw that too. I don't know why the though. The Matrix. Yeah, that's right. I just wanted to watch it, and I did, and I was like, I don't know why I did that. Oh no, don't run past this dude, he's gonna hit you. No, Pikmin, no! You're all really fucking stupid, you know that? That sounds like me. Yeah. Hey. Hey man, you said. I didn't say nothing. No. 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 It's the correct way. No. J 
Jay almost naturally says nor anyway. No. <laughs> uh, Fringy would be proud. Um, and he lived happily ever after until the end of his days. Rest in peace, Ian. Uh, Jello is the best thing to throw up. Uh oh. Well. Bro. Cool. Uh, yeah, we did discuss that at one point. We were theorizing what the best thing to throw up would be. I think one of the suggestions was milk. Um. Milk. Oh, Jello. No. Well, I mean, I, I I don't know. I'm not a doctor. What would I know about throwing up? I've, fr I've thrown up. Do you EFAP of 2016 EU interview with TFA writers. We're hoping you know that Ryan Johnson can figure that out. We were really stymied. Lawrence Kasdan, screw it. Let's figure Ryan... Let's let Ryan figure it out. Oh, is that like a quote that they actually say? Because that's pretty funny. Hmm. Because he didn't. Hmm. Didn't even try. Um, they thought they can figure it out. And yet. Wait, did I already deposit? Oh, where am I going now? Jeez. Stop oh. playing games. You're on a podcast, idiot. I was actually. Well, th this was requested. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Super Chats were too boring without a video game in the background. So. Oh. Nah. Go, oh, go mean, like the the My own game. Get fucking wrecked. True. Um, Ow. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, so that was a 2016 interview. I mean, I will I will make a note. We'll see about that. Sounds interesting. Um, hey, JL, what up, my E-word? She would have said hi back. Um, this one says pee-pee-poo-poo. -poo. <laughs> nice. Nice. A worthy investment. High five, man. Put that five away. No. Uh... Fuck, marry, kill, Mola's mum, Rags' mum, and Metal's mum. But you all have to come to the same conclusion. Um, is if Rags' mum gets F, then everyone fucks Rags' mum, including Rags. I don't get it. That sounds stupid. I hate it. Um, what? So we've all got to do. We've got, we all got to simultaneously do fuck, marry, kill for all of our mums. We've all got to agree on the result. I don't know what your mums look like. <laughs> nor do I want to know. It's kind of hard to pull off. <laughs> yeah. It's, Awkward question. There's not going to be an easy answer, I'm afraid. I don't really know what to make of this one. Um, well, does any of you have a hot mom? I don't. I don't. Mine's okay. <laughs> 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 that guy was going to actually say his mom is hot. <laughs> That's like fucking creepy. To say that. Listen, this is all about being objective, right? Yes. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Still no for me, though. <laughs> Objectively, the big hawk. Yeah, I just can't really answer that one, I'm afraid. It's a bit of a wing wang. Uh, wing wang? You put your wing wang away. Uh, Weekend Warrior, tell them about the journalism mode setting for uh, Lost Was 2 briefly. I saw that skip he puzzle. He did, yeah. Quite funny sounding to be hornist with you. Um. Skip. There's a skip puzzle button, and easy mode stealth. Ten out of ten for Junos. Yeah, I mean they're probably having so much fun. Seen the Resident Evil 3 remake. They just left the puzzles out entirely, so you don't even have to skip them. Well, that's a way to solve it. I know, right? Oh, wow. All right. <clears throat> Harvesting more creatures as you do. Harvesting more creatures. <laughs> you mean hunting? Buffy reboot. But Shad plays Giles and Jay is Angel. I'd watch it. I'd give it a shot. Yeah. Why not? Like giving it a shit. Want to work with on like a film project? Um. Hey Mola, what movie do you think has great themes? Uh, The Grey, Prestige. Um, there's some good ones in Lord of the Rings actually. There's there's it's, there's a lot of films that have a consistent through line in terms of what they're trying to say in terms of a message slash uh, lesson slash idea. It's just that, for some reason, a lot of shitty films rely on that being their only thing that they even did. And so we have to talk about how that's to be celebrated as opposed to talking about just how good the, I guess, attempt was. That's a shame. 
I think there's more to it than that, you know? Um, in Weekend Warrior Voice, the critics gave it perfect scores, so it must be good, right? That is something <laughs> to say. Oh, that's, that's good. That's in his voice, yeah. If only he could yeah, to say that. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, watch Attaway General. Look it up. It makes Batwoman look like Citizen Kane. Could be funny to EFAP Mini. Also high rags. Oh, that's the weird TikTok people uh, series. The TikTok movie? No, it's like TikTok people, and they made they try to make a movie. I I saw like a video about it today. It's really terrible. Disgusting. Um. So how many reds have I got now? All of you, go back home. You disgust me. I am home though. Uh, hello, my N words. Hello. Hi. I I would be Hello. pleased to know what your favorite films of all time are and why. Also, Heidi, Howdy, Rags, and Nola. Damn. Who wants to go first? I, th I think... Like, for me, I would go with a movie I could just watch all the time, anytime, and it would probably be Hot, F Hot Fuzz. That's a good choice. Hot Fuzz is incredibly well written and yeah. really gosh darn funny. And it's very appealing for a Britishman because it's a quintessentially British film. But uh, also, it's just yeah. got wide appeal anyway. Really, that's like, what, that's like the one movie I can just watch every day, pretty much. Like I, I've never. There's no element that's not working it. in that film. Like the editing is fucking top notch in uh, Hot Fuzz. Yeah. Like watch Ghostbusters 2016 extended and then Hot Fuzz, and you can experience the two opposite ends of editing. Well, maybe that's too harsh. It's probably much worse editing even than the extended Ghostbusters. Suicide Squad. Oh yeah, Suicide Squad's editing is really bad. That's true. Yeah, I wasn't answering what my favorite film was then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Hot Fuzz, excellent choice. Uh, so I would throw in Prestige and T2, uh, some of my suggestions. Prestige because the script is incredibly tight. It says some very deep things about humanity, as well as uh, obsession and man's... Uh, uh, the, 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 I guess the, the you, you could the, there's just lots of things to approach I guess uh, thematically, while also uh, just having fantastic characters and a really tight plot that's very complex and delivered over three timelines, which beyond impressive as a piece of work. And then T2 because it's a really wonderful blend of action, drama, horror to a degree, um, and and lots of other shit. Um, Without getting more specific, uh, who else we got? Someone else suggests shit. Yeah, um, it's like really hard to think of a, a single best film out of like all of the three that I've seen. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'll just go with a film that I really like, which is The Upside. What's wrong with the downside? You know, that's the downside. It's down, sad. Damn. Sad glorums. Anyone in chat seen the upside? I know no one. In, no one in call has seen it. You're right. You're not allowed to make those claims. <laughs> Stop it. It's just a cute little story about two guys who are friends. I like it. Broke friends. Back what are those? <laughs> oh yeah, broke back mountain. You probably that's, 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 they're, they're friends in that, right? Check that one out, Jay. Good friends. That's only special friends that do that. Oh. Someone's professional, 1994. That's a good choice. Leon du Professeur Nul. I like that movie. It's pretty good. Do I have to throw them on? Okay. Weird, but fine. Wait, that doesn't do it? What the hell is the game asking me to do? Throw me, daddy. I kept trying to do it, son, but it won't let me. Um, so nothing's happening. <laughs> it's... <laughs> if I bug the game or something, what am I supposed to do? Give me the answers. Demand them. <laughs> this box is blocking my path. I mean, was, uh, my Pikmin is supposed to move the box, right? Do they have to move it from the other end? Is that the, is that the meme? The meme? Good old May Mace. Alright, I guess I need the blue man. The blue man group. Uh, How you mean? Wait, yeah, Rags, what's your favorite movie and why? Hmm. Uh, 
Uh... <sighs> Favorite move? I don't know if I could. I mean, I, I like I like Masquerade. I like the acting. It's really really good. I like the 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 way the music mixes with with what's happening, and I like the story. I like the characters in it. I like the prestige for all the reasons Mahler mentioned. It's just some really, really high level stuff. It, it can't be praised enough. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I really like Civil War um, for the you know the character work and you know a lot of a lot of the build up from prior movies being really brought to an excellent point. Uh, let's see. I like. Hmm. I really liked Ford vs. Ferrari. I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, no, it's great. It's really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, I mean, I, 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 I have plenty of movies I really enjoy, but hard for me to pick favorites. <clears throat> if you made me pick a favorite, I might say 1917. Really? I, That's a good movie. Yeah, I really like that movie. It's like the most immersed I've ever been in a film. Well then, yeah, cool. Isn't there a good suggestion? Civil War is just okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Beat you up! Um, how do you mm. damage right now? The also, howdy, Rags and Mola. Hello! Hello! Wow, howdy! Hi, Mola. If you play TL The Last of Us 2, ask for Geeks and Gamers copy. What? Why? But why? You'd have to mail it to me. That's a lot of hassle. Uh, you're all in a battle royale. Who, if anyone, would you team up with, and how would you kill all other EFAP guests to ensure you were the victor? I would I'm not going to tell them my strategy. That's just counterproductive. Also, I'm pretty sure everyone saw the meme where I ride rags into battle, right? That's probably the kind of strategy I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm not going to go beyond that and, and tell them about our surprises beyond it, but yeah, that's, that's what Sounds I'm Sounds like a good strategy, if you ask me. It's pretty good. Uh, Sh shad will me. You're going to drown everyone in, in... I was about to say shad milk. <laughs> <laughs> you. Rhino milk, and then he will chop off their heads as they search for, for air. Sure. That's how Let's I go with that. Um, I agree with internet historian's view of The Last of Us 2. Subverting is edgy, so every hack uses it to pander to uninformed audiences and dumb journalists. I'm pretty tired of subversion at this point. Can I be honest with yeah, you? Yeah, I hate how TLJ like brought that up as a thing that's okay to do it really shitty. Well, it's like themes. It's it's like an excuse. Nobody's ever trying to actually figure out how to subvert properly. They just do it. And it's just like, yeah, I did it. And you're like, yeah, you, I guess. You did the thing that we didn't expect you to do, because that's all you need to do. Good job. Um... Uh, so that's pretty specific. Um, are we, what are we, what's, what's our current position on, like, reading out quote-unquote spoilers of The Last of Us 2? What, what are we, what's our thoughts on that? I mean, I don't give a shit. I don't give a um, shit. Just give I it don't, like a... I don't care at all either. Uh, I, if, I guess if you do care, this is your warning. Well, I mean, it's too late for me because I read it. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> oh, it's people super chatting spoilers for games? Yeah, but I wonder is, because... Dude, chat, are you okay with spoilers? I, I assume you are. I, this could be a stupid question. I don't know. If you're not, just stop listening. Like, and give I warning. really don't like the idea of saying it's okay to do spoilers in general. Because right. I feel that's not going to lead anywhere good. Well, yeah, our general position is like, just spoil as little as you can, right? Yeah. Whenever someone's like, I can't explain this without spoiling it for a flaw in something, it's like, oh, we'll just give, you know, a general like, vague account, so you can explain the spoiler. Uh, everyone is saying spoiler. <laughs> so it's, I mean, okay, well, so for the people in the audience right now who uh, don't want to spoil, just don't listen for literally, like, a minute, and, and it'll be over. But, um, at the same time, uh, don't, like, we don't really want to get spoilers, typically. Just, you know, in, in, in your chat. Uh, what I will say is I plan on streaming this game, so the less you put into Super Chats about um, what happens in it, the more you'll see me be surprised by certain events, I suppose. 
which uh, could be fun on the bun. I'd emojon. <laughs> fun. Yeah, I said words. Yeah. Ew. Word. Wait, what'd you say? Words. Dude, you can't fucking stop saying words. It's fucked up. I'm Uncle Pee Pee over there. Ew. Why must he always pee pee? It's just a German thing. It's what Germans do. How would you know? You've never been to German. I guess you're right. That's because the German comes to you. Ew. Oh, I am German. That's my German impression. Is it good? I thought it was really good. Look at them beating that fucking fence. Do it. Has a single person in chat seen the upside? I want to know. Uh, I saw some yeses, so... I'm gonna it's guess got, no. It's got Ryan Cranston in it. He's, he's, he stars in it. Who's, who's Ryan very... Cranston? Um, he's, oh, you wouldn't have heard of him. He was in Raking Bad. Raking Bad. Johnny <laughs> Cranberry? So anyway, I guess I'll read it out. <laughs> I heard right. Joel got his face caved in and Ali just let the person who did it get away consequence free. How does that make you feel? Also, hello everybody. How's life? Going Thanks, okay. Though so that comment about that game, it does explain why people are probably not happy with the game. I will say that much. At least to some degree. Um, I doubt that th this this is there's a reason why everyone's unhappy about this game, right? Yeah. Except game journalists, they don't want to give it a bad score and have all their other journalist friends think they don't understand the super complex themes. It's media, yay! Jay, I'm fine a weird spidery thing. How do I beat it? Ask it about the past. It doesn't know about the past, don't know the future. It's just living time backwards. What do you I mean? I know about the past. I mean, well, gotta get it to most, open its most face. people uh, live forward through time, so like you know, they live they live chronologically. Spiders, they their consciousness starts at the end of their life, and then they experience it backwards, so they can only remember things from the future. That's how. Curious it case of Benjamin Spider. Yeah, oh, I've seen that, that one. That's yeah, great. It's my favorite episode of the show. It's in. Ben Ramen Spider. It's Maybe part of a innocent creature. Curious is just a nice word for queer. How? How? Wait, what? Oh, we got disagreement. Like, well, right. Discuss, curious. debate. You know, that was queer. I guess. But, like, curious, curiosity is an emotion that you can't describe with the word queer. An emotion? But curiosity, or, or like a trait of a person. How are you feeling? I guess you could feel curious. I don't know if I call it an emotion, though. Yeah, I, I get where you're coming from with that. Like, but it's, it's sort of, sort of. Feeling. It's almost like a, like a, a sub emotion. Yeah. It's like it's when a people drug. say name a sense, they're not like your sense of time, right? It's stuff like, you know, like your sense of sight and smell. Hmm. Yeah. And there, are, there are things that are technically senses that people don't qualify under that like, sense. Like how when you close your eyes, you can still tell where your limbs are. That's a sense. People don't count it. Well, maybe it's not a sense at all. Maybe it's just aliens. That's another. That's a possibility that we should seriously consider. Thank you. I'm gonna make a Red and Kate Gut video about this. Kate Gut. Renegade He's the most cut. un renegade looking person I think I could <laughs> imagine. He looks like an a sentient egg. Is that bad? No, it's just a renegade eggs. Just, just he just looks like a very egg-like person. No, I agree with that. I think that's I fair. Think just... I think that's a fair assessment, Rags. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put a thumb up on that. Yeah. Egg. Um, call it The Last of Us Two, and it works. It just works. It just works, yeah. Um. Uh, anybody, anybody's city burned to the ground yet? As far Not as me. I know, all of you guys' mine, cities are all okay. Mine, mine, mine's fine. Yeah, yeah we're um, fine. I think the worst we had here was yeah. like a broken window. Some hooligan. Outrageous. Those fucking hooligans. Gorms. Hooligorms. I, I, I think it's one of the cities doing Boo for Boris, I think. Boo for. Oh, uh, is it like at 8 p.m. or whatever? 
Halloween yeah. thing. <laughs> We're gonna go spook Boris. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Ah! And then he gets out. We're all gonna get out there and spook Boris on Halloween. Also, I'm just gonna harvest this enormous creature. I better get a shit ton of these things or I'm gonna be angry. Come on, game. Give me loads. Uh, okay, that was quite a few. I'm happy. Uh, what's your favorite magic system? Magic what? system? Yeah, uh, like, like in a video game? Sure. In anything, really. Um, yeah, in anything. Magic system. Because in most games, it's just some... I like... I would rather have things on timers than have them, like, with a finite pool. And you can only cast so many. Um, but... Magic system. Uh, Skullduggery Pleasant had a really good magic system. Yeah, I'm assuming what, what game? you can go for a mechanic point of view, but I, they probably mean just like a, like appealing to one that you're like, yeah, I kind of like that one because it makes sense or because it seems fun, like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings or whatever else. When you view Red Skull, I don't even has know what Lord of the Rings system is. Well, Lord of the Rings doesn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> but someone could like so... that. They could be like, oh, I like the free form system of Lord of the Rings. I don't know. I like Divinity Original Sin 2's magic system in the way that it allows you to mix statuses and double up on things so like if somebody's wet and then you chill them they'll become frozen and stuff along those lines mm -hmm. oh, uh, you, you, if you, someone you, is shocked and then you apply water to them they become stunned yeah stuff like that i, I like combining things have you, have um, you played through all of divinity too yeah i've beaten it because uh, I'm, 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 I'm playing with friendo which, which mode did you play which mode? Just the normal. Like difficulty. Oh, okay. Because we're playing and tactician, we're playing tactician mode. Book. And tactician mode is... Oof. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's a game that I want to be, like, super balls hard. Especially vanilla, because the game is okay. It, it, I mean, well, I mean, it's good vanilla, but mods really... Uh, Divine War in particular, and the way it changes the willpower system and the stats and mm. things. Because we, we played for the first one together as well in Tactician Mode, and that was fine. That worked pretty well, but Tactician Mode in Divinity 2 seems kind of imbalanced. Like, you really have to cherry-pick which encounters you want to do next. Yeah, if you, get, like, if, you get, if you get a random encounter, it's supposed to be like, oh, they're like one level above us, and there's like five of them surrounding us. We're just going to die because we lose yeah. two people in the first round, round of the enemy. Yeah, vanilla, it's good, uh, but there are some fantastic mods. And w one thing that's great about it is that even though it requires a little bit of work and experimentation, there's there's a lot of good stuff out there that will really put that game into the right difficulty level and challenge level and fun level for everybody and what it allows you to do. Mm. Um, so I've put... Let me check how many hours I have in it. I think I have... Like 270 or something. Yeah, I, probably, I think I have like 270. Um, uh, 292 hours in that game. Nice. And I really, really enjoy it. Definitely would recommend everybody. Oh, I would absolutely. recommend everyone it's... don't play through vanilla. Divine War. Even your first playthrough. Divine War mod. What's that change? It really does make the game better. What does that change? Like. It short. changes how a lot of it changes like the the stats and attributes and how they work and it hmm. rebalances them in a way that I think is a, just a little bit better from a gameplay perspective. Um, so one of the changes that's very polarizing is the like the the magic and physical armor. Yes, uh, which means that if you have a combined party of you know a, a mage, an archer, a warrior, and is you know, a thief right then mm. your your mage is going to be doing magical damage which will not weaken the same armor as the physical attacks everybody else yeah. does and so instead of having a varied party member and incur a party it, it encourages you to have all of the same type okay which just isn't really fun uh mm. so instead it uses a willpower system in order to get inhibiting conditions on people Oh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, 
Yeah, like you have to you have to wear down a, a character's willpower, and then you can stun them or freeze them. You could you know do crowd control stuff on them, and willpower is influenced by one of your stats, so you can mm. give yourself more willpower. It's interesting because I'll, I'll probably go to play through them again on stream when I played uh, all the way through with my friendo. Because there's a lot of story stuff that just that's just really interesting. I really like the the story elements. I think it's pretty decently written. The story is pretty good. I don't yeah. like the ending. I or I, do, uh, I, I, mean, I it, hey, it pains me to kind of say it, but I don't think they worked on the ending hard enough. Okay. Because uh, um, there's a lot of different kinds of endings that you need, and if you don't like my, uh, I played as the Red Prince my first time through, uh, and he just doesn't have a really good ending for for like what his character is supposed to be yeah I actually and made a what he cares about you because... get kind of shoehorned into being the thing okay because i uh i was like i wasn't even aware that like people have different stories i was like oh just make my own character just customize it completely and oh really yeah like, if you oh there's like nothing i'm doing with my character right now like there's no story for me i'm just there it's like oh. that's another flaw yeah if you want to create a custom character you don't get a personal story component which means you're just flat out missing out on content yeah um they need to make it to where you can either customize a story character or you need to come up with some other system that will allow you to not miss out on the content from stories and yep. also allow you to make a character of your own. Or it's, if... It's yeah. like in, a in the beginning, it's like, oh yeah, my character, that's cool, I can do that. And then I realized, like, oh, my friend who gets like all these cool story elements and my... Because I have uh, the reference as my second character that I use. It's like, oh, he gets all the story, and he gets all the stories, and I'm just like, oh, I don't get anything. I'm just, I'm just here to deal magic damage, basically. <laughs> yeah, your your main story becomes just what the story of the game is, but mm. then you lose out on the personal story. You're you're just losing out on content if you don't have all four of your party members be um, characters who, you know, who who are pre-made. And yeah. also, if you really like the pre-made characters, the story is set up to where it's not like a huge spoiler, really. But the people who you don't choose to have your party members, they just, like, flat out die. Yeah, I think they're, they're around in Fort Joy in the beginning, and then you don't, I haven't seen any of them again, I think. I... Yeah, they're they they just they flat out die. If they're not in your party, all of the other characters they okay. die. They're just like they just get bad endings, oh, which okay. only That's... which doesn't matter. Well, it's like these characters are real characters yeah. in the sense that you know of them. So even if you don't want you know Losa in your party, you still, mm -hmm. especially if you're familiar with the game, she's still a character and she has a backstory and you're aware of her backstory. So you feel really shitty about the fact that if she's not in your party, she just has a bad ending in the world. And that sucks. Yeah, that's so stupid. they I think they screwed up on that aspect. Yeah. And yeah, as for magic systems, I don't think I've I can't think of one. Like I've just been thinking about it and it's like I don't know that what there's one where I'm like, oh yeah, that's just a magic system I love. I like well, it. I, a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna say flat out, I don't really care too much for the like the tabletop role playing magic system that you normally have, where you get a certain amount of spells per day. I don't really care for that. I don't like that. Um, it legitimately sort of prevents me from playing a mage character because you have to like if you don't spend all your you're you're hesitant to use spells. Because you might need them later, mm. and so, but because you they reset at the end of the day and stuff like that. Um, it's I don't that, that's why I like timers instead of like like a flat set of mana that doesn't recharge or you get it very very rarely that kind of thing. Uh, I know in the there's a D and D online game who kind of does that, and I just don't like it. It, I, don't, I don't like games that make it to where you're really stingy with your stuff. Like, you have all these powers, but you gotta really be sparing with how they're used. And I'm like, that's not all that fun, is it? 
Yeah, I can't think of one. I just, mm. I just use it as it's around, I guess. I don't know. Um, Refap 100, could you say... Um, I, can't, I can't see where this quote starts. Oh, in the beginning of the episode, can you say, Long live Halloweeners? Halloweeners? <laughs> Wieners. Uh, Long oh. live... <laughs> like... <laughs> You have to beep. That's the that's the way it works. You have to beep after saying it. Uh, <laughs> long live Halloweeners, forever and ever. Also, when is your civil war breakdown? Because I need it really badly. No, no, no date planned. I'm afraid. But uh, bitch. Hey man, <laughs> I'm looking forward to making it. It's gonna be fun. You know, we've got other things to make too. Where's your snakes on a plane two video? Hmm. I really want this snakes. They made a snakes on a plane too. I'm not surprised, really. I was about to say, surely they did. I would expect them to. I'm gonna check. I just haven't heard of it. It speaks to its incredible quality. <laughs> no, apparently there isn't one. Oh, you'd think they'd made a B movie thing, you know? They made a B movie. I got it. The real life. There's a video of a Bees real life. Hive is what it was called. I got it. I, I followed that. Bees in the Hive? He's saying they made a bee movie, which is that movie that had... Wasn't Seinfeld in it or something? Who's the voice in that? I forget. If you know where to look, if you know where to look on YouTube, you could see Jerry Seinfeld naked. Good. Y yay? Cool. Is no. the stuff you learn on EFAP. I like the magic system in Skullduggery Pleasant. Is it better than the magic system in Skullduggery Unpleasant? Someone said that's the purpose of cantrips. No, cantrips are kind of, like, lame. Like, they, they're they very low-power kinds of spells and stuff. They're, it's not nearly the same as, like, the right proper spells. Like, I get why the system's made that way. Because, you know, you need a, a DM and... It's a tabletop sort of thing, but that doesn't mean. I just, I don't really care for it. Uh, Last of Us? More like the Last of Drunkman. Got him. Last of Drunkman. Uh, isn't that the name of the... the, the oh, Druckman. Guy? But it says Drunkman. Maybe that was the May May. Why, why does he have to be drunk? What? What, what are you saying? What's the suggestion there? What the fuck? Oh, so he can't can be drunk now, okay. No. Drunk. I'm He's refusing... Drunk. Is, is stuck? Yeah, I'll shut you up. Would you give <laughs> Stuckman the big drunk? <laughs> you get me. How many of these things do I have now? Too many. Okay. Uh, you would... Uh, they TLJ'd The Last of Us. That's what I've heard. That's the easy comparison. Ghostbusters was great. What do you guys even mean? Um, I did. Did I put 2016 in the title? I did. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wouldn't want to give the wrong impression. Um, weekend. I like your retweets. She is best girl. I, I, I'm sure he would agree. That's probably anime titty stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what it should be, you know? If it's about weekend, yes. Absolutely. Hey guys, I was wondering, and then it has, like, thinking face, time, and what looks like a vampire? I, I can't tell. What do you think it's that's confusing, what, I hate it. What do you think it means? Me. Some kind of code. Um, this EFAP MIA2 Abrams dubbed Uwu Bulge Nuzzler. Patiently waits to ambush any pafe armored column that might foolishly enter its kill zone. The crew, being servants of the long man, can wait for extended periods of time. All very informative. It's a nature program. They all live in this one habitat. Seems kind of contrived to me. Aborted? I think it's a plot hole, or <gasps> that it's not a plot hole at all. It's just boring to watch. Similarly oh. to watching Creamy Sheev have creamy tism time. Yeah. Totally natural, don't judge him. Come on, Pikmans. They beat up innocent flowers. Feels bad, man. Um 
Have you seen any of uh, Star Wars or Game of Thrones? They both get better over time. Remember, if you don't like where it ended, it's George's fault. <laughs> we, we, we covered more than just like the Star one or Wars two people. Star Wars better over time? Yeah, <laughs> well they said that in Game of Thrones, so... Oh, I no, think they're no. memeing. Maybe that's like an ironic comment. Oh, maybe. Um, I was finishing the super chats of ninety, then saw this go live. Decided to jump in. Hi, Rags, Jay Longbone, Hello, uh, Weekend Warrior, and Metal. Hello. Also, mutually. Hello. Damn. Oh, it's sorry, you. Jay. It's you. That is Fine, you. man. It's, it's kind of fucked up. I will say no hello to Jay. Oh, I think it's okay. <gasps> He'll live. I think it's hot. <laughs> How am I supposed to get the Pikmans across this area? They're just gonna fall into the water and fucking die. Nice, let them die. I mean, no, no. no. Yep, a whole bunch died. Well, what can you do? <laughs> no, well, what can you do? <laughs> Go, Pikmans! I am doing. Oh, this actually is hitting them to some degree. See, this is what we call just throwing all your shit at the wall. I'm just throwing and throwing, hoping for the best. Um. Do, do, do. Crazy how every garbage film show game spawns a slew of videos claiming that it's good, actually. Huh? We don't need reviewers, just see if there are people claiming it's secretly brilliant. Oh, I mean, yeah, like, with Renegade cut out there, I don't think we need reviewers at all. You can just tell us if it was secretly brilliant. Imagine being so secretly brilliant that everybody hates it. Not even one person is in on the secret. <laughs> hey man, Renegade Cut was. <laughs> Boss is weird. Ooh, you're weird. They're like, you gotta go for the eyes. It's kind of. Do, do you guys think that's fucked up? I, I don't know. What is this game teaching us? Disable your enemies. Eyes bad. Disable your foes. Quickly. Um, this one just has concerned face. I don't... Mm. I'm not 100% sure of what was happening at that point, but that could be applicable for many points. Yes. Lol, y'all are silly wankers. Rags is a half-massive and Mauler is just a long man to try and look smart. Y'all are wankers, therefore I am profound. Oh, I think that's something I said in the last stream we did. Therefore I am profound sounds familiar. Yeah, that was from an EFAP thingy we covered. It's true. Little wankers. A little it's clown like a boy. Up, it's like a fucked up kids show. Did I win? Therefore I am profound. It's like, it's how it ended or something like that. Are there any more bosses to admit? Oh, there's another one. Ah! Oh, they're even killing Olimar now. The Chad. Hey, so I'm just going to recommend this amazing game once and move on, or take it or leave it. Remnant from the Ashes, a dungeon crawler looter shooter. Basically Dark Souls with guns, but far better. Oh, remember I bought that so we can play it together and never played it together. We played it together, you just I've don't remember. I've heard it's pretty good. It was fun. I played it on stream, actually. I completed it twice, I think. It was it was a good, like, time spendy game for a while. Yeah, it was, was alright. Dressed in your nerd shit. Shut the fuck I'm up, I'm not a Jay. nerd. All the time. Hey, trash. Did you just say ape trash? Is it is it because I used to be of an ape in my potential <laughs> genealogy that you would say such a thing? Yes. Fucked up. Sounds about um, right. Um Heath Ledger in the streets, Arthur Fleck in the sheets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it. Ooh, a ship part. How oh, wonderful. Alright, lads, pick up all your tisms. Ooh, I it's found a Geiger them. counter. Um, Alright, I'm gonna need some more Pikmans. Oh lol, they won't fucking kill themselves if they have to carry something across here, that's better. Fucked uh, up what it would have picked Whammons. What can I say? I hate Whammons. Oh, dab. Dab, 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 dab. Also, I'm dying, that's sad. Which way is my home? Oh, there we go. Um, fun fact, given the size of Mauler's army, he is more most powerful man in Wales. With his army, he will conquer the Isle of Man, three-legged Kick J. It's good nice. that they specified that. 
Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'll take 50. Uh, what do you expect from Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie? Uh, I don't, I don't know. know what to expect. Making one of those? I it could be good so. or it could be bad. Like, I have no idea. Consider, What's the second Remember, he was behind a lot of the Tism in Mandalorian, as far as we know, so... That confirmed. Can, can just have care, everyone, okay? Don't get too excited too quickly. Hopefully is it'll be it funny. Confirmed. What is confirmed? Film. The film, alright, well... Is, yeah, it, is, it, is it, like, not a trilogy, I guess? Not that everything has to be a trilogy, I'm just curious. Well, they said they weren't going to do trilogies anymore. I don't know if that's true anymore. Yay. <laughs> um, but yeah, cautiously optimistic. Don't watch Hardcore Henry, watch Shoot 'em Up instead. The hero literally kills bad guys using carrots. Or maybe watch both as a double feature. I've seen Shoot 'em Up. Pretty sure I've I made Mel watch movies. it. No, I've seen Shoot 'em Up before I met you. Boo. Nobody saw boo? movies before they met me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, shoot 'em up's fun. I I, yeah, I like it. I, re I like it. I never miss a shot. It's an insane movie. I like it when all the henchmen are getting killed, and Paul Giamatti is like, uh, "Are we really that bad, or is he really that good?" <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> uh, what do you expect? Oh wait, uh. Had a gallbladder removal on Monday. Thanks for being here during my recovery. Damn. Can you keep it if you want to? So, what does a gallbladder do? Anyone? I anyone don't know. know? <laughs> well, it's like an old, well, but for galls. It's like it's what the knights of Rome have instead of the bladder. Oh, I no. thought it's what the Romans wanted to pillage from ancient France. That makes some sense. I, I'm still a little bit confused, but I think that's enough for me to understand. Oh, I made a dum dum. Wait, what was that noise? That was Jay doing noises. Jay, you're right. Don't die. Uh. <laughs> um. Where were we? What the fuck is this shit? But yeah, uh, you know. Hopefully you were able to remain entertained while you had a gallbladder removal. I hope that's not too that serious. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> it's near your bladder, I assume. I used science to figure that out, by the way. Nice job, Dudenheim. I'm not your Dudenheim. Sure! Dudenheim. You can dude my heim any day of the week. I'm gonna run out of time because I can't get enough people here fast enough. Fucking Pikmin suck. <gasps> I know, I shouldn't say that. They're an innocent people. You're gonna riot and burn down your spaceship. Oh my god. <laughs> She'll join you bastards! Alright, all Pikmin have been spent. Hopefully they can get home in time. They probably won't. Alcatizms. Alco Palco. Source set! Um... You should watch the Battlestar Galactica 2003 miniseries for EFAP movies to wash the taste of Batwoman out with something good. Possibility. No, no bad taste with Batwoman. Batwoman. Bum, 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 Batwoman's bum, bum, amazing. Bum, bum. You just hate women. Yeah. I was actually going to suggest that, yeah. Have you ever thought you hate women? I don't know. Not saying it's a definite, but... With, we with... talking bigots, but what about the smallets and the mediumets? What about the spigots? Oh, the midgets. Then that doesn't work. It's stupid. Midgets. Uh, update on diabetes. <laughs> I don't know. We're not friends with him. Thank God. Wait, you mean diabeto? I'm okay with diabetes. No, I think they're talking about Wilfred Brimley. They want an update. To see if he's brackets alive in brackets. Yeah, that's why I, I said think... alive. No. Diabeto is the one you're thinking of, Mel. Diabetes is his mentor. Uh, who uh, isn't uh, as evil, we discover, in the last few episodes of the season. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry he's, about that. You, you think he's evil, right? I the don't name, think ever you know that. Turns out, not as evil as you might have been mistaken. Also, evil. good god, I'm gonna run out of time. Where's the part, you useless monsters? The four sequels are bad. Name one sequel that was good. 
that that one. They told you. Uh. I agree. Alien Covenant. All right, fine, you win. I didn't think you could do it, but you did. High five, five, man. Um, Good job. Proud. It seems my Streamlabs messages got lost, so Rags and Mauler, marry, yif, kill, made Marion Crystal or Captain Amelia. Didn't you answer that? We answered that. Yeah, yeah that it's, it's one in, was answered. That's in the that Pikmin stream. Answered. Catch up number eight. That was answered, but yep. do you want to give it the answer again answered. in case they <laughs> don't go check? I forget what your answer was, but... <laughs> oh. You. <laughs> nice. Thanks, man. I got a Geiger counter in my ship. You guys jealous? A little bit. All right. Do you have to worry about the pick rate, pick the Pikmin rate? I don't think you can make a pun out of that radiation. Pick radiation. Pikmin land. Yeah, something. Um. So yeah, Rags. What was your choice out of Mary Kill, Yif, Maid Mary, and Crystal was... and Captain Amelia? I think it was Kill Amelia, Mary, uh, Crystal, fuck Marion. Yeah. Um, a lot of those sound like troll videos that Remarkable Republican would have made, but I'm sure Renegade made them seriously. This is gonna be bad. It was a special kind of bad. He really didn't say anything. Special. He just kept saying it's for fuck. He was, it's kids. It's for kids. Damn it! You're like, all right, okay. okay it was buddy. marketed for kids. Like, was it though? Or oh, what it? Man, I need more Pikmans of every color. Oh shit. Um. Since it's Pride Month, look up the Gay Bomb. It's a hypothetical, non-lethal chemical weapon proposed by the U.S. Air Force in the 90s. The idea was to use female sex hormones to turn male soldiers homosexual and extremely horny. <laughs> Pretty good. <funny. laughs> I like that the idea be... that they're like, no, don't drop that on us. No, that'll ruin everything. Don't do that. Oh, start fucking now. <laughs> <laughs> an orgy in the open. Nothing can be done. Um, before Last Jedi, Ghostbusters 2016 was the worst movie I'd ever seen. Yes, yeah, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Which is worse? If we're talking totally... I mean, which one would you rather watch again? Ooh. Uh, from What was the selection? Sorry. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters 2016 or The Last Jedi? Which would you oh. rather watch again? Which one is shorter? Ghostbusters. <laughs> well, I guess that's. The I think one I'd then. go with Ghostbusters. Really, is shorter. Yeah, especially if we're not doing the ex extended one. Yeah, then let's do Ghostbusters. Even if Ghostbusters was the longer one, I don't know if I'd want to see what they do to Luke again. And I just don't want to. Hopefully, we can I, just hey, talk think... through most of whatever it is anyway. Yeah, Disney Star Wars has so much baggage on what it destroys. As people have pointed out, there is an element of like, which is more fun to make fun of, and it's like, hmm. Mm, I would say Ghostbusters is more fun to make fun of. TLJ makes me frustrated because it all eventually comes back to they ruined just beloved things. They certainly did to more of a degree than Ghostbusters did. Um, alright, blue it is. Uh, do your best video essay voice. So, <laughs> the training for that is, you gotta do random pauses. You gotta sound like you're hurt. Like you've, you're you on yeah. the floor it and you're... It can't be a voice you actually use. A voice you would never yeah, use. Yeah, don't use your actual voice. That's w. where you fail. Don't do that. No, 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 no. You have to play like a character. You have to be like a kitten on the floor, just struggling to stay alive. And that is why... <laughs> a kitten with leukemia on the oh, no. carpet of the living room as a toddler walks on you. So sad. <laughs> That's the point. It's a real sad sort of thing. It's just, oh my god, how did this happen? How did and, it um, die? And channel that into sort of like how it's going to... Like, you're going to be talking about how the thing is so... It's just so fucking deep and sad. You use that, like, whatever you talk, even if it's, like, the happiest movie ever. It would be like, oh my god, this is so fucking sad. Uh, it's gonna be confusing, of course, because a lot of people won't...
exactly know why you're saying that, but it'll become clear in the tone that you are correct. In the tone, old. And then, of course, you have the, um... I guess uh, some of this is editing, some of this is the voice. But, uh... I, I don't know if it works for all accents. You might need a fake an accent. Uh, like... Mm. Y y the Canadian slash, um... American, like, Californian accent is the most common one I've come across. Maybe that's just because it's a common accent in general, but... Oh boy. That seems to be the very common one. Apparently you can hold your nose and uh, get away with a video essay accent. There's <laughs> lots of ways to do it. I wouldn't want to limit someone by saying there's just the one. I am going to go to bed now. See? You guys are convinced that that's actually what he's going to do. Very nice. I hope you have a very good sleep. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank you. You can sleep Good now. Up. And... Do you want to plug your chornal? Oh, wait, I guess you did already. <laughs> hmm. uh, it's... Yeah, it's Once a, you it's walk in. I made a cursed video about snakes on a plane. Go watch it. A cursed video. It's true. All right. Good Goodbye, Jay. Have a good one. I need to scroll the list of my patrons. Well, moving on, I recently replayed Bioshock Infinite, and I remember that both you and Rags have some serious gripes with the game. What are they exactly? Long live Tonald, and may the spiders keep you. Exactly? How many hours do you have? So, uh, I, I know this sounds like a cop-out, but Matthew Matosis nails it. His, his video is like 40 minutes, he goes through a lot of points, and he'll go through it better than Rags and I probably could, because he's just come off playing the game, and he's got loads of footage to back him up. But, um, main issues were how it fucks with Bioshock. Uh, how incredibly simplistic and monotonous the shooting and just gameplay in general was. Mm -hmm. Infinite? No yeah, the story yeah, yeah, making yeah. no fucking sense at all by the time you get to, like, the mid-game to the end. Um, the game clearly thinks a lot of itself. I know that sounds like a very odd thing to say, but it's true. <laughs> yeah, the... Everything that was good about Bioshock, they just took out. I mean, I guess... It was a neat looking world, but they took out all the aspects of exploration that made Rapture really feel amazing. Dang. Like, they really did just dumb the fuck down that series for Bioshock Infinite. It was real, it really was made for like the lowest common denominator Call of Duty player. And it's weird as well because, was um. Simplified. They really do end it with implying like this. There's just this potential for like a million different games, but it's just like that's the last one. It's like oh, oh yeah. Establish the whole world of lighthouses, man, girl thing. And yeah, it um, actually kind of makes it suck if there was more games because you'd know that there's an infinite amount of multiverses and that it. it you have to really... it, it, it does Shit. make what you do seem very insignificant. Almost meaningless. <sighs> Again though, more specifics, more detail, Matthew Matosis' video. He's, uh, he goes through a lot of it. And I remember, I think I've said this before, but his take on it made it so that I didn't really want to cover it myself. I was like, no need. Yeah, I would have to play it again for specific things because it's been a, a, a couple of years <laughs> since I've played it's it. It's sure to play through. It's the most simplistic, dull shooting I think you could ever have in a video game. Like, it is so, so dull. Agreed. Pretty key. Also, yeah, Elizabeth's character makes no sense. Um... You guys should totally do the EFAP game jam chase mentioned. Itch.io has a pretty simple way to host game jams. I'm not against that idea. Sounds like it could be cool. Okay, uh, cool, oh, interesting. Oh, game jam? What was that? It's like jelly. It's like getting a bunch of people um, a sort of set of little things that they have to have and then they have to make a game over a certain amount of time. Oh, uh, ah. Uh, okay, game yeah, jam. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, okay, now that you mention it. And get some good games to come out of a game jam sometimes. It's pretty cool. But yes, maybe one day. Uh, Reddit Chekhov's Antlers. The best cut is in half with a chainsaw. Mm. Alright. Um, 
After a few days of PAF soy tank column is driving by EFAP tank's position. The commander orders and uh, what is that? Aphaseth seed BC. It's just a big long word. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. Could be an anagram. She'll be loaded and for the gunner to aim for the lead tank. Which starts for armor piercing, high explosive, fin stabilizing, discarding say say bot. High explosive anti high explosive cap ballistic cap. This is a real thing, and someone thought it was necessary. <laughs> oh that's what that abbreviates to? An A P H E F S D S H E A T H E C B C. That's a real thing. Well, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say I, I find that hard to believe, but sure. Hello, Morley, Ragu, et al. Hello. Et al, al. et al means and the rest. Ah, uh, okay. And all others. <laughs> I was like, Al's not here. True. Um, I watched Space Force, and you guys totally should watch it. I love your opinions, at least. One of the jokes is Steve Carell is dancing. Love you all. Oh. All right. <laughs> uh, I've seen the. I saw the trailer for Space Force, and I saw it like two days before. Um, oh fuck! All these dudes are gonna get killed. Great. You'll suck. Just FYI. I don't want to fight the frog. Of course Turning they frogs gay. It's like, yeah, good job. You drink the honey as he murders you. Excellent. Huh. You see, I'm as, no I'm as annoyed as metal. Why does this character has a whip as a weapon? It's fucking shit. Whips are still shit, even in does mod. <laughs> what is this giant flumbus? Flumbus? Ew, what are you fighting? I don't know. It Maybe the fish got lost in the air. As fish do. Yeah. That would be the place for fish to get lost, but you'd think they'd fall back down into the water. No, 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 no. Gravity doesn't like, always if I got lost work in the way the air, I would just find myself on the ground again. <laughs> Let's find out if I can even kill this thing. Oh, things are going well so far. So far. Uh oh. Move! Oh shit. Stupid Pikmin! Right. Okay, um. But yeah, I, was, I saw the trailer for it, uh, and it has. I forget his name. Um. The guy. The old guy who died who isn't Bilbo. Why am I. Uh, my brain just oh, you're going... talking about Christopher Lee? No, um, the one who was in Anchorman, the one who's in Wally. -E. Chat, help me out. Oh, are you talking about um, John Goodman? Oh my lord! No, I don't even know if he's dead. Um, it wasn't well for Brimley, but he's alive though. So that's good. John Malkovich, no. I know somebody. Fred Willard, that was uh, it. Fred Willard died, and I was like, no. And it was just after I saw him in the trailer, and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. He died pretty recently, like last month. And I was surprised, so I was just like, oh, he's super old, but he's still do he's still going cool. And it was like, he's dead now. And I was like, oh fucking. Oh man. Bullshit. That's life. Uh, have you ever seen Old Boy, the 2003 Korean version, not the 2013 American remake? If so, what is your take on it? One of my all-time favorite I movies. I watched it last good year, shit. I think. Yeah, it's pretty good. I really love that fight scene where they do like a. I think everyone uh, does. Like this, this uh, I don't know, almost two D fight scene, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. know how to describe it properly, but everyone probably knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, and they tried to recreate it in the new film, and it was horrible. I didn't even know there was a new film. It's the worst. Everyone hates it. It needs to good. be perished. Oh no. Oh, actually, that's a point. Everyone go watch YMS's video on that if you want to, like, you know, find out why it's terrible. Yeah. After he watches Kimbo one. Mm-hmm. Watch them all. All right. Hashtag release the Feige cut. No. 
Oh Nobody wants God. to what? see if that. Had... Man, if that guy had total, pure, unmitigated creative freedom, I am just... Imagine what we uh, What would he do? When they say producers ruin everything, it's like... I feel like they probably made that better. Aw, oh, shh. Mauler, BVS Ultimate Edition is loved by many. It's also not liked by many. <laughs> um, but I'm sh I've heard from many that it is very much superior to th the theatrical vision. Maybe um maybe EFAP will have a DCEU arc. You could do that once the prequel arc is done. I have so little health. This is infuriating, and I'm drunk. <laughs> um, Ragnarok is good. Chat just doesn't know what it's saying. Civil War is good too. <laughs> High five, man! High five. This guy knows what's up. Uh, I have family business to attend to, but I will still tell you Dumbo's to watch Hardcore Henry. If you refuse, Wilford's alive status might change. Oh my god. I already seen the movie, though. Stop telling me to watch it again. I think he might be, he might be talking to us. What do you think, Rags? This whole no. time, the guy saying watch Hardcore Henry, was he talking to us? No, I thought he was talking to Jay. Oh, Jay they, hasn't, right. You know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Phew. For a second there. Lucky you, man. I know. Would have been super awkward. Super awkward. Super awkward. Super awkward. Super awkward. Let's go kill... Uh, I can't kill the giant flumpus. Maybe it's when it sucks. That's when I'm supposed to... Oh my goodness! This is a dangerous oh world for my little Pikmin. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. Bam a lamb. Whoa, black buddy, mamma lamb, whoa, black buddy, mamma lamb. Black buddy had a baby. Mm. It was black child, not baby. You had a baby and I the, ate it. You leave yeah. the baby alone. Baby? baby? Ate it like Ghostbusters, because it was made just for that baby. <laughs> My Ghostbusters dog. was made for black babies everywhere. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> black baby. Mamma lamb, whoa, black baby. Come along now, Pikmin, take his corpse. Move it away. Oi, all of you, come back. You bastard. No, stop it. Kill him. Salt his corpse. I love it when they do that. Um. Wah. Hi, Wags. Hello. Hello, Rags. Alive. Mauler. Alive. Metal. Alive. Ma Ewok. JLB. Alive. And Weekend Warrior. Alive. With no mouth. I have some more room to type, and I don't. <laughs> well, fair enough. Hello. I worked on the construction department for Ghostbusters 2016. The stories I could tell about the dumpster fire that was that production. Staggering. Let me know if you want me to call in. That sounds um, pretty funny. That, that could be interesting. If you want to if you want to type something out, at least, I'd, I'd kind of be curious if you're legit. Was, yeah, you know, if at, you were part at of us it. in the Discord with one of your many stories, sir. I shall be curious to see what's, what such things took place. Take the corpse. Take it back to the mothership. Oh no. We need to know why it decided to attack. I mean, yeah, we probably attacked first. No. Uh, oh. There's thing here, I guess. Uh, why couldn't they keep Sauron away from the giraffes? Because he was quite the necromancer. Hmm. I mean... Stop throwing your soup at me! Why did it have to be Sauron for that joke to work? You know? No? No, no go I got away. Oh. And it all very oh strange. God, so many. Um. Oh right, I gotta deposit more Pikmin. Whoops. Oh, no. Stupid fish thing is trying to kill my Pikmin. What just happened? Help! Dude, how can the fish thing can be at my house? That seems fucked up. I guess it, oh, it does kill them. No, it doesn't. Oh, no, what's going on? Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Yes, hey, ma'am. Don't get lost. Oh, he will. And he's lost. God damn. Stop blowing. Oh my god, there's so many Pikmin around that don't have a dad. 
Do they have a dab though? Can Probably. they dab on people? Wow, black body. Gather the Pikmin! Alright, now just run away from the big old spooky thing. Actually, wait. Grab the thing. Kick, 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 grab it. Ow, yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Longman, do you have a long lady in your life? If not, I know some good websites where you can get one on the cheap. <laughs> How cheap? Are they... I have 15 euros in my, in my pocket right now. If you're talking about longladies.org, I'm already all over it. <gasps> wow, you never told me about that one. No, I don't tell anyone about it. I'm the only customer. <laughs> we lost quite a few Pikmin there. Oh, they all got fucking nibbled on. Oof. Don't get nibbled on. Um... Do I boke the Matrix 396 equals love? I don't get it! No, I don't get that one either. Uh, do you think Unka Plut's wife left him because she was an Unka slut? <laughs> <laughs> well, then he left her because of that, okay? Unka is a Chad. Also, what is your favorite Lego set? <laughs> I mean, uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I had a favorite Lego set. I liked a lot of them. I think I ended and up preferring I Hot Wheels mostly to Lego, actually. I, I always had, like, a huge box with like random Legos and just build shit. Was a good time. Hell yeah. Do uh and high rags, uwu male, read the jar jar lines. No. Jar jar. I also helped work with the special effects department on Ecto one. Well, we had three of them and the Ecto bike. They gave me five hundred dollars to prop it out. <laughs> the Ecto bike? Oh, right, they had a bike in that film. When you say prop it out... <laughs> you mean, like, just put stuff on it that makes it look ghostbustery? Is that... Is that what you mean? Uh, yeah, I, you know, I feel sorry for anybody who had to work on that, honestly. Uh, it's a sin that they, they made anyone do it. Um, as soon as they introduced the cast members, I was like, nah, I'm out. Screw these nostalgia grabs. I mean, was it even a nostalgia grab at that point? They just seemed to want to hurt people's feelings. Yeah. Oh my god, you can take down the fish thing. No, don't I do thought, it. I thought they were all bouncing off him, but it turns out they're not. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Attack him! Oh, he fell, and he's dead. La, 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 oh, and he la. turns into a tiny little nothing. Oh shit, he dropped loads of stuff, cool. Quick, harvest his bones! Did he drop something gay? Just lots of juice. Cougar yeah. juice. Mm. You say no? No, I said mm -mm. Oh, did Rag say no? No, Rag's not here. Oh, I thought I heard someone say no, and I was like, why would you say no to cougar juice? You're going insane, Mulenheim. I think you it's just... Stop. I just... I'm just concerned someone might say no to cougar juice. Why would no. you do that? No. No. I would never. Um... Oh god, I got a big family of Pikmin right now. Do 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 do. Um... Harley Quinn was at her best in the animated series. It's been downhill since then. Changed my mind. I wouldn't want to change your mind, because you may very well be right. I, um, I don't actually know much about Harley Quinn, honestly. But, um, I would be concerned for anybody who feels she's being destroyed by whatever of, of many iterations of everything that they're doing for DC. Uh, Evening Massives. Ghostbusters 2 is better than Bridesmaids 2, the Ghost Catchers. Also, Ghostbusters 2, Nostalgia Critic Review, when? Also, Hi Ragu. Um, anyway. Ghostbusters 2 for Nostalgia Critic. I I, I guess we, 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 we could check it out, give it a little test. So need to sort of just go through with, with, with the community what a good Nostalgia Critic video is to cover, because I feel like there's probably a lot of them. Gotta get that right one. You know, the Van Helsing one, that's always a possibility. Come on, Pikmans. Try is it all. Specialism? Well, it just gives us a reason to watch Van Helsing and talk about it. <laughs> Uh, Not necessarily that, because it's beard. 
Warren Horrells, Warren. I'm down, you bastard. All of you, kill him. Oh, I love it. Dang it. What now? What now? You know you complain a lot for someone who's enjoying Dark Souls? Huh? You, you heard me. No, actually, I actually did. Did I fucking <laughs> stutter? No, I just don't, didn't hear you. Oh. I think I did stutter. Shut up, stop stuttering. It's annoying. Yeah. How do I get up there? What is the point of me doing this? I don't think I ever learned what, what this even is. I can't hit you. Eh. It's the large gear. Eh. Um, alright, you lads, you open up this bridge for, for the other Pikmin. I'll go collect some yellows to open up another thing. I'm using teamwork. Teamwork. Look at that dude right there, he's not doing anything. What's that about? Come on. Get in Come there, you in. bastard. Um, mm -hmm. Watch the movie first, then come back to me. That's like if someone told me, don't knock it before you try it, when referring to jumping off a bridge. Look. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2016 yeah. could have been fantastic, and he was saying, you know, give it a fair chance, and that is fair. Yeah, which is what we did. We watched it, and it was I, shit. Yeah, I watched Against it twice. Against our better judgment. You watched it twice? Oh my goodness. It was playing on both two two monitors of yours on yep. one? Yeah, I was making sure I get all the things. Metal's weird like that. Your metal. Kill Dude, him. don't offend me like that. Can't tap on the pitch. If you were to dab me, leave me no choice but to dab you. Oh, I gotta build two bridges? What's that about? Ooh. All right, well. Tap and dab. It's like. Rags, down. hit me with a Babu Frick. Hey. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Is there a fucking red dude up there? Whoa, racist. Wow, Jesus Christ. You can't talk about Tonto like that. Look, it was an accident, I'll never say it again. Maybe. So wait next turn for that too. So much turn waiting. Come yum. Ba -da -ba -cum -yum. Um and Muesli, hit me with a does it hurt? <laughs> does it hurt? The only good thing to come out of the ST are those two things. Well that, it's not bad. Of all the things you can I'm gonna ask Google if it hurts in German. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Or> nine. Oh, <laughs> nine. Um, please update us on Tonald for EFAP 100. Nothing yet. Uh, no, no concretisms. But, um, you know, a man can hope. A man can dream. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Demonheim. I, it will be disappointing to not have him for E five one hundred, but uh, there's a good chance it's not going to happen. So let's 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 keep our expectations in check, everybody. I don't want to be disappointing everybody under the assumption that it was possible. He's a very he's a very elusive man, Mister Tonalius. See, just the thought of him makes metal come. Come yum. Yum. Ba 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 ba. Come yum. Yeah, I'm coming, yum. Don't know what's worse, the writing for this trash or the fact that the director and cast were proud of this terrible movie. I'm gonna uh, peep, you're okay. Both of those things are pretty bad, I will give you that. But, have you considered... No, I got nothing. What the hell am I supposed to do about all this? I can't climb shit. I guess I could get up there. Alright, let's do... Oh, why is there bad people everywhere? Wait. Go on, eat your juices. The gunner of Uwu bulgeness that takes aim and fires the shell zooming through the air, ripping into lead soy tank side armor, and directly into the ammo storage. The pave tank is quite literally vaporized in the explosion. Oh, I actually watched um last last catch up. I think Greg was recommending um, a video talking about how Fury is inaccurate. I actually watched it. It was like an eight minute video. It was pretty cool. But, um, relatively quick, but, uh, fair points. Fair points. Well, I guess I throw you guys... Where do I throw you guys? You throw them away in the garbage. With the I rest wanna, of the aliens. I don't want to do that. 
you will be safe here. Like Newt Gunray was safe on Mustafa. <laughs> that means he wasn't. Fifty years have passed, but I do not age. Time has lost its effect on me, yet EFAP 100 still continues. Mauler's grasp... Mauler's grasp chokes the past. Present and future. Hope is lost. Gotta get back. Back to the past. Movie Bob. Hi, Raggledore. Hello. Why is... Why is it so in proximity close to talking to Movie Bob? I don't think Raggledore would want that. Nope. I don't want any door near me while I'm... ...plooping. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna need my yellowman to get up there. Alright, fine. Blues. We got a hello. Who settled to go away? Oh, no. Oh, man. Stop that. Oh my god, so many of my fucking Pikmin are retarded. Oh, no. That's I know that's so not new, but yeah. still. All of you, climb. Climb. Uh, someone literally argued that Batwoman letting Alice go free was okay because it was the same thing that Luke did for Vader. Please eviscerate this. So, which, which instance of it was okay? Like the first, the second, the, the eighth? <laughs> so first of all, Vader died. Luke didn't even get to let him go. He didn't even, yeah, he didn't even have the chance to do that. Uh, Vader would very likely have had to have answered for war crimes if he had made it back to the Republic. Undoubtedly. I fucking doubt that he could turn up on Endor and start dancing with everyone. <laughs> hey, yeah, everybody. Sure so glad that guy's gone. I actually helped. They're like, hmm. I mean... <laughs> he's like the, he's like those glasses on with a nose and a moustache. It's like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally good now. I'm like Alice. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> She's the worst. Um... But yeah, uh, you can't even compare them. So, yeah, that's over. <laughs> good good stuff. Uh, Get wrecked. Alice is quite literally a horrible monster as well. Like, this, At least Vader seemed to, like, you could actually, you know, explain his decisions. Alice is just nuts. <laughs> so, not much luck there. Hello, bigot sandwiches. The Last of Us 2 stream when? Uh, give me two weeks, at the <coughs> least. Two weeks for The Last of Us 2? Until The Last of Us 2. Why, is that horrible? Until the, until the final is released, or until you start? I think I'm going to start them once the final's mostly ready. And uh, just do, you know, because the, the last bit is always the copyright stuff, which is fucking lame, but has to be done. Um, and so, uh, when, when all that's being done, so just re-rendering, re-uploading, re-rendering, re-uploading, uh, I'll probably start playing The Last of Us. Let's see why not. Kind of doing gaming streams every once in a while anyway, right? Yeah, I suppose so. I do that, like, every day. Oh, that's you like video cool. games? I play them, like, uh, once in a while every that's day. That's so cool. I, I think they're pretty cool. I'm actually playing one right now. Oh yeah, what's the name of this video game? Dark Swords. Yeah, I don't believe you. You ever heard of it? Dark Swords. It's like super hard shit. What is... You know? Like, how does it work? Why are the swords dark? What does that mean? I don't know, it's a diversity thing, I think. Oh. Well, that question answered. Sweet. Um... Uh, Alright, lads. It's about the end of the day, I'm afraid. No! No. Stop eating my Pikmin. Get away. What's <laughs> like that? I so. Stop eating my pickles. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you son of a bitch, you're eating my pickles. Those are my pickles, you suck. <laughs> what did you bring me? Are they pickles? What the fuck did you bring me? What did you bring me? What did you bring me? The health bar on Olimar finally makes sense. I can actually hit these things so I can delay them while my Pikmin run away. Go, boys! Go! Um, hello, everybody. Thanks for the streams, for getting me through work, and extra thanks for Jay Longbone and the EFAP crew for suffering through Batwoman so we don't contribute to audience numbers. <laughs> <laughs> or on the way for those, by the way. You need to contribute, though. We need more. 
Yeah, more. I was gonna say, the last thing we need is for the show to end. Like, if they announce tomorrow that they're cancelling Season 2 after, like, lots of difficulties, I would be very sad. Yeah. I would be sad too. We would actually have to just start with Supergirl. Is there any chance of getting anywhere near the Wonders? That level of horrible. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Batwoman. Um... Don't like Game of Thrones Season 8? Well, it's clearly not for you. <laughs> it's for kids. We all do it. Hey, Muesli, and Weekend Metalbone. Oh, hello. Nice one, hi. Um, I noticed Jay is not here. Can we do that more often? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Also, I'm not a fagu, but would love to tap that ragu. Mm, yeah, boy. Rags. Hello. Uh, what a wonderful ending to that wonderful super chat. Thank you very much. Um, I can see her feet. Am I the only one who noticed? Wait, who? Whose feet did we cover today? <laughs> <laughs> Whose feet did we cover? Whose feet? Yeah, I don't That's remember. Good question. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, objectively good or bad? I like it, but I think Ego's retarded. Also, can you read the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise in Dexter's voice? <laughs> <laughs> um, Ego... Ooh, I would have to I would have to think about it and hear out the arguments, but I do think that um Ego could probably have done a better job at surviving toward the final act in that film, I think. But um I remember it being pretty solid, Guardians 2, I could be wrong. Like I said, if I heard some arguments about where the flaws may lie. Um Lindsay Ellis has a different opinion than y'all, but her videos are pretty great. Check out her long Game of Thrones vids in your spare time. I have always felt that she is very hit or miss. Uh, she can make some good stuff, she makes some stuff that confuses the shit out of me. You fools! Licking the gun gives you poison damage. Oh. Hmm, I didn't know that. How could you not know that? You never licked your gun before? <laughs> no. Damn. Go ahead. Uh, can confirm, licking firearms grants a plus one bonus to hit. Ah. Oh. Bet you didn't know that, Rags. Nope, had no clue. This whole time I've been doing it the wrong way. Knew it. Um, I pat Rags' head while he humps my leg. Hi, Rags. Hello. Mola, how long will TFA Part 3 be? Answer with how many Movie Bob challenges could be consumed in the runtime. And hi. Well, so does that mean, is it 90, was it 90 minutes was the limit on the Movie Bob challenge? Yeah, 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 yes. Um, that means... About about two and a half movie bob challenges could be consumed for an average sized person. I guess if they were to consume a small, fairly small meal. Yeah, there you go. Um, Rags, do you like synth wave? Yeah, it could be good. You mentioned it in passing some EFAPs ago, and I was surprised since I feel like no one knows about it. I don't think a lot of people do. Seems to be fairly popular on YouTube. Oh, do you mean like background noise and stuff? Um, I mean, I don't... Video essays? For whatever reason they want to use it. Mm -hmm. But the songs themselves, they can have a lot of views and there's a lot of channels, a lot of people making it. Yes. Um... The explosion causes the trailing soy tank to be flipped upside down, meaning... Meanwhile, another shot from Uwu Bulge Nuzzler deletes the rear tank in another explosion. The remaining pave tank panics. Jesus Christ, how many pave tanks are there? I guess, I guess that makes sense, right? How many, how many videos have we covered? Well, it all follows. There's a lot of tanks out there. They're all very shit, though. Uh, first time chatting superbly. Hi, Rags. Hello. And thanks for super chatting. And this one just says high rags. Oh, hello to you. The Last of Us 2 got a 9 plus out of 10 score critically. Commit self expiration. <laughs> well, maybe you never thought about the fact that it's actually the bestest game all of the ever. Did you think all about that? All of the ever. All of That's the ever. It's like pretty good. I was going to say, a lot of people don't even know how good that is. I do. Damn. 
too jealous. I wish I wouldn't know. Hmm. All right. Split up, lads. Let's get this blown open. Oh. And it's Kadoosh. Forget where I'm supposed to go for the others. Let's look around, shall we? Mm hmm. Um. Ah, to roof this Weetowd. Oh, I think he wants the Ra to take the, the mean Ghostbusters man to the roof. Mola, Kevin? don't play The Last of Us 2, it's way too easy. I got a Joel in one, my first try, and you don't even get to look at real women. Oh my goodness. Not even real women? Oh my god. That's fucked up, man. It's wrong. It's wrong! <laughs> Another fucking barrier. What are the odds? Are you lads? Fucking barrier? Come here, drop them bombs and come on. Come on now. Oh, you didn't even drop your bomb, you little retard. <gasps> You said no, you can say keyboard. it because these things are called retards. Mm. Okay. Which color? Uh, which color are the retarded ones? Yellow. <laughs> oh my goodness. They jump really high though. So that's something. <laughs> well. Hmm. I didn't know they were known for that, but I guess it checks out. All right. If I can get you all here first, this is gonna be weird, but hopefully it works. Considering leaving my wife, what does Ragu think us? Uh. I mean, do what you feel you have to do, but you know, really try and make it work. I suppose if you can, that's yeah. a big decision. If you're, uh, if it's not a wife, you need to be going for advice if that's something that you're really considering. <laughs> yeah, Aoife, you might need to go see like a counselor. Or we're something. less known for our advice about marriage, not unknown for it, but less known for it. <laughs> Wouldn't say that we've never given advice about divorce, but you know. Oof, camera, work with me. I pushed a tism and a chasm. Alright. Um, um hello, Miss J Longbone. She would say hello back. Pocket squares are twelve dollars on Amazon for the hundred and fifty million this film costs. That's a lot of pocket squares. I don't, I don't think they spent it all on that. pocket squares. <laughs> Look, it's a very clever name, and you just don't get it because it's for kids. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> very clever. You don't get it! Someone was up all night thinking of that. I know I was. Oh, damn it. Pick, man. Get up there. <gasps> they can get up there. Good boys. Go, go, go. And they can move it. Oh my god, I did it. I figured it out, Ragu. Oh, yay. I figured out how to sacrifice my Pikmin the most correct, appropriate way. <laughs> oh no, the they're gonna... The gods of Pictopia are happy with me. Oh, stop it. Stop beating Pikmin's up my Pikmin. Like with the blood of Pikmin. Pikmin the... don't look like they taste good, though. No. No. They're not very delectable. Why didn't they just take it this way? Why are they, they could fit through here? I hate them. I'm like Anakin on this subject. I hate them. All right. I don't think I have enough time to figure out all the ins and outs of the rest of this game. I'm gonna. I'm just saying. I'm gonna. My time's running out. Um. What you cannot hate women, Mola. What is this nonsense? I could reply to that, but I just won't. Hmm. <laughs> well then. Yeah, it's just beneath me. I'm not even gonna dignify <laughs> that with a response. That that is the like the epitome of lazy. Is it okay if Jay Longbone leaves? She's funny and cool and everything, but you know, woman. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Only fair. We don't like Ghostbusters, so. Tism up my flizzums. That was sexual. <laughs> Uh, weekend, you massive. Update on part two. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. I'm afraid Weekend Warrior isn't currently here, but... Um, I don't think he said anything while he was here about part two, did he? Nay. Nagoyce. No. No. I'm oh, sorry. Didn't say anything. What a noise guy and bend the guy. Over here. 
You rebellious, rambunctious little Pikmin, you. Hmm. Down in the water, it's safer. Um, Hakuna Matata, angry Scooby Jew. I remember Scooby Jew. Scooby who? Scooby Jew. Oh great, another giant pig thing. Floating fish monster. I'm gonna beat you the fuck up. No. Shaking off my Pikmin, I find this offensive. All of you attack him while he's down. More. More. An aggressive battle, to say the least. Yeah, I think aggressive. I'm winning. Oh, he did. Oh, he so did. Um, it's for children, which is why there are so many sexual jokes and bits and that character's job and mature terms and what is this argument? I don't know, and he makes it many <laughs> times. I think he thinks it's yeah, very he credible. He's fascinated with the kid argument. Really weird. Yeah, why not just take your time with the kid argument and do it once? Like, really be sure of what you're trying to say and then be done with yeah. it. Instead of just randomly being like, you know what? Kid argument again. I'm like, eh. Swear to God, Pikmin, if you all get yourselves killed moving these things, I'm gonna kill you. Aren't you they're already dead. Guide? Their blood will be on your hands. My blood will be on their hands if they do the opposite. Stop eating my Pikmin! Stop eating my pickles! <laughs> <laughs> I just have a big jar of pickles. I'm like, stop it! So like, get away from my pickles! Why are you doing this? I've given you so much. <laughs> You're more, so more pick you know, What? What's in it for the Pikmin exactly? I multiply them by telling them how to eat and then convert. Ooh. Wow. How are there any Pikmin around by the time you got here? Uh, they were hibernating until a, an entity such as I could teach them the way. <clears throat> Don't touch the Pikmin. Renegade cuts, idiot that judges films by politics he pulls out from nothing. Also, why does Melissa McCarthy look like a long-haired Harvey Weinstein? I don't have the answer to that. I mean, she's certainly not an attractive person. Not an attractive she's Harvey Weinstein. not very funny. This film's anything to go by. Yeah, I feel like the comedy part really be helped out by not being as bad as it is. Don't you guys agree with that? The bad comedy overshadows everything. But holy fuck, I need a source of bombs game, please. My Pikmin just keep finding things they can't do anything with. It's very depressing. Do 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 do. There's something for you all to do. Um, When you have little longoids, does chat get to help choose the names? Like a straw poll of the names like you're considering? Will Wacky Uncle Ra babysit? <laughs> um. Wacky Uncle Ra. Who knows what that Uncle Ra's gonna do next? Maybe Coming throw them yes, out of a fall. fucking rooftop. Who knows? Saturdays at 8. Wacky Uncle Ra, Episode 3, Death. Out. Out now. How much time have I got on this day to actually do stuff? Yeah, a little bit. What some may refer to as some time. Somewhere beyond the P. The P. Um... One of them has to be named Bilbo. I don't see if if any of us were to have children, I don't think we would we would have chat name them. I don't think. It seems unlikely is all I'm saying, you know. Liar. But yes, one of them would indeed be Bilbo. Schmilbo Schmeggins. 
I don't know, you said smaggins. Go ragged. Il Bondoas Crondo Flombus. Oof. Flumpil make ding dong. <laughs> See only the most incredible names being constructed today. <laughs> Absolutely. Give me my goddamn red pick man. No. Give me my red pickles. Give me my goddamn pickles. <laughs> Not so this long to bring down a wall, surely. Oh my god, there are so many walls everywhere. This place is made of walls. That's fine, we'll just spend the whole game knocking them down. Um. No, you. One soy tank with a pinup of Jenny Nicholson painted on the turret tries to go off road to escape. It, its attempts are in vain as it is erased from existence from a third shot from EFAM tank. Seems like all of these are just tanks getting blown up. I'm starting to spot a theme. So it's uh, Obama's theme. fault. It's Obama's fault that Ghostbusters 2016 sucks. Well, yeah. Uh, duh. I don't understand how you could reach any other conclusion. I think he made that very clear in his argument. Argumentation. Very, very clear. Soak up the juicy juiciness. You, you leave the juice alone. Hey, how come he's not taking damage? Oh, he's dead now. They're alone. Menelaus. What did I That's what you just reminded me of. He's in, um... Uh, Troy. That's what that name is from. Everybody attack the thing. Go. Okay. Thanks for Ghostbusters 2016, Obama. Yeah, it's kind of awkward, isn't it? Reagan was Apex Rat. Obama was a little clown rat. Damn. Hmm. If a chatter said it, it's more than likely true. Probarly. Prombusly. Prebrambly didangdi. That means yes. Is that in Latin, yeah? That's a lot yes. of syllables. Oh yeah, it's because I made it up. I mean, because it's very sophisticated. Um, from Dragon's Advocate, Goodell, it was not made for you, it was made for Obama. God damn you, Obama. I think I've got stuff. a note for, like, randomly saying it was made for kids throughout the next Goodell. Ghostbusters are for kids, so say this, simp to the queef wizards. <laughs> <laughs> simp to the queef wizards. This is the kind of argumentation you have if your beliefs n have never <coughs> once been challenged in your entire life. <laughs> well... <laughs> He already went over the belief challenging portion where people were saying it's bad because women. Remember? He already did that. So get fucked. Damn you whammons. The women, they're destroying everything. I knew it. You're not allowed to destroy that. B -b Bilbo Baggins. B -b 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 Bilbo. Dildo Baggins. Dildo. <laughs> Dildus, all right. Dildus, dildus, I have dildus. cracked open a way for me to be able to carry all of the things I found, but I got no no time left in the day to do so. Sad face. I feel like I'm gonna run out of time and lose this game. I don't even know what happens if you do. Uh, this is the you guy. This die. guy. This guy is the R word and the F word. Damn. Shit. He's the really fat guy. So I just finished Game of Thrones Season 4. Should I stop now? Hi, Jay Long. Yes, you should. Uh, kids' choice is so BS. I know, because I spent every day voting for Johnny Depp when I was a kid multiple times, and you didn't even need an account to vote, so it could easily be abused. Oh. You spent multiple days voting for Johnny Depp, huh? Did it work? <laughs> Did he go Did out with you? Did it hurt? Johnny Depp has won in a landslide of 10 billion votes. <laughs> it's like, whoa. All of the votes come from one house in Wisconsin. It's incredible how they could pack them in like that. <laughs> but I guess rules are rules. Mola, can Your you phone bill must be off the charts. Mola, can you sing the Ewok song, but instead of saying Yub Nub, you released TFA Part 3 at a reasonable time this month? <laughs> oh. Wait, what? I see what you did. I see it. See it! I don't know. I have no eyes. It won't be this month. Reasonable time next month is the best I can do. Yub Nub. 
Rip Sir Ian home. Rip Joel. Rip Tommy. Ripperinos and Flipperinos. Rip Metal. Wait, why? I'm still here. Oh, it hasn't happened yet. Okay. What do you mean? What was happening? Nothing. Mom! She's the one who'll do it. Oh, no. Titanic won 1998 Favorite Film at Kids' Choice Awards. Well, you know, kid kids have a taste. There is a taste here of some kind. That sounds like a Kids lie. have a taste? I think. Is that what you said? <laughs> I can't prove it, but I think it's probably fair. I don't know. You don't think. You're, you, you're a lie. Uh, saw your post on Neil Druckmann's tweet, Weekend Warrior, good shit. He's been, he's a fun man on Twitter, Mr. Weekend. Yeah. Uh, remember that Jaws is a PG movie. Really? <laughs> is that true? That film, I don't think yeah, Mission that... to Mars was PG as well. Jaws, like, they bite people and blood goes everywhere. Are you sure that's a PG? That's a pudge? Hmm. The Poojaluma. Mm. Oh, maybe. Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. Oompa Dee Dee. For the love of God, the first Ghostbusters was a hit. Kids and adults. There was no our turn, their turn crap. Yeah, I agree. Such a stupid argument. Like, holy fuck. You can't enjoy this. The children of the new world shall enjoy it. You're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> but they will they enjoy the old one too. It's like... That simply oh. means that they're stupid, you see. Ah. Uh -huh. Answers all questions. <sighs> Grab the bombs, you stupid fuck. Hey, racism, you can't do that. Hey, it's not my fault racism's effective, okay? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Hang on, what? I didn't say that. Fork. Um. It's a fork. Def all I hear is you're not allowed to not like it. Pretty much. And if you disagree, you shall be maced in the streets. Hmm. Wait, what who? Oh, what? From? Are you confused as to what I mean by maced in the streets? I can explain it. No, no, I just get hit from off camera and I got confused. Maybe it was mace. Windu. <gasps> but he had like a like a pitchfork. Where's the mace? What do the numbers mean, mace? Um... Mr. Windu. Get, get Ma Mace, Mason. That was pretty funny. I didn't get it. Too complicated for me, I give up. God, you're so stupid. And how? Why are you dumb? You dumb! Do, 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 do. I will sacrifice that child, Rags. I will. Rags McBingleton? I guess they're trying to hold you accountable for that, but I, I think you agree with it, so. Yeah. Uh, that was me, I swear. Child. Boo, Weekend Warrior, alive. Is a short man? Bad. <laughs> yeah, so I guess that must be when he left? I don't know. Next time I'm with my girl, I'm gonna whip it out and say it's time to let the children play, just to get a reaction. <laughs> oh, okay. Play with my toy. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> Shrek and Unbridled Praise when? Not out of the cards. Not impossible. We'll say that. But as for a when, impossible to know. Damn it, was this a thing the whole time? I probably should have done this first. No, 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 get off the thing. Don't touch it. Don't touch a glue on drive. That's. Ew. Oh, that's just. That's just ew. I'm glad we agree Des that it's ew. Destroyed a child. I just Destroy saw it. James child. wrote that. Stupid flying bugs. Kill them! Kill them! It's gonna take a long time. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go get more blues, I guess. Oh, you guys, get off the thing! Get off the thing! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Yeah, if you just beat him up to begin with, none of you would have died. But no, you don't listen to mutually. No, no, no. No. But no. No. Or. Um, mutually. 
Ictus Pedis J. I think that's Latin for kick J. Latin is a beautiful language. It's dead language. Why didn't the snakes eat one another if they became hyper aggressive? Because snakes are a team. Snakes? Yeah, they're working towards a common goal. Yeah, why would they eat each is, other? That's fucked up. Which is slithering around. I get it. Oh, fuck. It's like Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the prisoner of butts cohorts. But what? The prisoner of my sex dungeon. Yo. S -s -s sex dungeon. Ow, yeah. Why is a frog killing all of my Pac Man? Like, like, dude. Really? You have Pac Man? That's OP. Pac Man's pretty good. Loretta's bone. I don't even know what that does. Nor shall you need Shh. to know. But I wanna know now! Oh my god. Let me know, god damn it! Like, I don't wanna have to kill a frog. But he keeps attacking me. Do you think if I made a deal with Froggle, he would prevent his people from doing this? No. No. Come on, do a jump. Do a jump. Oh, woof. Shit. We get like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh. Very complicated, you see. Um, in Arcee's Forrest Gump video, he says it sees obedience as an American value and is therefore conservative. <clears throat> oh. Obedience is conservative. Alright. Adam and Sitch covered it. It was dumb. Hmm. Um, my Ewoks, you got a refresh. I think that was about when it froze. Yeah. Legends was better than all of the ST combined. It gave us the Vong and guilty pleasures like Lord Niak's lightsaber suit. Jack and Solo was way better than Ben. It isn't hard to be better than Ben Solo. Just saying. Also, hi Raggles and Mollies. Hello. 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 Uh, that's what I have to say about that. Yeah. The remaining soy tank manages to spot its attacker and returns fire. Fortunately for the EFAP tank, its armor is actually worth a damn, so she shell splatters like a paintball onto the frontal armor. Beautiful. I doubt George planned for this blasphemy. No, I don't think so. I don't think he would have done it. No, I think Lord. George would have... Dude, that'd be really cool to know, <clears throat> is if he could rewind time, would he actually have... Uh, not sold Star Wars. I don't think he would have sold it. I, I, I honestly don't think he would have. I think most people like to think he wouldn't have. It's like, if the sequels were decent, then maybe. Uh, but, man, I think he definitely wouldn't have sold it if he knew now what he did. What if he knew back then what he does now? Yeah. Poor lad. He just wanted to have fun. Hmm? Or rather, give people fun. Because I remember... Like, I don't think I ever even heard the take that, like, it's bad that Disney have Star Wars. I remember just being general good sentiment. It's just like, this is good news. It was like, wow, I can't believe it. They, well, the sentiment was, wow, we're gonna get more Star Wars movies, because it had been, like... Well, it was also that, yeah, we won't get the prequels years. style, you know? Like, it'll be, quote-unquote, good movies now. And it's like, okay. We'll see. Here we are. Here yeah, we where are. did that get us, goddammit? Death. Where did they bring us? It brought us death? Oh my god. That yeah, was pretty bad. Death. Oh shit, I missed. Okay, so if these Pikmen were smart enough to just walk into the water, they would have their exit. But no. 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 Lads, come on. No. Over here. Come on. Come on. Let's all work as a team now. Come on. Get this bridge open. Um, if Palpatism can get laid, there's hope for me yet. Oh. That's the spirit. Um, That's the sprite, sprite cranberry. Force elongate and force tighten. Is that a real thing? <laughs> what cranberry? Yeah, that's sprite real. Sprite cranberry. 
Force pull can be accurately relabeled as force come. <laughs> as force what? Force come. Oh. What, what about force come yum? I don't see why it's that like, wouldn't be. Maybe a, if you're an making ability. a like a a cupcake float towards you. Come yum. Yeah. yeah, Force Elongate and Force Titan. I, I I think they would probably make use of that. Those couples, just saying. Force Force Clench. That creamy <laughs> sheave is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, except of course Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right. <laughs> uh, we got we got children sending us uh, super chats. Clearly, fans of Hitler. Uh, honestly, the whole Palpatine got laid and had a kid bit is the one area I kind of agree with this douche on. He was the freaking king of the galaxy, rule of trillions. He can pump and dump it well. Well, no, but nobody had a... I don't understand who he was yeah. responding to. Who who said, nah, Creamy Sheep couldn't, couldn't have had a kid? Have. Never heard about like, that. It's weird to think about the fact that he actually did. <laughs> it's not... We're, we're, like, we're fine with the idea that he did. It's just having it be confirmed that he did is an odd mental image. Yeah, that's all. <clears throat> um, ghosts of Sithmas past. Oh yes. So the Sith ghost population were manning the ships too. That's why they don't know which way is up. Why would well, Sith ghosts not armor, know which way is up? There's not anybody. It's like at the end of bed knobs and broomsticks. All the armor that comes alive to fight the Nazis. It's kind of like that. Inside of the Sith armor, there's just like nothing really there. That makes sense. There's a fucking reference for you. You brought bread, bad knobs and broomsticks uh, a couple of you faps ago, I think. If 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 you haven't understood EFAP chat, you need to go watch that movie now so you understand these references even better. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Bed brooms and knobsticks. Cum yums and McDonald's. Is he just think back <laughs> in the day, you could you could have kids' movies like Bed Knobs and Broomsticks where you legitimately had, like, the Nazis were in it. Just like in Sound of Music. And Gone with the Wind. They had black Gone people with the in wind. it. Yeah. And you had, well, who did uh, Indiana Jones fight? He fought the Nazis, you know? Like, kids could have had, like, kid Nazis were great bad guys for kids. You didn't have to get into the whole, ooh, Holocaust thing, dabbing on the Jews. You didn't have to get on into mm -hmm, that. It's mm -hmm. like, the, the Nazis were bad. And they had the silly accents. Yeah, they was talking like this, and, and Metal was like, they don't even talk like that, really. No, they like, do. I was like, come on, Mel, come on. Have a sense of humor, you giant dingus. You giant Nazi. Da, 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 da. Just like a Nazi to be offended. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my schlorms. You put your schlorms down, sir. No. Right, you do it yourself. What a wonderful freight. Um. Yes, let my creamy sheave flow through you. Mm. That's how I imagine it went. Can anybody really disprove it? Don't think so. No. No. So many. Tism, Pikmin, you know, if you can't pick it up, just walk with me. It's fine. Been a whole day doing this. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do anything. God, he's so worthless. No. Uh the pave tank seems to accept its fate as the fourth shell slams through the driver's viewport, decapitating him before detonating and causing the vehicle to vanish in a massive plume of black smoke. Wow, he decapitated the driver. Fucking hell. That's fucking cray cray, that is. Palpatine becomes a toddler. Kylo, look, man, if you're not gonna take this seriously, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, that would be such a funny uh, repercussion that, that Palpatine was unaware of. Becomes a fucking toddler. Toddler Palpatine. And then they have the awful choice of do they kill him or not? Huh? We could train him to be good. And Ray's like, no. No. You will always be evil. He's like, wow. Kind of fucked up, Ray. You just don't believe in people, huh? Uh, boo this man. Boo this man, presumed alive and not bug. Into the corner of shame. Boo him. He did get booed. What you bet. Oh my god, my ship is actually looking much more complete than it ever did. I got the glue on drive. 
gives it a like, glue down. It makes my ship roar? Uh, okay. My it's guess is roar. this probably happened. Wasn't this supposed to be a video fixing and defending the movie? Shouldn't it be more objective? Why is he stupid? You can you can assume things may have happened while being objectorv. It's just a lot of his answers were stuff that anyone could have come up with. It's just like, yeah, I figured that. Well, it's always like a did you though yeah. red flag when you have like one of the mo more interesting points. Just like I'm just not gonna do this. Moving no. on, but I'm <laughs> like, oh, okay, good good talk, I guess. I felt this was. All right, maybe I can get more than one part next round because that that would be helpful to considering how badly I'm doing. Don't judge me, guys. Um, Anakin made two godlike beings bend to his will in the Clone Wars TV show, so how is he not the chosen one? Because Rey can do that too. I bet, bet you didn't know that. So, yeah. I had no clue. Hadn't the foggiest. I feel more complete as a doggo for knowing it, though. Much like... I mean, I I did anyway because of learning that all the plot holes in The Rise of Skywalker actually weren't plot holes. You could literally just say that he had a magical fucking mirror enchantment in his closet. And that was... I mean, there you go. Boom. Oh. It was made for kids. You, you weren't the target audience. Suck my cock. Chat. EFAP84 wasn't very good. Mola. Shut up. It was made for children. You just don't like it, Massives. Yeah. <laughs> It was made for children, so, yeah, get fucked. Yeah, we saw your behavior, and we were like, you know what? We need to have an EFAP for all the kids in the chat. Yeah, I feel like the kids need a bit of a dab, you know? We can't just have adults dabbing everywhere. Actually, the how the of balancing the Force has been pretty consistent. Kill off the Sith? It's the what that is. What does a balanced Force look like that has changed wildly over the years? I mean, I always thought that was it. Kill the Sith, you balance the Force. And from Lucas's explanation, it was like the Force. The, well, the Sith are like the poo poo version. They, they use poo poo and motivations to use the Force, like vengeance, anger, jealousy, rage, all of the bad things in a big pot. Hatred and they stir leads it. to salsa. Salsa leads to a casa de uh, el no niños en la canasta. That's my. That's the only Spanish I know. There's no niños in La Canasta. Everyone knows that one. Everyone knows that. Christmas is superior because so far all of the women guests have voted for Halloween and we all hate women. Hashtag lock up the knife ears. <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. Interesting connection. Molar and Rags, would you do... What would you do female Mark Hamill? Ah. Would I do female Mark Hamill? She did seem pretty hot, I'll give her that. Yeah, she looked fine. She looked cute. Sure. I suppose... Well, would you do male Mark Hamill from, from A New Hope, Matt Rags? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Maybe. You'd consider it. I would definitely consider it, yeah. Um... Atted you on Twitter with a picture. If there's another way you want to get a send it, let me know. Oh, I've seen it. You're yeah, alright. Um, read some of Boba's Bob's books for EFAP 100. Do it. Oh, Bob's fucking books. Do we have to? I don't want to. Oi, Jay, what happened to the Kahoot streams? Oh, yeah, I remember. Was, what, what did happen to those? I was the last one who was on that one. I you think. ruined it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you have to do that, Metal? Hmm? Hey, man, it wasn't my idea. It was. And I'm going to tell every single living person. That's a lot of persons. Yeah, I'm up to the challenge. Nice dude. Do -do 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 -do. Why are there these guys here? They weren't here before? God damn it. I'm going to go get more yellows. Um, Can we get some Fs in the chat for Joel and Tommy? Why not Joel, Tommy, and, uh, and Bilbo? Jeez. Yeah, Good what man. the fuck? What about Mr. Baggington? Is to bag you on. What would be your fantasy crossover? Hmm. Um. 
think we, we answered a similar question to this. I wish I knew my what my answers were. So just crossing over I... really anything, right? Yeah, two things crossed over, I suppose. I think oh. you're right. I think we did answer this before, and I think we had good answers, and now I'm just, like, I don't want to answer because I think our answers will be worse than whatever we came up with before. Chat, what were our answers How... before? <laughs> um. How about. Give me a second to think here. Hmm. Indubitably. Mm -hmm. Modern think... Star Wars and good writing. Yeah, oh man. no. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm trying to think of some that might work out really well. <coughs> um, how about aliens in Dead Space? Mm. Dead Space and Smurfs. Dead Space and Smurfs. <laughs> oh, some funny ones. <laughs> what about... How about what about the great mouse detective and the secrets of Nim? I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe, yeah. Uh, oh, fair enough. Yeah. Well, I'm all to right. Think of what it was we were talking about before. It's gonna be like a combo of maybe something dramatic and dark with something cute and cuddly. Teletubbies and Dead Space. Dead Space is my go-to right now because you said it. <laughs> yeah, you could probably mix up a lot of stuff with Dead Space. Like, oh, Dead dude, like Space a Teletubby and, uh, infected with the Dead Space thing, and they like burst out of their little, little, little cuddly thing, but with like horrible bloodied legs. That's some nightmare fuel, I reckon. I demand that crossover. So we'll make some really good art of that, okay? Fight manual. And then have rags in the corner looking spooked. Ah, I'm so spoopied. It's a big um, spook. How about... Can we do Batwoman? I want to see Batwoman in the Avengers. To see <laughs> how she stacks up. Why would you do this to the poor Avengers? Others. I just want to see her get fucking floored, really. <laughs> by everybody. With Thanos. I want to... I want... I, I want to see Batwoman fighting Black Widow and just getting throunced. So you want to watch it only on condition that she loses? Oh yeah, if Bat well, Batwoman <laughs> will lose to Black Widow. If this if she didn't have plot armor. You presume she would not have plot armor in this universe? I would because she is now in the MCU universe. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Beat the shit out of him, useless Pikmin. Man, this guy really wants my Pikmin dead. Then he died. Uh, Jay, do you believe that Tonald can embrace the tisms like yourself? That's a good <coughs> question. I guess we'll have to answer that question. What do you guys reckon? Tonald? I think so. I would so. dare not put words in Tonald's mouth. However, I feel like he could handle it. Yeah. He I seems would like certainly a hope so. Hello. Uh, what would be your? Oh wait, yeah. Okay, I guess I. Did. Yeah, we kind of answered that, so it's fine. <laughs> um, fire, kick, and ban Jay. Hire Theo as manager. He's seen stuff and knows Heigl. Get Aiden, Gary, and Doomcock <laughs> for a Star Trek EFAP. My friend says all superheroes are Mary slash Gary Stews. Sues. All of them. All of them. That's exactly. Nah. Which is, I, I, I get, I get all of them. That's, that's rough. And unfortunate. I feel like the heroes would be insulted if they heard that, because some of them have to do the big struggle. You know, the big struggle. Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm good. I am well. Ragu, are you okay? I'm pretty good. I'm alright. I'm okay. 
Fucking Pikmin take too long to kill stuff. Why did everything respawn this day? What do they always do and I just didn't notice? It might be really stupid. Um... They also said fine, thank you. I think they assumed that you guys were gonna ask how they were, but you didn't. Oh, this because how, I don't care. That we were gonna ask Damn. how they were? Yeah, the chatter. Oh, well... I hope... Well, how, how are you doing, chatter? They said fine, thank you. Oh, alright, that's fair enough. Ahead of time. They knew that you would ask eventually. Didn't have to be oh, prompted, but... not necessarily. Metal did, though. No, um... He hates people. Mm -hmm. He's not even denying it. What a bad yeah. man. No, you. Dab. Stop dabbing! Have any of you seen the trailer for Star Wars Squadrons? And what did you think? If you haven't seen it, could you react to it live here? I did see it. For, cautiously. Wait, 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 what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Star Wars Squadrons. Cautiously optimistic, as per okay, usual. I it. it was a game. It's another game I just don't care about. Oh, jeez. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at trailers, it's like, yeah, it's the game that comes out. <laughs> that was just a sad sack to today. Do. Doesn't, he's not impressed by anything. Are you afraid of anything, Mel? Uh, diabetes. Oh. Yeah, I think he, that's a he, fair fear. He scares fear. me. He's, he scares me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, hope, I hope it's good, I hope it's cool. It's EA, be careful, that's all. Yeah. Fingers mm -hmm. crossed, but... Hopefully! This one just says Rhodium. I know that meme. Rhodium yourself. Before returning the base to Uwu, Bulge Naza files the fifth shell into the soy tank that flipped over, causing it to split in half. Uh, why? It's already down. Why waste fucking ammo? The story's painful. Um, it should be noted that the crew of the EFAP tank could easily have used the coaxial MG to take out the PAFE tanks. The reason for using the main gun was that the commander didn't want to waste the ammo because he felt like it. Alright. I mean, it still seems like a bit much, you know? Like, fucking... If they flipped over, they're probably dead. There's no need to check that. Seems excessive. Alright, Pikmins, be careful. Stay with no. me. You! Yo! <laughs> Pikmins, run! In mass numbers, go! In massive numbers. They cannot stop us all! Yeah, I can. Fuck, he just like killed all of them. You can't. Fuck. I'm. <sighs> Wait, now I've died. Literally, I wouldn't have died if I'd fucking pressed A like a second quicker. Damn. Well, it didn't, so get fucked. Olimar is down. Olimar is down. Um. <clears throat> Do... What are your thoughts on the movie A Fish Named Wanda? That's got a lot of the Monty Python cast in it. It's uh, it's funny tisms. I recommend. Never heard of it. Yeah, what have what have you heard of? Spaghetti. You. Yeah, it's uh, good shit. I recommend. Yeah, I like spaghetti too. I don't think anybody wouldn't recommend spaghetti. I'm being completely honest. Uh, where is Mola gaming stream with Jay? We only did that the one time, you know. Maybe other times. I don't really remember. Shawshank Redemption, anyone? Yeah, it's good uh, shit. You, you guys seen that? Yes. Very much enjoyable. Good shit. Stuff. I don't know if the, the, anything else they wanted us to say about that. <laughs> it's like, it's good. Uh, the Last of Us 2 Unbridled Rage? Probably not. Um, I feel like there's going to be other people who will be more equipped for that. I'm just, I'm not hugely passionate about the first one. So I don't know if I'll, I'll have the uh, the drive to want to jump in there and, and fuck it up, you know? Re, re indeed, my friend. Re indeed. Re Ann Johnson. Indeed. Um. Oh, what are you doing? You're on a. You're on a Attaway General is one of those. How did this ever get approved? And who is responsible for it? Kind of shows. Don't watch it. Just burn it down. Oh. You heard it here first, folks. All right. I I still don't even know that I've heard of what Attaway General is, but yeah. As it's some terrible thing from some TikTok people 
who somehow got a movie deal, I guess. Well, it's not a movie deal, it's only on YouTube, I think. Mm -hmm. So, uh, pretty bad. Uh oh. Oh boy, he coming. That's right. Oh shit, that's a lot more health than in the normal game. I am so dead, I think. Pyrocynical made a great video about Far Cry 3. Good. I don't really know Far Cry 3 that well, so. I remember it, but how much I can't remember. That's a lot of damage. And I need to like bomb Pikmin for a bit. Um, hey, it's Spooderman guy here. Uh, I'm in the process of making a movie review, but my motivation is low right now. Any advice? Hmm. Motivation's hard. Uh, to yeah. Translate. I don't know if it's anything we can give you or help you out with. You just gotta find something that you're knowledgeable about and that you care about and that you can feel and stay interested in. It's tough because, yeah. as well, because not only is it hard to get motivated when you're not, but it's also different for, like, everyone. In terms yeah. of what'll, what'll get you going. Uh, make sure you don't tie yourself out, like, take some breaks. Have a look at what you've made so far as a sort of like, hey, progress. Um, make sure you've picked your project very, very well, very specifically. And I guess what I mean by that is like, that shit is something you really care about. And you have something to say that, you know, other people haven't quite said yet. At least you don't think they have. Um, but yeah, definitely a tough one to, to maintain. Everyone's different on that. Uh, the reason to subvert expectations is for the subversion to be better than what you expected. When you subvert expectations and it still doesn't land, it's actually a lot worse, like a bad punchline. It doesn't necessarily have to... Well, when, when you say better, you know, like, is person dead or are they not? It, it's, you know, it can go multiple ways, I guess, but, um... Still, try not to piss everyone off when you do it. That's probably the general advice, I'd say. Good to stick by. Uh... Oh, the other half of that was also, if you do a Jurassic Park EFAP, invite AK Rex. He's both a dinosaur expert and a Jurassic Park fan. Hi, Rex. Hey. Uh, that's pretty cool. McClunky. I have it on good authority that the word is Rodian for Hi, Rags. Oh. Hi there. What's your favorite weapon in Dark Souls? Dark Souls. Hmm. Hmm. Good question. I really like the ultra great swords because they stagger pretty much all the enemies. It's just super fun. Can I just say the Black Knight sword? Can you pick up that early? It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I mean, if you get yeah. super lucky at the first Black Knight and you actually get it and, it's, and just carries you through the game. <laughs> I did the. Uh, I picked up the Black Knight halberd on my first run through, I think. I remember that, you piece of shit. <laughs> Also, yeah, Pork has got the, got the sword on his first playthrough. He got carried so hard by that weapon. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, just watch, just rewatched Atla. Rags, what is your opinion on Tiddy? Oh, I like titties. There you uh, go. I think that it's, size isn't what's important. It's about what its proportion <sighs> is to the rest of the body shape, really. And that's an opinion the, the I can thing. agree with. I like all kinds. Mm-hmm. Come on, pull out some of that juicy tism. That has mm -hmm. nothing to do with the question of titties, by the way. But the tisms, they're juicy, though. Why was there no honey? Hmm. Bad face. Uh... I hope you enjoyed my little story blurb and my money. The objectivity wars are never ending. Yes, of course. You seemed very interested in the concept of tanks blowing up other tanks. It's only fair. Okay, Pikmans, I don't want you to die now. 
That would upset me greatly. I've just fucking nearly killed myself. Good job, me. Nice one. High five. No, no, shut up. Yeah, I wasn't actually giving you a high five because you're stupid. Come on, Pikmin. Kill him. Consume his innards. Oh, who the fuck are you? The hell was he shooting at? You have a lot of health. I don't like this. I feel the same way about this dude. Look at that dude. Look at that dude. Look at that dude. Holy shit, they fucking wiped him out. Good job. And I found the bow sprit. Oh, bow, bow sprit. Mm hmm. Precious Pikmin. Elect. Kill. My precious Whoa, 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 whoa. My babies. Fucker. My Kirk. children Wait. for whom Ghostbusters was made. Uh. uh the truth. I'm sure not. I got cursed, but I'm not dead. Well, I'm confused. Well, it must not be a death curse. But in Dark Souls 3, normally curse is like insta-death, but now I have like tisms on my bag. And you're complaining? And now it's gone. I'm confused. I'm, I'm very confused. I think I feel I'm fucking... Cinder's mod confuses me! Sometimes. Alright, I think I know where I'm going. Um... I need to watch like shoot him up again. I yeah, if it's go for it. It's fun shit. It's good to Yeah, it's really fun. Um Diabetes isn't as evil as you think you do. Yeah, I don't think he's that evil. I think he's misunderstood. He taught Bob everything he knew, but he used it for evil. And that's just unfortunate. True. Oh, uh, you just read the gay bomb super chat. Seriously, look it up, it's a real thing. Well, um, was it ever launched or was it just an idea? Because I can I can believe it. It's just really funny. Yeah. Oh no! Don't get distracted. Oh god damn it! Fuck! Fuck! I know. I had the same problem, Mel. Pikmin—they just don't listen. Stupid Bergman. All right, lads, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Um, fuck, 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 Mary, unalive, Bob, movie, Pat, Taxon, and Quint. Uh, kill Taxon. Fuck, Quentin, <laughs> Mary, Bob. No, Mary surely, Quentin. yeah, I'd marry Quentin. Quentin. Yeah, I'd marry Quentin. Sometimes life just gives you a. Sometimes you yeah. just gotta. Sometimes you just gotta fuck movie, Bob. Mm -hmm. Um. Speaking of Bioshock, they added an Easter egg to Bioshock 2 that leads to a new website hinting at a new game. See Charlatan Wonders video. Really? I hope it's not shitty like Infinite is. Yeah. It would be cool if the game like, wasn't all shit. All of these franchises, their names used to mean something. Now it doesn't. So I just don't even get excited anymore. Yeah. It's a sad tism. Gives me the big flumpus. It's a sad, 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 sad world. Sad, 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 sad world. <clears throat> sad the T is silent in Sabot, by the way. It's a short O. Sabo? Sabo. Sabo. Sabo? Short O would be Sabo, right? I think. S-A-B-O-T? Oh, yeah. I think it's pronounced Sabo. Well then, there you go. Or Sabo. I'm, I'm not sure. Sublorms. I've never, I don't think I've ever heard it pronounced. I've only seen it written down. Um, For Halloween EFAP, do Event Horizon, lol. I don't see why not. We could do like an EFAP movies and release it then. Movies. Talk about how Event Horizon is all spooky. Oh, what the fuck? It says Sabbath. Hmm. I well, guess like... it's. I, I I thought it was like. Uh, I thought it was pronounced that. I guess it's just pronouncing Sabbath. 
Like on a prouncing website or whatever? Yeah, that's what uh, Google's telling me. Hmm. Sabbath. And then people are also saying it's Sabo, so... Fuck Maybe it. it's pronounced differently in reference to whatever the context of the sentence is? Maybe, but I only really know the... the one. Yeah. Uh... Do you hear they could legends the sequel trilogy? You mean they could decanonize it? Because, uh... I'm still on board with that, Disney. <laughs> You go right ahead and you decanonize it and I'll give you a chocolate bar. Chocolate? Nice. Oh only God, only one, though. Up. I'm gonna give them a lot of them. Just the one. I'll take 15 blues with me. Let's go have a look at what is... What is going oh, on here? I assume I'm gonna need to throw a bunch of yellows up there. That's probably the key to that. Alright. Shite. Stop telling me to shush. It's mean. Yo. I shit everywhere. How do Pretty I get my, the yellows to like fucking stay in a single line though? That sounds that sounds difficult. Sounds gay. That sounds like a cult that is diffy. <laughs> um have you guys seen the new high top video about the amazing Spider-Man? I haven't. No. I imagine he shits on the MCU Spider Man <gasps> at some point. Uh, since we're getting a new crisis about every month, can we just have Yellowstone erupt and end it all? No. I mean, I'm not a no. fan I'll of keep that. Living. Yeah. Um, hi, Rags. Hi, Mola. Hello. Hello. Kind of, kind of a fan of the whole living part. Oh, me I... too. I I was trying it out the other day, and I was just like, this is neat. Yeah, it's neat. I'm not dead. I can do things. It's cool. Who knows how long that will last. Seven. They're all, like, wanting to die. This is what I mean about Pikmin, man. I don't know. Hey, in a what? No, you're gonna die. You're all gonna die horribly. Hey, okay. Oof. Not all of them are dead. This is the plus. It really depends on... Oh, it's only 20. Oh god, I can do it. Okay. Where do they take it, exactly? Don't kill yourselves now, boy. Right. Don't die horribly in a fire. <laughs> Why would that Fucking happen? Throw in so that dude. Deserves to drown for doing that shit to me. Unacceptable. I guess I was supposed to pull them off once they got down there, but I I am upset they didn't just walk along the road, along the route. You know. Upset. Like a chat a lolling. It's not funny to watch innocent creatures die. I mean, okay, yeah, okay, fine. I I, I know where you're going with that. Fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, you have to kill these things, I guess. Oh, look at them run. They're like little teared poles. All right, fine, go away then. Well, let's run out of time. Mm -hmm. uh, cover one of Nostalgia Critic's Atla videos, lol. Uh, God, I guess he has covered, like, everything. We'll cover him eventually, in some way, shape, or form. We got around to Renegade Cut. That was new. I just haven't seen us cover him before. Never. Cover... Uh, look up the original Final Fantasy VII enemy Devil Ride. Familiar. Um. Let me take a look. Right. Uh, Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy Seven Devil Ride. Oh my goodness! <clears throat> oh, oh, let me show you. So excited. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Gotta get a good picture of it. Here you go. Check this out. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I gotta show chat. <laughs> so, we've just proven that I'm a plagiarist. 
Oh my god. That. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I like that that's a thing. The long bad vehicle. <laughs> I love it. I'll be right back. Um. Have you guys heard the UN is defending Antifa now? Um, yeah, I, it's I, retarded. Okay. That sounds uh, like it's gonna fucking cause all kinds of tensionisms all over the place. Interesting. Uh, two years ago, I got in a car crash and damaged my car. Now, after saving up and fixing the car, I'm getting a new car next week. Is this what life progression feels like? Hi, Rags. Hello. Yeah, it is. It's that just is... one thing after the other. Yeah, it's progression of a sort, you know? It's definitely a plus. It's how it be. It's how it be. I'm gonna use the remaining time I have in this night to see if I can even get another part. Next time. Potential history on EFAP when? I'm assuming potential history is a creator. Um, and when they can come on EFAP could be at any point. I don't know. Assuming they are, because I don't, I don't know who they are. Right. So we got two. Uh, I gotta get a bunch of blues. I gotta kill two frogs. Okay. Uh, is it distracting to see the same actors but in different roles when the real point is to understand a character, not just have the actor's name in the credits? Thoughts? Well, yeah, but some actors, I don't even realize that necessarily that this. I don't like, oh no, it's just them doing them this time. Like if they're really good character actors, but I mean, are you asking like, is it bad if they just hire people instead of actually working on having characters? Because yeah, I agree. Um, and it's it's super subjective too, because some people just can't not notice it, mm -hmm. and others are they're not bothered by it at all. I'm and a lot of happy. it has to do with the actors it's, themselves. That's that's part of where a, a lot of people might say that's where the talent comes in. I'm usually happy to see people I recognize. I'm like yay, like Charles Dance. Oh yeah, his small part and terrible films. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, T, to be fair, suspense of disbelief is often a factor. Oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That's how it be. Uh, yeah, do you have, job, I, 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 do you know, have any plans to cover the usual suspects video on the original trilogy? I don't know what that is. I shall put it in notes. Do it. Thoughts on Star Wars Squadrons? Ah, we covered that a moment ago. Yeah. Saw the trailer? Yeah. Looks neat. optimistic. I hope it's I hope it's good. Uh thoughts on Star Wars oh yeah. Out of context EFAP quote. You said words, death now. Okay. <laughs> um, Fury and unbridled okay when? <laughs> I mean I'd have to watch it again. I hadn't seen it in a long time. Unbridled okay. It was acceptable, I guess. Uh, Renegade cut. Most of his vids are good. Few are only a, a bad because he sometimes just goes full woke. Sean also has the same problem. Also, hi, dog. Hello. Um, I mean, I hope his other videos are better than what we saw today. <laughs> Pretty poo poo. Episode sixty-seven, eight forty-eight thirty, then around eight forty-eight fifty. Speed twenty-five. No, I refuse. I cannot be chasing Thomas Dampus. Oh, it, uh, it go bad. In fact, we're getting close to the end, so I'm gonna not start another level. Because I'm fucking having to do in savetisms and stuff. Uh, Muller, on a scale of tax and atonald, how attractive would you say you are objectively? I'll give you a rags slightly below average. Wait, how is that a rags? A rags? Rags I'm not is certainly below above average. average. I, I, like, legit think I'm quite handsome. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'd probably be uh, low on the scale, but I, I really don't, don't mind. You see, for, for I am a mystic. I put a gas mask on for a reason. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it protects me from such, such mean, uh, ratings. Couldn't, couldn't have that naughty. And rags, so rags has enough handsomeness for the both of us. I'll take care. Even though we, we looked up our signs. Our astrological star symbolism tisms in the stars 
<laughs> and we're very sexually compatible because he is a um uh wait you, you're a uh, sorry, uh don't tell me oh leo libra libra that's why i confused it um <laughs> and i'm an aquarius so we're like man when it comes to the bedroom we're just <laughs> <laughs> We're we're like the music from the transition uh transitions in a Renegade Cut video. Bad? <laughs> no, like like the, the music like like the music that I kinda did with my mouth parts where it, um, the point is we get along great. He's a real daddy bear. This one says Toldatine. Oh, Toldatine. it's like Dunedain, but Toldatine. All right. Yeah. Pikmin. Of course that's what that means. I hope it is. Pikmin was was childhood on GameCube. Love this game. Jedi Outcast on GameCube as well. Cough cough. High rags and high metal, Commander. Hi. Hello. And yeah, Pikmin's good shit. So is Jedi Outcast. Excellent. Uh, Pikmin made a video in it. A 10 minute nitpick to show that Lucas rips off his own movies and it's bad. But T2, Godfather 2, SM2, and TDK uh, did that, so are they all bad? Watch T2 and Forget an Art video. T2 and Forget an Art? Forgotten Art, maybe? Um, or Forget an Art, and I wish I could forget Ghostbusters 2016. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on what argument. Is being referred to with that Plinket one, but uh, I, th I he'd probably be like, nah, it's not the same with the other. No, I think they do actually. One of the complaints the Plinket and and crew have about T two is that it's uh, it repeats too much of what's in T one. So maybe they do criticize it for it. Rags, you caca dog. Apologize for saying episode three bad and that Rouge oh. Rogue One is better, or I'll steal all the doors in your Hobbit, cause you're a midget. <laughs> <laughs> I am no such midget, and uh, no, man, uh, the third, Revenge of the Sith's got a lot of issues with it, and I'm, we will cover that in a video coming up, mm -hmm. and we'll re-watch it, probably, I take extensive notes, but there's, but it's like the other two, it's not as bad as the other two, um, then again, I don't know if I want to watch Rogue One again, well, I'll put it this way, I'd rather watch Revenge of the Sith before I watch Rogue One, because the part of Rogue One that's actually good, you have to sit through a lot of boring crap to get through. If we have a video to cover about Rogue One, we'll probably rewatch it. But yeah, I have no interest in, in rewatching it. But you yeah, know, maybe one day. It was a, it's, it's it was a film. I remember so I, the first time I saw that was it with really Metal is. in the cinema. I think Mahler and I are mm -hmm. a, in agreement that Revenge of the Sith is a four out of ten. Yeah, we gave it a four. Uh, Right. With with Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones being threes, but Attack of the Clones being above Phantom Menace. It's like Menace. a 3.1, yeah. What, what did you just say, Mel? What the fuck? I just didn't... <sighs> wow. Can you just go around saying shit like that? Also, last last drank glitch. My, my bottle is empty now. Damn. Um... Ooh, where are we? Da -da -da. Just watched Buffy Afterlife and oh my god, Buffy. Wait a minute. What, what episode is that one? Oh, yeah, yeah. You find out some stuff. Yeah, that's true. Well, keep it going. <laughs> Mola, why do you think Westworld Season 2 is badly written? I haven't seen it, so... All I've heard from fans is that it's bad. Apparently that's where everybody dropped off and then Season 3 is good Godabador. Good jobage, as they say. So imagine oh my, my shock. Metal is not shocked, is what he was trying to say there. If you didn't catch it, guys. Oh, oh, thanks, man. Thanks for uh, flipping the dangles over there. Right up for you. Um. Also, high rags. Hello. Thoughts on Dragon Age? Which one? The first one. Love it. Classic. Um, difficult. Um, challenging. Great stories, great voice acting, really awesome writing, interesting world, uh, good combat. The second one is not bad, it's fine, it's a decent game. It just, unfortunately, it follows and is a sequel to 
a better game that's more deep mechanically. They definitely streamlined a lot of Dragon Age 2. And the world is far less interesting because it pretty much all takes place in one fucking place. You revisit locations so much. Um, Jay, you have angered the snakes. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Interesting. A lot of people say hi to you. I think people just... Yeah, I, friendly guy. I'm mm -hmm. very greetable. Mm -hmm. Uh, I shall continue the story. After running out of ammo, the Longoid is surrounded by Disnoids. Out of desperation, the Longoid pulls out his Dangus and turns left. There were no survivors. Oh, no. Wow. That's, uh... That's something. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Uh, Mola doesn't wear a gas mask, not because he is ugly, but because he can't breathe. Oh! I mean, it could be that, how, too. How would... Why would you wear a gas mask if you couldn't breathe? Doesn't it make sense? Mm -mm. No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not a, just a gas mask, it's also a respirator device. I'm like Bane. If you hit it, if you punch it really hard, I go... Oh, oh, Jesus. God. Oh, oh my goodness. God, the mask has... Oh punched, my fucking my god. Mask. Darkness, you, you wouldn't piece of man shit. Man. My you favorite man? man. Oh, wait, fuck. We're both wearing masks, aren't we, Batman? Mola can't breathe because his mask has pee in it. Oh my god, a reference. Ew. Nice. And that's it. I never never played Dragon Age 3, so I couldn't tell you what I think about it. I've heard a lot of, a lot of mixed stuff on it, and I'm just not that interested in playing a game that I hear so meh. Um... That, that 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 leads us to the end. So um it's been fun. Jean tout le monde en la dis. We we did uh it, for those who didn't even see us cover anything because they were in the second half, we covered Renegade Cuts. Ghostbusters 2016 is actually good, which oof. And then we checked out um a, a wonderful video explaining the plot holes from Tross. It was uh, quite quite a thing. Um I'm afraid I can't read Streamlabs until after I go offline, collect them, and then I will. they will be the first things read on the next stream, but we're up to date on Streamlabs other than everything from after the last catch-up Rags and I did, so won't take too long to get them. Sorry about that, Streamlabs people. Um, I made my main account default, but it doesn't work. It still takes me to the wrong account every time I sign in. Um, That's odd. Yeah, I know. It's really fucking annoying. I have to sign out of all my Google stuff and then sign back in, uh, and it lets me pick the account then. Really annoying, oh. but I can collect after every stream and uh, obviously sort it right out. So yeah, thank you all for hanging out with us. It's been fun. Um, I guess thanks to all of the guests and, and of course, Metal, who thanks stayed. To, thanks to our, the new the member. Time. Thanks to F Ghost. F Ghost, thank you for being guess, a new member. Thank you, fuck Ghost. <laughs> nice. Plenty of protoplasm gasmatisms, uh, what do you do with that? Um, the factor is still very high. You all know Metal streams on Twitch. He's currently still looking for a way to get John Wick going on YouTube. <laughs> we shall yeah. see at some point. Uh, link to his channel is in the description. I, uh, me, actually, Rags and I hang out there every once in a while. So you, you can get tiny little updates on how everything's going. Speaking yeah, of which... I, I pretty much stream uh, every day. Yeah, you've been doing Dark Souls lately. I'm, I'm playing like all those those great mods. Uh, Cinder's mod right now. I, I played some randomizer. Uh, yeah, good shit. Um, as for TFA Part Three, it is on the way. We're, we're in the we're in the final areas of, of production now, which means when you've been working on something for five months, the final areas are still weeks. You know how it works. Getting there, and as soon as the mo most of it is done, I'll do some Last of Us and find out what this second part is all about. <laughs> and uh. And Ragu is still on that Mandalorianisms, so still working. That's about it. Anything else you guys want to say before we uh, before we toddle off? No, I'm, uh, I'm good. No, I'm all set. Thanks everyone for showing up. We had some good videos, a lot of good laughs today. I uh, hope that uh, hope we'll see you again shortly for our next stream, whatever it may be. Thank you so much for the kind donations, and we shall catch you next week, same time, but...
slight change in format. We're gonna be trying something a little different if everything goes the way it's oh supposed my to. Goodness gracious. Oh wow, that worked well last time. I can't wait. It hey, did work out well last you time. You heckler. It wasn't made for them. <laughs> yeah. It was meant for babies. That's simple, man. Come yum indeed, Mr. V. Come yum. Come yum. yum. <laughs> Thank you all, and good night. See ya.